I fucked something up. Where did that go? Oh, no. How did I fuck this up? Ah. Hello, chat. <laughs> Everything was perfect, and I closed out the tab right when I was about to get ready to start. Okay, I can now see chat again. Hello, everyone. I don't know why the main menu does not have... There you go. Does not have audio, but it doesn't for whatever reason. So, we're going to be going with another game in the Platinum Series. That's right, Kamiya's Wet Dream Bayonetta. And here to determine whether or not Kamiya's Wet Dream can pass more feminism tests than anything Hideo Kojima could come up with, we have Rudu Constantine. That is a lot of pressure until you think about uh, <laughs> Kojima not being able to recognize that women exist. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's funny that all, all of his decent ones, we'll say, are always the ones that are off screen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there was also a lady that was cool and uh, uh, their own person and was not the... Uh, uh, a uh, mythical creature of lies and bullshit from my brain, <laughs> but you don't get to meet her. You don't get to no, meet her. No, don't do any writing for that one. Fuck you. Um, so I will state, uh, I, I had to do two things on this. One, this game is modded slightly. And the mod is that it replaced the button inputs with PlayStation controller button inputs because I kept getting confused. Oh. <laughs> Um, this does mean, however, that sometimes it'll bring up the button prompt and the mod changed the button symbols, but it did not change the in-game graphics. So during some tutorial segments, you will see an Xbox controller pop up with PlayStation buttons. <laughs> so if this hurts your brain, that's why. <laughs> that, is, that is what is happening there. And then the other thing I did is I practiced a little bit as I do just to make sure I remember the controls and the game looked like not good. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Is there a bug? So my graphics quality was set down. Well, <laughs> even though it was set to 1080, like the lower graphics, I swear to God, like behind the scenes, just lower the graphics and then render it at 1080, like lower the fucking the resolution and then render that at 1080 or something. It was weird. Huh. All right. Oh, for sure. Bayonetta passes the Bechdel test. Yes. <laughs> it's humorous, but yes. All right. We are going to be doing a new game. You'll not be able to continue from checkpoint. Oh, no. Oh, by the way, uh, Radu and chat, there are a few things that I did not yeah. discuss. That these are platinum game standards, and I, I should have discussed them during Wonderful 101. That being hey. that these games tend to have a mechanic where it can slow down. It has the witch time sort of mechanic. And we saw that uh, particularly when I got the dodges later on in Wonderful 101. And when you drew the game. Big fan of the bullet time, Kamiya. Yep. And uh, when you drew the, 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 the shapes, time would slow down so you could draw the shapes. Um, the entire, as weird as this is going to sound, the entire game's a tutorial? This is a mechanic that is in most of all of his games. This is a mechanic that only exists in normal difficulty. When you get to the highest difficulty, he just turns that mechanic off because you should know how to do the game by now. Oh. <laughs> so while these mechanics uh, are like clearly so ingrained into the game, no, they're actually not. All the highest difficulties take that mechanic away. Fucking, you should know what you're doing by now. So in Wonderful 101, you were drawing in real time, and every time you took out a weapon, you took out a battery. And this one has slow-mo, but it takes them out or reduces the time greatly in higher difficulties. So all these things that it's it's so prevalent in the game, it's like, oh, he loves doing this. No, that mechanic is just in the game because you're just starting the game. The whole game is a tutorial to now, okay, good. Now go do it for real. Where it's not just the enemies have more health, he takes off half the mechanics that make the game easier. It's like, all right, you know what the game is now? Fucking do it for real. You know, the question I got to ask is, uh, is it because this is the English version? And mm -hmm. where, because mm -hmm. in, back in the day in like NES games, they used to add an easy mode for American audiences because Japanese just like, yeah. oh no, they're, they're pathetic and shitty. 
Yeah. Rem <laughs> remember, Metal Gear did that. Um, yes. But no, that is, from what I understand, that's not an English thing. Because remember, he doesn't program for America. Remember, right. this is Kamiya. He okay. don't give a fuck. He just programs the game, and then someone else is like, okay, cool. You figure out how the Americans will get this. He does not program the game for America. Okay, so uh, my notes for formal are going to be Kamiya's an asshole. Uh, normal is t uh, tutorial can't do hard until normal done. Yes. I believe there might be a code or something to do it, but yeah. So I didn't bring that up. Which was, now that we've done the game, you could do the game. Where all the slow-mo effects of Wonderful 101 don't I exist fucking, anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad. Even even though this, this game looks badass and everything, this would infuriate 12-year-old me. <laughs> that, <laughs> like, I'd just be sitting there what, uh, playing hard mode. Uh, uh, like, what the fuck is this bullshit? Where the fuck is my slowdown? I have to learn the, the mechanics all over again, and then I'd go to school and get my ass kicked, because well, I was a nerd. Well, to be <laughs> fair, I, I will say that this would take another thing. There's normal, I'm gonna do wonderful 101 terms, there's normal, hard, and one, 101 hard. It's the 101 hard or hardest difficulty where they take those settings off. So there is a harder one where you still have the handrails, though with reduced timing, and then the hardest difficulty, they're gone completely. So okay. you would have right, been... So they, they, they taper off. I, yeah, I you, you would have been eased into it. Got you. All right. So we're just going to start the game, and I sure hope Platinum Games doesn't just start balls to the wall insane or anything. <laughs> Wait, which button do I go to to take my head off? I think I'm in the wrong one. I love that the red one has blunder buses. Hold on, my stream might crash. I, I, had to tr I had to change the whole thing over. I was in the wrong fucking one. There we go. I got changed the camera in a second, but there you go. Long it's okay, chat. I still have the tutorial. There once existed two. No, European this is the prologue. We're getting info, buddy. You gotta listen. Overseers of history for the powers that be. The it's just a brain tutorial. Dwellers of the darkness and the Lumen Sages, controllers of the light. The clans paid each other great respect, and their efforts to maintain the balance between them defended the just passage of time. Yet one day, that balance was toppled. So are you playing in this? Yes, I'm playing right now. Okay. Which For I think is funny. You're supposed to be avoiding and fighting while this guy's talking. And stoke the flames of hatred against each other, resulting in an era of strife. The conflict between the Umbra and the Lumen threw all of Europe into a chaotic loop of battle, ambush, assassination, and casualty. It was truly a gruesome war. Despite the tremendous radiance of God shining upon them, the Lumen sages were gradually weakened by the assault of the secretive Dark Witches. Years after the balance was lost, the war had ended in the Umbra Witch's favor. Alright, two clans. First they were friends, then they were not. Banda the better. Got it. Specifically though, the thing I love about this, two European clans. The guy specified two clan, two European clans. So this entire game and everything happening about this is Europe's fault. Of course, yeah. <laughs> they're probably also uh, uh, somewhere there's there's shade thrown on the Dutch. <laughs> if you look in the background, you can see a familiar enemy. They're Big wall, I see. No, no, the, the two-headed dragon. The oh yeah, yeah, the plan, the, <laughs> the first boss in Wonderful 101. Red side and blue side, we are angry, hot and cold, tickets. ...with little resistance and subjugating those who wish to continue the struggle. Human faith in the miracles of their god pushed the witch hunts further, 
And soon, the Umbra Witches, Keepers of the Darkness, were extinguished from the Earth. All but one. Okay, witch hunt's bad, I got you. I'm okay! Let's go! Just stay close to me! So, Kamiya took a lot of inspiration from the Divine Comedy, by the way. I don't know if you're starting to get this vibe. <laughs> There's a full third of all games that came out between like 2005 and 2018 that are all Dante's Inferno themed. Uh huh. Already better cinematography than any uh, Kojima <laughs> game. <laughs> How the fuck did humans ever take him out? So they they he, they kind of just half described it there. Um, the problem was it was humans. If that makes sense, I'll, I'll wait till after the cinematic. Nefarious blood magic, where you stab yourself and become evil. Then you have to gun times the evil dead guys. Then you have to gun times. So, uh, I love that every, every ridiculous description I give about this game is just not going to be up to snuff <laughs> <laughs> into the ridiculousness. So your question was, how did human humans ever take them out? It's because it was humans. Hey, what? I know, I know the green screen's slightly off. I, I balanced it in the wrong, uh, scene collection. And then when I switched mid cinematic, it became visible. We good. Now, um, to your question though, a a as he was saying, there were two European clans. They butted heads. One of them sided with like angelic creatures. One of them sided with demonic creatures. And at one point, the, the Dark Ones were winning. They, 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 they had won, oh i.e. paganism. And then at some point, the clan that was losing convinced all of humans the dragon that the pagans were bad. So all of humanity Asia. was killed. What are you going to do? You have to eat somewhere. Fire. You know, it, humans are the perfect pursuit predator. You have to go down to sleep at some point. Stab them while they're asleep. Fuck it. That's basically what it is, is these two were fighting, the witches were winning, and then the, the, the priests were like, oh, we'll just convince all the mortal people to fight them for us because we suck. So that is, that is how humans did it, is literally because it's humans who did it. Yeah, in this scenario, the humans are the Fire Nation. The Crusades, yeah, basically. Two European clans, one of them Capulet, the other Montague. <laughs> Team Little <laughs> Angels. So uh, you had mentioned before Dante's Inferno and Devil May Cry and the like. When they uh -huh. did Devil May Cry, it was Team Little Devils. And now that we're fighting the angels, it's Team Little Angels. Yep. Platinum Games, established 2006. Shimomura. The producer. Hashimoto. There he is. Kamiya. Kamiya. Now, what do we know about Kamiya? All your eucalyptus for uh, arrogance for and asshole. But Hello also self-deprecating. Oh, they made his, like, they're peeing on him. Got it. It looks like Humpty Dumpty's <coughs> taking his last fall. Even all like men the Destroyer get scrambled in the end, right? So. That, that sounds like John Linguizamo doing a Joe Pesci impression. It might be. I had to look up the voice actors. It genuinely might be. Um, 
this game, the first one was made under Sega. This is a Sega game. So there's a lot of, besides always a lot of references in the Platinum games, there's a lot of Sega references. So they keep talking about how Eggman's dead. Hey. <laughs> I still don't get why the hell you drag me out here for these things. I just drop off the merchandise. Hey, bet you can't guess what today is. Reading the good Lord's book ain't gonna do much. People have been waiting for this asshole to get whacked for ages. Please. Now, look around. This this Ain't voice actor's name is uh, Chick Venera. What He's the Joe Pesci the pigeon from happens. fucking Animaniacs. We don't take <laughs> of care course. Of him, they take care of us. And I prefer my shoes made out of rubber, not concrete. He even hey, voiced Joe that Pesci that in, in Peaky well, in the Brain. So <laughs> put these bastards six feet under, where'd society be? You're gonna get the voice, you're gonna get the voice. Platinum Games pays for the voice. Jesus, you really get into this shit, don't you? If it were me, I'd be praying he ends up barbecue. Or at least sunny side up. <laughs> You can keep praying, but the only way this guy's meeting the Lord is if God's hungry for breakfast. <laughs> I love it when games have guys like this. This dude Speaking is like hungry, a recurring side here. character. He's My amazing. My kids me a birthday cake tonight. Cute little fuckers, I'll tell you what. And he has like a good home well, life? Then... <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. He's always got like a loving wife and kids and shit. <laughs> what the fuck? They're here? Uh. For this douchebag? Ah! I hate this damn light. I can't see a thing. Oh, Is that Kimia's grave? There, ain't they? You hearing me? You, you I can don't see think them, that one, you? but it will be making an appearance. I see them. They are instruments of God, descending upon his heavenly rays to earth. Oh my God! Dear Lord, grant us guidance, and keep safe the souls of our loved ones for all eternity. Last rights bell bottoms. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, you need that to hug the ass. Well, Come yeah. On. These creatures are affinity. Oh, she summoned the angels to kick their asses? That's awesome. You look tired. Let me tuck you in. Now remember, he can't see the angels. Oh yeah, it's... <laughs> Happy birthday, you're in graveyard getting ass kicked. Here, we'll show you. We'll drop a grave on his head. If you remember, he was one of the extra characters, Wonderful 101. He's yeah, the he's hammer the, user the, uh, that the blacksmith guy, right? Yeah. If it ain't my good buddy Enzo, how about you get out of here? You 
you die, and I'm gonna have to go back in that hole chasing after the money you owe me. There's his. Do you not think his angels deserve a good banking? Beautiful. That was a six angel suplex. By the power, by the power of Grayskull and, and Camille's libido. <laughs> he threw the guns through the angels. Of course he did. Let it be dead ass. <laughs> Holy shit, they're coming out hard today. Now, this is cheeky. Throwing me these cheap toys. Don't worry about quality. I've got quantity. <laughs> Meanwhile, fly me to the moon or whatever's playing in the background. <laughs> I love the mechanics of this. This implies that her shoes are are the gun times. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter what gun it is. It's her heels, yeah. Guns. It gets really weird when we start having shotguns and shit down there. <laughs> guns. Guns. Is that the high jump? No, it's just so, you know how you normally have, like, um, how Raiden had the light and heavy attacks and heavy attacks for his legs? Uh, her heavy attacks are her legs, and if you ever hold the button, she just starts shooting the gun that's on that appendage. Just gonna watch, so, I'm light attacks are her hands, work. and whatever she's holding in her hands, and heavy attack is her legs, and whatever she is attached to her heels. That was your last call. I think no Camille likes baseball, too. <laughs> As long as there's music, I'll keep on dancing. So, we have a thing here where we now actually have a tutorial tutorial. That first part there uh, was just a prologue to tell you the information. You are not evaluated during that and you have unlimited health. I don't think you can even get money from it. But I just find it funny to like, we're gonna give them exposition. But they might not like that. Hide cool. Make them have to fight for, for it. Fuck it. I don't know. <laughs> no. No, no. I like this. Let the let the player play the fucking game. Yeah. It doesn't matter. All right. You got, we got all these fucking mechanics. What do you have? Health and all this other shit. Cool. Teach it. me that stuff later. But, later, but let me play the game as quickly as possible. Right. That's why I love FromSoft games. Is the first thing you get to do is die. <laughs> But you're an active participant in the death. Like there's no cutscene. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, a perfect example is the uh, the Deus Ex uh, uh, game that came out like the mid, uh, uh, like 2013 or something. Yeah. Like the first 20 minutes of that game is a is a fucking cutscene. That's why I, I really don't play uh, JRPGs anymore is because they don't really get right. You go through all this fucking bullshit and then you get to play it after like 20 hours. Right. That's when the game gets good. I played Final Fantasy 13, so I know. So, by the way, they quit. I don't. I watched you play that game. When did the game get good? <laughs> Please specify. <laughs> Remember when I was in that one open map and I ran left and right looking for where the quest was and then I fought a creature there and I ran left and right and looking for where the quest was? Remember that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the last, uh, uh, the last stream you did, yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then I was like, oh yeah, we can just leave and I just went and fought the final boss. So... Yep. <laughs> the, the tutorial here said, hey, press triangle for light attack and it was like, hit next. Press circle for heavy attack. Hit next. 
And now it's like, by the way, here's every combo in the game. You can stay here as long as you want, making sure you've done all the, you don't, you can just leave. You don't have to do this. But if you want to sit there and be like, oh, I didn't do that button right. How do I do the combo? And it this just, is a tutorial I would actually do. Yeah. So it, it's, it's not, it's not talking down to me. It's yeah. like, hey, you can do this or not. But here's all the fucking things you don't have. We're not going to tell you how to do it. It's button, button, button. Yep. So, um, some of these... Just look at this fool just holding his guts. That's fucking funny, too. Is he poisoned? With I that think, lips? I, I think I had stunned him. But if I remember correctly, the blue button here is light. Circle is foot. You can see heavy. And then the little thing in the middle is you have to, like, wait a sec. <laughs> But there's like a way to do it. So some of these combos I'm able to pull off the hold right and some I just can't. I don't know. I'm just stupid, I guess. Like, see, I was doing a different combo, but then I pulled that one off. Very. Some of these, though, have good finishers. So that one was wait for him to hit the ground and then push it. And without waiting for him to hit the ground correctly, it went into that combo. That's what a lot of these are. You may recognize some of these moves. We didn't see them in Wonderful 101, but if you look real carefully, you're like, oh, okay, right. It. <laughs> the thing that I love about the you've been naughty combo is I believe she has a gun in her hand usually so she's pulling the trigger every time she spanks him yeah and some of these I cannot do right now they're in the thing but they're they're not there's like three sets of abilities you have to unlock like really quickly doing the story so some of these are actually making a reference to an ability I don't have. But some of these I do. And I do not know how to do the air ones. But basically, same as Platinum Standard. Kill people very fast. Get combo. Don't get hit. Better you do at that, the more points you get. The more points you get, the more you can buy. The more you can buy, the better you get at doing that. Cool. Um, and then at any point, uh, R2 is your dodge. And then if you dodge at the exact right time, you get the slowdown effect. I did not. <laughs> that was me just trying to show you professionally what it looks like when you don't do it, of course. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. uh-huh. Which time? So like right now, what I was talking about, like the holds weren't working and stuff or some of them that you can't do then. They're anticipating you shooting the gun. We don't actually have our guns yet because the dude kept throwing us regular guns. So they all broke. Yeah. Um, a very rare spiritual metal containing the essence of an angel's life force used in business transactions within Inferno. So right now the combos are really simple and not a bunch other is going on. But again, I don't have guns. I don't have any of my other weapons. So the pro- I'm glad you pointed out that this was a Sega game. Otherwise I would have made a joke about the Sonic rings popping up everywhere. Yeah, basically. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> the funny thing is, right? So when they went to do Bayonetta 2, uh, I guess Sega either didn't have the money or didn't want to fund them. And then Nintendo was like, hey, we'll pay you the money to do Bayonetta 2 right fucking now. Let's go. So Bayonetta 2 ended up on the Wii and is on the Switch. Um, and as part of that, they re-released Bayonetta 1 as well on the Switch. Uh, 
And when they did that, Nintendo let them, hey, you know, you're this is a Nintendo thing, so you have access to Nintendo IP. So you can do special Nintendo costumes and shit like that. They reached out to Sega and they were like, hey, by the way, well, and now we have, you know, the ability to do guns. So you can just push, but at any time in a combo, you can just hold and she'll just start shooting with whatever that appendage is. And so they reached out to Sega and they were like, hey, do you want us to put in, in Bayonetta 1, do you want a, a Sega themed skin? Like they, were, they were, like they were like, hey, we were thinking about doing this. And Sega was like, no, don't do that. Don't put our shit in there. Okay. Like, <laughs> I guess there could have been a Sonic themed costume or something. I don't know. They're they like, no, don't do that in the one that was done by us. Fuck right. it. Right. Okay. So they went back to Nintendo and they're like, hey, you're letting us do the Nintendo skins in Bayo 2. Sega said no for Bayo 1 and we're porting Bayo 1 over. Do you want us to put Nintendo skins in Bayo 1? And Nintendo's like, yeah, fucking do that shit. Do it. Please tell me there's a Princess Peach skin. There is, but I'm doing this one on Steam, so those costumes will not be available until Bayo 2. No, no, I got you. I just yeah. want to know. Oh, yeah, no. There, there is a um, th th there is a Peach skin. There is a... Uh, I'm forgetting the other one. Daisy skin. The, the, the other princess. I can't remember what yeah. her name is right now. Uh, there, is, there, there is a Legend of Zelda skin. There is a... Uh, uh, there, 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 there is a Star Fox skin, and I think there's a fifth skin. Now, the funny thing, though, is you would think, okay, well, you know, oh, wait, no, I didn't do the thing right. They, they were saying to do this, where you can manually target what you're doing. If you spin around and then hold the fire button, she'll, she'll turn into a turret and use whatever the appendage, the button you were to, to shoot the, the guns. So you can do it with her hands, but why when you can have her use her feet? I'm just saying. Right. You get, you get a better shot of her ass exactly. that way, too. Exactly. So for whatever reason right now, we're not getting any of her combo finishers, which is she uses uh, her patron to do an attack. So some of these just look like me, you know, swinging at air at the end of a combo. That's just because I've now been practicing with having the full combo. <laughs> so usually there would be like a big hand coming out of the air to be punching when I'm doing that. Like right there, a giant boot was supposed to come out of the air. We will probably, we're not going to redo all the chapters, but when I unlock those things, we'll probably redo this. Just so you can see how much smoother it is and also so we can get a better score. I'm, not dead yet. I'm getting from this game is, what a stripper, but gun. <laughs> so here's the thing. The cutscene shows the angel take the dude over there and break the fence. It does not tell you to go there, but it brings you out of the cutscene looking straight at it. So when I tell Show, you, don't tell. yeah, but here's the thing. Here's a slight problem. There are people out there who, 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 who are famous for being bad at games <laughs> who got stuck in this area for minutes because they couldn't figure out where to go. Is that you? Did no, you do that? I, I did get twist <laughs> I personally got twisted around because I was shooting the things and I forgot where the fence was, but I quickly sorted it out. No, I mean like minutes, minutes. Um, there is a genuine dude. I'm forgetting his name right now. The instant I want to bring him up. Um, there is a genuine dude. This is how you don't play. What is his name? What is his name? I can't remember what. I don't talk yes, thank you. Know. Dark Side Phil. Um, Dark Side Phil uh, is notoriously bad at games. And he got stuck here for like five, ten minutes. He could not leave this area. And he kept That's saying, hilarious. he kept saying that uh, Miyazaki, well, well, not Miyazaki, fucking Kamiya. Ka Kamiya was a bad dev and shit. He's like, this game sucks. It's bad. I, w I would almost not have brought it up for how hilarious the game is like, hey, go that way. And he, he just got stuck here. Well, no, just even if you've never heard a story or anything like that before, 
They just made a point. Guy grabbed this guy and then went this way. Would not your first impulse be, oh, I gotta save that guy. Let's go this way. I gotta go this Haven't way. Haven't you figured it out yet? There's no quarter for you in this So uh, we, we just broke our man's car and Bayo had a look on her face of, oh, I fucked up. But because we're not in regular reality right now, he didn't see who did it. So we're just gonna blame the angels. We're gonna say they did it. <laughs> So whenever they are doing their attacks or whenever you are doing your attacks, everyone can be interrupted into everything. There is a mechanic that I did not bring up too much in Rising Revengeance called Dodge Offset, which is basically your combos can just have dodges in the middle of them. Like that does not break the combo because you're expected to dodge mid combo and continue going. They do not stop because you are doing funny things. Conversely, if they're doing a big attack and you fucking nail them, you know, you, you, you pop them and you interrupt their attack, too. Uh, Rodan should be paying me for even touching these toys. You have any idea how much this is going to cost to fix? How the fuck do I always get wrapped up in this shit? Hmm. Engine still purrs nicely. Now... About this little thing you've been looking into for me, Enzo. Let's have a quick chat. See? This is why I told you I was going home. I just got held up in the air by some invisible things, and you want an intelligence briefing? It never stops with you! You keep belly with like this, magical bullshit, man. This is what it is. From the dead. And I don't think either of you would like that. No one wants I'll Eggman to come back. Catch you later, Bayonetta. Something tells me you're gonna no, need a not Jim Carrey. On a special project <laughs> before this shit hits the fan. Wait, Rodan. What about Eggman? Such a popular chap. <laughs> I bet they hate him down there as much as you did when he was up here. We just need to make sure he won't come crawling back when they kick him out. Nothing a flower bed can't fix. Fill her up. You heard the man. Finish up in five minutes or you're walking home to your cake and candles. What? Don't you leave me here? Uh, Vorplum is bringing up Radu. Do you notice what the angels look like just before they die? Oh, what a day. And in which, in which case to that, uh, t ah, tell the class, Vorplum, because I actually don't think I know this. I earned on this charade to pay for the damage. Tell you what, if I could see them bastards that did yeah, I don't know. Car, forget about did they did it? Did they explode into friends. woodland creatures? I don't get the reference. How can you be so calm? You're still getting screwed in all this. Look at those guns on her heels. Of all the low life scum in too deep in this town. <laughs> oh, I okay. I see what he's saying. Yeah, as you damage them, it, it's messengers. not just before they die, as you damage them. Their angelic features are like porcelain and they break off and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did notice that. Like, they're, like, the, the, the paladin sword has flesh inside. <laughs> I can't help it if I like the little outfits. The toys are nice, too. Hey, hey, 20 years ago, you woke up stuck in a casket at the bottom of a lake. All you can remember is that you're a witch. But now, you're stuck because you gotta sacrifice our halo-wearing friends every day or they'll drag your ass back down to hell. I know, I thought I got screwed, but being forced to slap around the divine for a living? That's really getting screwed. If I needed a biographer, you wouldn't be my first choice. I see to the funeral, you get me the information I asked for. That was our deal. Ha 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 ha, come on now! Look at my poor car! I'm working for free after this! At least let me get a drink at Rodan's before you start drilling me. The info I got is good. Is good. It's gonna get you close to finding the other stone in the pair and figuring out some of that lost past of yours. I swear. Jewels instead of cash. 
just like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, can't you take a joke? Enzo, someone's given you a present. Hey. Too bad. I can't stand bugs. <sighs> All right, Radu. Yes. <laughs> Quiz time. This is a Platinum Games game. What the fuck is about to happen? <laughs> well, you got to look behind you. That's that's what you well, got. For sure. But but what are we going to see? What what, what are we going to see behind us? Uh, rival. Giant monster. Big. Uh, Clearly uh, a plane coming in for a landing. Oh, of course. I was working my way towards it. She also, she also has gun heels. What's the matter, Bayonetta? All that sleeping made you soft. So, in the upper left corner, below our health, is a magic gauge. When you fill it up, you can do an ultimate uh, fucking attack, uh, torture attack that'll kill whatever you're hitting with it basically instantly, I believe, unless they're like a really big dude. So, this is still essentially a tutorial, which is, yo, you have five minutes to pull this off three times, figure it out. The first two are kind of given to you because the angels are are slowed down. But once you've done the first two, this angel's like, nah, fuck this. We're in regular time now. If you can set up one of these sort of like punishing things, that's where you get a lot of magic from. The fucking Iron Maiden burped. <laughs> Platinum. <laughs> so yeah, we have to have a rival who has your powers and your skill set, but thematically looks different, like opposite than you. And maybe they'll become a friend, a train, a bus. Maybe they'll become a friend by the end. Who knows? Platinum coffee. <laughs> Chakun's always trying.
So everyone in this game is a dramatic bitch, by the way. <laughs> Those assholes sure know how to get attention. Even perk the ears of the hotheads down home. You don't say. It's getting harder and harder to tell the worlds apart. <laughs> Human world. Inferno. Paradiso. Who can tell the difference? Oh, and they, they went really heavy handed in the divine comedy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, as he's pointing out, essentially, the creatures of Paradiso, which we call angels, are always fighting the creatures from, I forget what he called, hell, Inferno. Inferno. Um, are always fighting the creatures from Inferno and vice versa. Um, and they fight over the battleground. That is where the human world is, the material world. But sure. whenever we go through that purple circle, the angels become not transparent and regular people become transparent. That's where everyone really fights. That's Purgatorio. Uh-huh. So as a thing, you can tell which dimension you're in by whether or not the humans are visible because they're they're transparent in Purgatorio while you're fighting. Why the sudden interest in metaphysics? And also while you're in that, suddenly the, the humans can't see you either. Even if some of them like messing around with the humans, we've all got a stake in the status quo. But people keep fucking around like this. The book of revelations is gonna look like Mother Goose. Heaven and hell are gonna go straight for each other's throats. Heaven and hell can tear each other. By the way, the boo she used for heaven and hell was Utopia and fucking. I, I, I forgot the other names, so I said it backwards. But they, they actually used so, booze so, appropriate for what they were saying. It was a bit too brazen. And Enzo's tip makes the timing too perfect. This but dominate! What does that do? And look! In one of those <laughs> He's just got all the guns back there. <laughs> hey, Jim Bai! Welcome in! We just started on Kamiya's wet dream. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone! Hello, gremlins! Self would kill to get his hands on. We are doing Bayonetta 1 in no our quest enemies, to go through the Platinum games. Because they're one of a kind. Nice. House Flipper. Did you flip the house as good? So now she's getting her Scarborough affair. And we got to put them on dramatically while he dramatically makes a drink because everyone's a dramatic bitch. <laughs> How small that fucking drink is. <laughs> I don't go in for strange offers. Then again, I'm getting No, the four other that she had were all regular guns that she happened to be using. She now has a legit set. Because he, he said in the cutscene that he was working on a special project for her. So those are just four regular guns. Pounding them down tonight, baby. <laughs> to put into your affairs, but I'm pretty sure you got somewhere better to be. The guys you're up against aren't the type to wait for you to finish a round. <laughs> she batman him. His bar is called the Gates of Hell. Enzo, her drinks are going on your tab, buddy. You did beat motherfucker. Ah! Ah! Writing down the Joe Pesci is comic relief. <laughs> Wait. I should have been a pole dancer. <laughs> <laughs> all the awards have a different person standing there, so they all have a different phrase, and platinum is Bayonetta, I should have been a pole dancer. Of course it is. Mm -hmm. oh, hold on. I, I will answer your question, but I got to do the angel attack. There's a bonus game at the end of every level where you can shoot angels in an arcade. 
and this gets you points to buy items or to just turn into fucking money. I think I prefer to just always turn it into money, but. You can get a headshot, then it's a one-shot kill. And you get bonus points. Because Kimmy has always got to have a shooting gallery game. Oh, I missed one. points not bad so that's either eight thousand more dollars of which i only gain like two or three th or twenty or thirty thousand or i could turn it in for things like some of these her all of her healing items you know they're not wonderful soups to go they're just different color lollipops that's hilarious she loves drinking the lollipops um I'm at by, I think the tiny drinks is to accentuate how fucking large these people are. Yeah. She's like seven or eight feet tall. Like, I think they... And, ho and uh, homie's bigger than her. Yeah. So, like, and that drink almost looked regular size in her hand. So, I, I'm not saying that it's not tiny. The proportions are always wrong for, like, the things. But... I just want to point out that they look more absurd than they even really are because of the people that are holding shit. So, I asked around and some whale in Europe is trying to fence a huge rock on the black market. He calls it the right eye. Saying it's part of some set called the eyes of the world. Fits the bill of what you're after, don't it? Eyes of the world. Now, here's the funny bit. The stone passes around the halls of power. So the the other magical stone that we're getting to complete the eyes of the world will do. That's just a chaos emerald, isn't it? Or for hundreds of years. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, absolutely that is. <laughs> and then the black market goes white hot for the thing. But the seller wanted an arm and a leg for it. To the point no one could stomach the price so back goes the stone but not before everyone figures out where the guy is <laughs> you're gonna enjoy doing this one i bet i love sticking it to the rich of course when you do don't forget your old buddy enzo stuck his neck out on this one slide me a few fuzzles out of the rich guy's pocket for my you gotta get the fuzzles I Anyway, Give me the fuzzles. Get going before the trail gets cold. Off to the middle of nowhere, paradise of Europe. Vigri. Is that a reference to Virgil? Probably. <laughs> like if something sounds like it's almost a reference to. Uh, the Divine Comedy, but isn't quite, then it's probably a reference to Devil May Cry, who made the reference to the Divine Comedy. Oh, got you. This hmm. <laughs> now the game has started. <laughs> She's got to do a walk down the, the, the runway. At last, my dear. Huzzah! So, I believe with the guns, Sir, we with the proper guns, I should say. This is supposed to be paradise? We now have full access to our other abilities. <laughs> where we can now have these fists and stuff come out. And I got a unicorn horn. 
because we have the space things from Wonderful 101, but now they're uh, magical things. Yep. And the big thing is Mandragora Root. Um, that they were that they hinted at when he did the exposition backstory in the car. You know, she was asleep and woke up like 20 years ago, and she has a debt. My my face isn't on. She has a debt that she's essentially paying while doing all of this. Um, the angel people work for the angels. These people work for the devils or the demons and shit, and they have a patron, so she can use her patron's powers but she owes a debt and she was asleep for a long time. So whenever you kill angels and stuff, and this is why she was summoning them down, you kill them, they get sacrificed to your patron for them to eat. Like they're doing a fight in earth, the, the, the heaven and hell through their agents. And the last agent of the demons is essentially you, but maybe also the other girl, cause she had the stuff. And your patron is Madama Butterfly. So if you look, you know, she looks kind of normal with her hair and stuff hanging out. But if you look, her shadow is a giant butterfly. Because nice. that, that's who your patron is. You now have double jump. And if you do it, butterfly wings come out because it's your patron doing the double jump for you. And when she lands and does certain runs, you'll see butterflies pop out. And it's all that good jazz. So this is who her person is. So a lot of those combos I was talking about earlier, like I, that I kept missing. So I was, you know, I'm used to something happening. It's because Madame, Madama Butterfly's fists and like hands are supposed to be coming out of a portal in the air to kick people. Um, we are going to waste a little time shooting uh, these benches and getting some currency because I'm waiting for the train to leave because Platinum Games has a bunch of annoying things, you know, always be looking backwards and all that good jazz, but some things are more absurd than others because why the hell would you ever think of that? Uh, an example of this that I completely forgot about, Radu, for Wonderful 101 is during that final boss segment when you're in the Geth Star, there was an uh -huh. area where I went down on the elevator and then went off to a thing and then jumped over to another thing. You're supposed yeah. to jump over to the thing and then immediately jump back and there was one of those um, portals to a secret fight there. Oh. Like, literally just, like, always be looking backward undersells the absurdity of some of the secret fights and stuff in Platinum Games. And while it's not a secret fight, we are needing to wait for this train to go away before we progress the story because the train is hiding something. Also, I love the idea that we're like shooting guns and everyone's like, oh my God, something blew up. Like imagine you're just in a train station and you just shit starts getting shot and blown up around you, but there's literally no one there. <laughs> so it's <laughs> literally just ghosts fucking with guns. Um, also to a thing that someone had mentioned earlier, uh, yes, her, she has her, her, uh, the Scarborough Fair. They each have a different color and they are named Parsley, Sage, Rosemary, and Thyme. And they push your magic to its limit. And right now it's the only weapon we have. So it is in all slots. Left slots are your hands. And you can see in the background on the picture there, right slot are the feet. Cause you can see the drawing in the background. You can rotate back and forth between two sets. So you can be ready for anything. If you hit R2, you will switch between sets. We don't have different sets right now, so nothing's happening. Or L2, I mean. If you hit L1, you want to touch me? You taunt. That, that's her taunt. You want to touch me? And that makes the demons angry, and they do more damage to you, but now you can do more damage to them. And now the train is finally leaving, and like I said, it usually takes about just as much time as all these things going away. And when the train leaves... Oh, look! There's one quarter of a health upgrade, or sorry, mana upgrade. Two, half of a mana upgrade just sitting down there, waiting. You just have to wait for the fucking train to leave. Because fuck you, that's why this Platinum Games. <laughs> um, and I think if you go down, does something happen if you go down in the tunnel? Is that a game over or does it trigger a fight? Something happens down here, I think. Nope, I guess not. Must be thinking of a different game or a different level. Oh, I think if you're on the train when it leaves, you game over. Something, I don't, something weird about that fucking train thing. I don't remember what it was. Her patron was still too hungry to mess with the temporal rifts or it got fixed or something. I don't know. Fucking weird nonsense. Um, also, we had the 80 points. I turned 40 of the points. So yeah, if you had moved on, you just couldn't get it. Um, I turned 40 of the points 
into four thousand dollars and i turned the other 40 into points to, for to getting a health upgrade for this level that health upgrade was not a permanent one that was just a uh it's only for one level but you know i'm relatively rusty on the game i wanted the extra health so we're now learning about double jump but if i go down here first always be looking backwards there is a chest that is where the key is this is the game initially i think teaching you to go backwards uh, a bunch of things are hitting in those hiding in those chests and apparently all of those chests are all those chests are graves of old witches oh shit Oh my god, I got hit. You just cost me a pure platinum, you son of a bitch. What a dick. That's usually a really easy fight to pure platinum, too, because you just gotta whack him with the fucking key. Oh, also, I didn't because he interrupted the combo. Oh, dick. All right, what do we got here? We got books, a voyage towards the truth. It's, I've been a journalist now for over 20 years, always aiming for the guiding light of truth, always pushing forward. I've believed that communicating the truth is a core tenet of all journalism, chasing until my legs turned to rubber and the truth burned into my retinas. But my journalistic career has hit an incredible wall, and I must confess that I've been crushed under the weight of the path I've traveled. It all began upon seeing beyond the stone-chiseled history of old European city of Vigrid and past the deep scars time had left behind. The passing of history has always been overseen by a select few, and they have left memories of a time stained with blood. This fact is integral in understanding the big picture, but also causes one to hesitate before becoming involved in such a dark history. Treading down this path I believe so firmly in means I cannot afford to lose faith in my convictions. It may also mean that my life is put in the jeopardy. However, I hold deep, deep within my heart that hope, the hope that even after my soul has left this body, as long as these notes, my proof of being, are passed to the right man, future ages will also come to know the truth. They say that some things come at the cost of your life, but to me, truth is my life. In this uh, age filled with lies and deception, I forever pray that truth will shine its light on the path of righteousness. Antonio Redgrave. So there is a couple of series of collectibles in this game, including Antonio's notebooks. Also, I neglected to read the thing earlier before I opened it. That's my bad. That door that I had punched open, I don't think you can do it from behind. But, um, oh, you can still check it though. The wall is sealed tight. Ah, okay. So yeah, um, those walls can only be opened by witch powers, which basically means you have to do like a full fucking combo to beat them open. Oh no, one of these statues is destroyed. It must have been destroyed in a fit of rage powered by a deeply held grudge. Angel trap. And now we're learning about the wicked weed. Get naked and use the big punch! So the Wicked Weave is an AoE attack. It's not just hitting the guy you're trying to use it on. If some other idiot gets behind that portal and the guy you're hitting, they get hit too. That's on them for fucking it up. Oh, I wanted the torture attack for more points. Oh well, I'll take a pure plat. I could have had two pure plats if that dude hadn't hit me. And of course, you dispelled the uh, the other people's magic with kisses. Lumen Sage and Umbra Witch. When their powers meet in a test of strength, the lightning released will be your test. If you wish to walk upon the water, prove your mettle by dodging the lightning in a single hair's breadth. I.e., uh, you can walk on water in which time? Laurel shaped gem that contains vital essence and crystallized form revives your vitality instantly when obtained. There you go. Really does. Calling out for magical power. I think you were saying that in jest. No, it, it's a genuine, every, I, I believe everyone knows this, but yeah, all of her summon powers or whatever, she sends her hair into Inferno to call forth her demons and patrons and shit. 
and her clothing is made out of her hair. So she does get naked to summon the demons. Mostly naked. Um, you can dodge almost as much as you want in this game, but each dodge is slightly separate. And if you dodge too many times in a row, she decides to get dramatic. <laughs> so she has to pose on the ground if you dodge five times in a row. I don't know why, but she does. Now, when I jump in the air, I can't really do anything, so I'm kind of vulnerable in the air. And around the world, slightly related, but unrelated, I was doing things out of order. Around the world are these portals. That's how you get to Rodin's, Rodan's store. This town's teeming with heaven's little helpers. It's making my buddies downstairs awfully nervous. And your point is? Some places in this world are closer to Paradiso or Inferno. The rat hole of the town you and I live in is close to both. But the Bygridians, they got a special air about them. Bygridians. They're closer to Paradiso than anyone should ever be. And that shit just... So is this the fucking Vatican out. City or some shit? Uh, no, but yes. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to set up shop here and score me some halos. These stupid rings are worth a fortune <laughs> back home. Since it seems you're spoiling for a fight, if you come across any of these, bring them to me, and I'll hook you up. <sighs> Another one looking to line his pockets. <laughs> I'm beginning to see why Enzo is so fond of you. Real cute. But let's get one thing straight. Your fights are yours alone. I'm only here to watch my handiwork in action. So don't get any bright ideas about coming to me for help. No, you get one thing straight. You get one thing straight. I'm not the slightest bit interested in the fact that you made these guns. If you get in my way, I will... How do the Americans put it? Oh, yes. Bust a cap in your ass. <laughs> right oh, what baby. the fuck? Right. What, 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 was, was that on your fucking bingo list of shit that was going to happen in this game? Badly portrayed American slang? Yes, actually. Bust a cap in your ass. <laughs> All right, so we have... All right, wait, wait, wait a second. Before you move on, okay. I think I get it. Uh, Devil May Cry was the... Uh, uh, the noir detective uh, is a demon hunter guy. Uh -huh. And this one is the femme fatale doesn't even look for the the detective. Uh-huh. Yes. Because both games seem very noir in their their dr drama and the way they're portrayed and everything. For sure. The, the weird thing is there is like a lighting to this, you know, the game. You know, it's thematic. It goes with the thing. There is yeah. a mod where someone put out to be like, oh, I made everything look photorealistic and it looks appropriate. And a bunch of people in the comments are like, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? That's not a bad art. That's the way it's supposed to look. By the way, you have to know to jump up here to get one of the four heart pieces to get extra health because always be looking backwards. It's up here clearly. Uh -huh. But I, I, I just thought like everyone's like, bro, you misunderstood this game if you think this needed to be photorealistic. Right. Wasn't that the whole thing with, with mods in general is like, well, I want this to be a certain way, so let me just fucking do it. Yeah. Uh, I think it looks better this way, and everybody's like, no, it's bad. Let, I'm going to do my own. Bad. So we are now into the store, and as this is a port, by the way, I could be wrong, but is that Camille's head? Logo. Look at that, that fucking Camilla's face. <laughs> Um, this is, we, we now got the store. We've been earning money and stuff. And when we unlock weapons, we'll come here to buy them. If, if you get a thing to unlock a weapon, he'll give you one for free. And then you got to buy the other one, which means if you unlock a weapon, it can either be on your hands or your feet, but not both at the same time, unless you pay money, which I wow. think is an interesting concept. So, you know, you always get those things like, oh, you now unlock the ability to buy this, but no, no, you can get one. You just can't full combo with it unless you buy it. 
I, I, I like the concept. Um, we have accessories and stuff that'll change gameplay rules and effects, and we'll want to unlock them as time goes on. There are items if you need to buy them, including buying health and mana upgrades, which we will need to do. Uh, we will get back to that one in a second. And later on, there'll be artifacts that also really change the game. We need to get these. But as usual, this is a Platinum Games game. By the way, I love chicks in the upper right corner. There is a Platinum Games game. You have to go and buy the dodge booth. <laughs> This is all I was getting at, is if I jump, I can't do anything, so I'm weak right now. If you get the game, I suggest buying Dodge. <laughs> As usual, buy Dodge. <laughs> so in Rising Revengeance, he had like a ride and punch thing. It's in this game. It's called a fucking whatever this move is called. The stiletto. Stiletto. There is a heel slide. Do you remember when I always slid into people? and yeah. use that to cut their head off. Well, this is what it looks like from the third person perspective, but also with guns and not a sword. So that moves here. Beautiful, he says. Tetsu, what you would you? It's a weird move. There's one where she's just like, I don't like you. And she screams, boom. She just heal stomps. So this is a combo that sh it showed like the, almost a spin move. It's not quite the same thing, but anything involving that basically required you to get an unlock to get it. Gotcha. Um, I absolutely love breakdance. Right now, when you dodge, you just, you know, you dodge. You're like, oh, don't hit me. If you hold it. <laughs> so good. And it does a camera finish. <laughs> Now, because that is an attack and not a dodge, you could be hit during it, but also you can just dodge out of it and keep going. So now your dodges have combos in addition to all your other combos. Also, by the way, um, I said circle was kick, and if you hold it, you fire with that weapon. Triangle is hit, and if you hold it, you fire with that weapon. What if someone's at range and you just want to fire at them? Square is a dedicated shoot with gun button. Nice. And specifically, it is a dedicated shoot with your guns button because you can change other weapons and stuff. You will always be using these pistols. So even if you're like, oh, I have melee weapons, you still have a ranged option by holding square. You just couldn't do that to go into a gun off the regular attack. Uh, this afterburner kick is the rising V it is also the thing that I needed when I was playing rising revengeance so I could hit the dudes in the air. It is the rising kick attack. And if you do it while coming down in the air, you fire all your weapons as you heal drop them because of course, <laughs> um, what if I hold an attack while dodging? She creates a portal, goes through it, comes out of the air, lands on them, poses, and shoots them with gun. Nice. Because, of course. Necessary. Unlock the drama powers. The draw, exactly. The drama powers. So you can do the same thing with triangle. Except this one, she does like a fucking matrix fucking shoot everyone while entering the room. John Woo fucking feathers even come up when you hit a guy <laughs> and then she spirals into the air. Now I would have one of these, but because I didn't get the pure platinum because that one dude hit me, I'm short by 63 points. I see that. <laughs> what an asshole. But we got the dodge and that's good because you need the dodge. Now I can dodge Ooh. in the air and being in the air is not almost a death sentence. <laughs> Which means also you can go a bit further by doing this a little faster. <laughs> but anyways, we will move on. Whoop, butterfly. And you go back in there, get more stuff. You got your 63 points. I now points. have the stuff. I will be going back in but I got to do something down here first to save my sanity because we're going to have to go back again in a second anyways. So we have another book. The Crystal Witch in Sage. 
Within Vigrid City, there are a great many structures built long ago by two clans, the Umbra Witches and the Lumen Sages. By the way, if it, if it wasn't clear already, the, uh, the people that chose Inferno are witches because they're all female, and the people who chose Paradiso were all men, so they're sages. They really wanted to hammer in the, like, the witch trials and shit. So yep. all, all the angel people are dudes and they hate the women and all the, all the, the, the demon people are the women and they're all sexy. <laughs> Amongst them all have sun and moon duality, evidence of a peculiar outlook towards the universe. The witch is representing the moon and the sage is representing the sun, burning the fabric of the city in various ways. One of these structures, a pair of statues crafted from a high quality crystal known as Beltiston Crystallos, featured both a witch and a sage. The statues appear to hold some sort of special significance. According to ancient records, they were created to aid in the training of the art of overseeing time, a skill only the two clans were capable of practicing that also served as a key to locking something away from public view should the clans feel the need for secrecy. However, the exact details of this are unknown. Now the city, scarred by the tragic witch hunts of the past, has seen many of the statues depicting witches destroyed or heavily defaced. Even these beautiful crystal statues were unable to escape the calamitous fighting. Memories of Ocarina in time fast dodging the entire game. She loses her yeah. self restraint and momentarily <laughs> reverts to stripper fast. <laughs> so, you can see in the distance, there is a bird that is red. There's another one of our collectibles. They fly away when you get close. You gotta be real, real, real sneaky on them half the time. Umbrin Tears of Blood. They're just birds you gotta collect. Before we move forward, there is another witch grave over here. For a health upgrade, we now have two of those. And there is also a bullet. Bullets you find in the level give you three extra shots in that post level fucking arcade. So only for the next one or total? Only for the next one. It's just, hey, now when you do that thing at the end, you'll get three extra shots. Nice. Um, try to remember if there was something over here. I don't think so. It might have been in Bayonetta 2 or the next, uh, or, in the, or later in the game. But we can blow these up and is there something up here? Nope, I don't think so. All right, we can now trigger. Let let us move forward. What? Before they did this game, they did uh, Okami. So a bunch of effects create the flowers and stuff. Just like in Wonderful 101, they like their Okami effects. <laughs> I like that they made the angels look like Egyptian vultures. <laughs> so now we have the lower level angels boss. It's an applaud. What the fuck? <laughs> Summon guillotine. So because I killed him with that move, I can pick up his weapons. Which are actually pretty strong. Angel on angel violence right now. Oh, fuck you. I'm not fighting anymore. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Triple pull move. Clearly the best way to take out an angel. Get down here, nerd. But does the weapon move or do you spin? I don't know. Oh, fuck you, you little shit. Air times punched. <laughs> it's got a fucking trumpet call attack. I, I, 
you may have noticed at which time threw it, went back and parried it and sent his own trumpet ball back at him. <laughs> Cherubim. He's a beloved. This is an accurate depiction of children. <laughs> so the, the trumpet is a, a, is a rocket launcher. Nice. The shoe's on the other foot now. RNG rocket launcher revenge. Right after crotch. Yes, grab me. Yes, here we go. Oh, no, he got me. Surprise attack! Boom! And when it's a big guy, you always end it with a climax. That's literally what it's called, a climax attack. Nice. We did it. Yay. Yay. Magical keys. So, look how big his weapon is. Uh-huh. Somehow kicking it in the air shrinks it to her size. It's magic. It's magic. It's the whole thing. This X is magic. <laughs> so we got Traws, Marshes, Militaires. The way this game works, and they'll explain it a little bit in a bit, is some angels drop classical music? Because that's oh, angelic music. Yeah. And <laughs> if you give it to Rodan, he'll play the music to draw on angels so that, or demons or whatever so that he could turn them into your weapons. So this is how you get weapons. You have to collect... Like it's fucking Monster Rancher. You gotta collect discs and then bring it to the man for him to use it to get you a weapon. So now we will go back, but we will not go back. I'm going to bypass him. Why am I going to bypass him? Because we did this fight. And what happens when you do this fight? Well, we're in a Platinum Games game. So we must always be looking backwards. We are now going to go to the beginning of this area. <laughs> Because, because to get stuff that spawned in during that fight. Uh-huh. We already have the health gauges and shit loading in. I don't know why, but this is just normal shit. You just got to be realizing this for whatever reason. Oh, I hate fighting on the stairs. I always misunderstand what I'm looking at. other side There you go. 
So we've now handled them, gotten some extra money. Do I want the tr do I want the rocket launcher? I, or do I want the yeah, we'll go with the pole. We need the pole. The pole's important. Gotta have that stick times. Ah, whatever. I don't, this must not be the right weapon. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we'll go to Rodan's because now we have money, but also we have the thing to give him. We're going to need to go back anyways. Yes, enter the gates of hell. Well, well, an Angelic Kim's gold LP. Got your hands on something awfully rare, haven't you? Does that just mean it's demon versus demon? Oh, yeah. Pokes out some of hell's ugliness. One note hits their ears, and a damn who's who of Inferno comes pouring out of the inner circles. Then I can use them to breathe life into what I make best. Weapons of mass destruction. Tell you what, you give me that record, and I'll order up something so fiendish, angels will cry at the sight of it. I'll just have to pop down to the tropics for a bit. So take a load off. And then he plays the song. This might be my favorite <laughs> unlock weapons mechanic I've ever seen. <laughs> All done. He's a little rude, but he makes up for it with charm. Be nice to him, okay? So now we have the Onyx Roses, which are shotguns. shotguns. And like I said, we got those for free. I don't need to pay 69,800 to get them. That's for alt, so you can have two at once. So we do just already have those. Um, where is, afterburner kick first. This so way I can go up into the air. All right, hold on. There we go. Drop that for a second. So I will put the shotgun on the feet real quick on that one. Oh, and no, as a matter of fact, just for showing off, I'll put it on that one. Now I cannot put it in both slots of A, but because these are two different sets, you can alternate them. That's fine. Yeah. So right now you can see, oh, hold on. You want to touch me? Definitely didn't hit the wrong button. Um, you can see the shotgun now to the side of her foot. Yeah. Very good for taking out large areas of people, if you so wish. It's also good for like weird ass aerial shit because of knockback and you can pull it off right. Um, if you, there we go, put it in her hands. When you do an attack, she'll do one shoddy. But while she's spinning the shoddy, if you do another one and hold, she'll do the other one. And then if you hit the button during that, she does too. So the big thing with a shoddy is it does a lot more damage or it can be doing damage, but you have to do a lot of holds to make it work right. Cause she has to do the shot and then go into another thing. And then you see how there's like five combos to that. But the trick is that she has to shoot each one to really maximize what the shotguns are doing. Right. And when it's on her feet, you really don't have, you kind of have it. There you go. There's a shotgun spin. So shotguns, good amount of damage, but not good for rapid assaulting, if that makes sense, which kind of yep. makes sense. But even with, you know, the regular guns in her hand, or sorry, even with the shotguns in her hand, as I said earlier, if you hold square, she switches to her regular guns to do the shooting. So there is always a dedicated, I wish to use a shock, a handgun to shoot something mechanic. So for this, I'm going to have uh, regular combo for A and shoddy on feet for B. And now let's start up a thing of how many times I hit the wrong button and make her go, do you want to touch me? Instead of switching to a shotgun. <laughs> what a way to break her ankles. 
They're magically reinforced, Travis. Yes, don't forget. They're ma by, just look out. by hair. Like, look, <laughs> she's 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 not standing up straight, by the way, and she's literally head and shoulders above other people. She's tall. She's tall, and she's posing. She like she's lost a little bit of height due to the posing, but she's tall. She's big. <laughs> Oh. All right. Is there something over here? Yes. Got to get the collectibles. Go. All right. Let's destroy me... everything that can't be destroyed. There you go. That's why I held on to that one weapon. Don't to jump up to the rafters. Exactly. You're getting used to this. Always be looking backwards. Another broken witch heart. Whatever you see is what they wanted you to see, which means it's wrong. Gun times. Oh, it's an upside down head with dragons. I'm dodging way too early. There we go. Ah, I just eat the next one. Good. Oh no! They no! My friend, I don't remember having. By the way, we've lost. Oh fuck, he hit me with that. We've lost the shotguns for this fight. Because we're in a flashback. You want to be on the outside of this attack? You want to dodge and not be an idiot? Because he's going to attack down the middle if you get caught in that. Fuck, am I not doing this well? Oof. I'm very glad I got that extra health for this level. What is happening? <laughs> you are messing up the dodges is what's happening. All the dodges. There we go. That's right. I like looking like a fucking moron. <laughs> it's not upside down. It's just Australian. <laughs> What the fuck? It's an Australian a a angel? What the fuck? All right. So we did that flashback in that fight. That happened. I got silver because I really did bad on damage. But I saw wait, that. <laughs> when they brought me back from the flashback, I was over here. That means something must be behind me. There's Redbird. You got damaged by that flashback. Uh-huh. <laughs> Psychic damage. Like your health stayed. It, it, it's because I realized, I was like, oh, I did real bad back then, and it made me feel bad. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh. 
I discovered the existence of something called alchemy. It is the deconstruction, combination, and reconstruction of everything. Metal, flesh, even spirit. If one understands the logic of the age, alchemy is a prime example of the area in which it was developed. Although lesser known is the fact that alchemy is an offshoot of the witch's secret art of concoction. Concoction was only practiced by the Umbra Witch Clan, and the materials, amounts, and methods used were never shared outside of the clan's inner circle. However, in the chaos of the witch hunt, some details were said to have slipped out, including knowledge of the primary mixing compounds, baked gecko, unicorn horn, and mandragora root. Also hidden was their role in controlling the defense, offense, and vitality. It has been discovered that correctly combining these items may result in the creation of various useful compounds. These materials are obviously no longer in existence, and even if they still existed outside of being a member of the witch clan, one would have to take out a contract with a dweller of the netherworld to obtain these rare items. In cases of emergency, the witches place these materials within Purgatorio, a realm caught in between the trinity of realities, in which the items are said to still remain. When creating a concoction... Inside pots. Huh? Inside pots and benches. Uh-huh. When creating a concoction, the correct procedures, amounts, and combinations are absolutely essential, and the art is not for the inexperienced. So, we, we, we know that we can do the mixing. Uh, it looks like I have about five of each, which is not good. It takes, what, five, six to equal one of these things? Oh, wait, no. I don't have five of each. What do I have? How was I able to make ten? Oh, I see. I have 33. What the fuck are they talking about up here? Five. Oh, each each symbol on the left equals you need five. So the green ones are the healing items. Go figure. Uh, red ones. I, I don't remember. <laughs> I usually don't use a lot of the items because if you use items as usual for platinum games, you, you kind of get, you know, penalized. Um, but I am severely hurt. So what we're going to see is if going into Rodan's place heals me. I don't think it does, but I'll check. Famously, the gates of hell heal you. Some uh -huh. may have a thing for the 45. Gotta be nice to his guns. To me, these are the real works of art. <laughs> okay. I'm sure somebody's getting healed by that walk. <laughs> it didn't. I'm surprised. Who, who could have predicted that that wouldn't work? Um, uh, I have half of that. I have four bullets. And I am close to a heart. So which means I'm going to have to mix. If I'm going to lose out... I've got it ready. I'm not going to use it yet, but I've got it ready. Wait, nope. I need to use this. I remember where I am. <laughs> Fuck you. I dodged. It's an old man cherub. <laughs> That'd be dramatic. We're still in the middle of verse eight, so we gotta continue. That fight's over, just oh here he's back! I was gonna make a joke like, oh no, we just walk away from the fight. Oh no, he's back! What? I was Game! Fuck, no, I'm serious. <laughs> look, Hand slam. Look at the VOD. It said I died because the, the bridge I was on destroyed, but I was one step off, so I literally was on solid ground when it declared I was dead. It oh, literally... You weren't outside of the hitbox, though. Oh, my God. I, fuck you. I survived that. <laughs> 
You should tweet to Kamiya to complain. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm banned right now. I might be. Which, by the way, this means I did not need to use the item because that item was wasted because I died and then came back with full health. Which means I, just sacri I sacrificed 5,000 points for no reason. Let that be a lesson, dude. Do not heal ever. Do not heal ever. <laughs> no touching! <laughs> Gotta feed the beast! Very literally! That's her pet dragon, by the way. Her pet what? It's like her pet dragon or some shit. Oh, I thought that was uh, part of the butterfly lady. No! Butterfly lady, you're only seeing like her hands and feet. Fuck, I still missed one. Yep, used item. You're only seeing like her hands and feet come out. Silver. I guess it doesn't say anything for silver. Um, she has other demons she's summoning. So that oh, one, that you. one is like a dragon she made a deal with. Madama Butterfly is just her main patron. So that's why all of her shit is butterfly themed and like where the fists and the feet come from. Fuck you. Round over. <sighs> I'm just gonna have to exchange all of these straight over to make up for me losing those points. Oof. I should be above 20,000. Hey, spam it a can. Oh yeah. By the way, I set this up and then completely forgot the, 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 the conversational piece before I hit next. So they, they have the Nintendo costumes and shit, right? I mentioned this. Right. Now, they could have just put it in and it would have been a neat nod and cute. But this is fucking Kamiya. And the man does not know when to fucking quit. So they yeah. all do different things. If you have the fucking costume for Peach on, because that's the one you mentioned... You don't uh -huh. summon Madama Butterfly. You summon Bowser's hand to the feet. Oh, shit. <laughs> More credence to that. They're actually getting it on. Yeah. Pa apparently, they, they, they have made deals. Things must be done. Like, all the costumes change something about how the game looks and or works. Motorcycle angels. Well, if it isn't Prince Forkin. <laughs> that implies that Bayonetta's blunder red in this. <laughs> Well, no, like, the real absurdity, right? Because none of them are directly related to others, but they always have all the connections and shit. In Wonderful 101, I forget what Bayonetta said, but Rodan said, hey, he, he decided he needed to actually step in and assist because he needs the world to exist so he can keep doing his business or something like that. Right. With a not canon meta canon being that all of this is almost Luigi, fucking look, insanely pointless because the aliens Bowser. are going to invade. Dear Pest, like, right. the princess keeps dragging my arms through portals leading to other, other dimensions. dimensions. Tell her to stop. Tell her to stop. I need those. Fancy bumping <clears throat> into you here. Yeah, I Have believe some I believe 101 past, came out between Bayo 1 and 2. You've quite the familiar face. 
and using the same powers. But you'll have to forgive me. Do we know each other? <laughs> same powers? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Your little dip in that lake has left you a bit rusty. I've been high and dry for 20 years now. The only rust on me is from the lack of any real challenge. Perhaps you're up for the task. Implying she was the lady of the lake. Disappointed me. When you drive your motorcycle sideways on a wall with your feet. This is a moment I've long desired. But you've forgotten your destiny. And wasted the past 20 years. You're right. I do seem to be having trouble remembering <gasps> things of late. Would you be so kind as to take it from the top? Two overseers. The eyes of the world. They are Gotta find the Chaos Emeralds! Everything. I went bad when Eggman died! Jean, as heir to the clan, the time has come for you to prove your right to fight under the Umbran name. You may select opponents of your choice. Then allow me to face the outcast. Then none! Helen Kiadagat! The child is of impure blood! Challenging her would be a violation of our tenets of faith! It would not be the first time we faced each other. Kiad? Will you face me in this hallowed arena? Well, if I must. But I pray you've got a little something for me in return. You know, I'm very fond of stuffed animals. So, we're in a flashback again. I forgot to bring this up during the, the, the fight, during the past, uh, the last flashback when I was getting my ass handed to me. Um, someone way earlier had made the comment of, I can't wait to see, like, what they had back in the medieval ages. Where they, did they strap muskets to their feet? And the answer is no. They still just had, like, somehow rapid firing guns, implying that, like, it's the witches that invented all of gun warfare. Like, guns are just a witch thing. Yeah. Which, I just <laughs> love the idea. They, they do have... They do look like blunderbusses, though. But they rapid fire. I like the, the visual design. So when the moon is high in the sky, you can walk in walls. This is a witch ability. And now we're going to have our first Orkin fight. Get down from there. Get booted. Uh. I'll boot you from across a different wall. Fuck you. Bonus 1000 for boss.
Magical gun times kick. Oh yes, when you're locking on someone, the the I am targeting them ability is lips. Yes. So the point of that boss fight was to be like, hey, when the moon's in the air, you can walk on walls, and now there's a moon in the air, and the bridge is gone, and, and there's a wall. So what do you do? <laughs> wall run mechanic. Oh my god! Don't crazy. forget to go backwards. Crazy. Actually, I think this is the one time. They're probably That's how they get you. Yeah, they're probably yeah. Some of the times it doesn't do anything but just to fuck with you. Old Cherub. <laughs> Old man Flappy Doos. Deer and decorations. Oh, nice. They're also, making references to biblically accurate yeah. angels where they're just like fucking malformed eldritch eyeball beings. What are you doing? Stop it. I feel like you had more health. Before. Because before I had that temporary health thing, remember? I said I spent oh. like 4,000 points to have more health for a level. Oh, got you. Okay. So now I don't have that increased maximum. Yeah, I did, I did the practicing a little bit and I was like, wow, I'm really rusty. And I decided when doing that, I'm like, I'm going to need to have more health on level one or I'm not going to be able to get through level one. <laughs> <laughs> Break the statues. What are you shooting at? I guess that window- Send the guys there. into the window. Wait, hold on. Nope, shut up. Because, yeah, these might have a health item in them. The little green things can heal you. By There's the another one over there. Where? All the way at the beginning. Oh, yeah, I see you. By the way, you have the opportunity where you can hit the left analog stick like a button to cancel which time. Hey, that should increase because I have four now. Good idea, Redo. Um, yeah. You I can really cancel which go. time to get to things, and they told you that by hitting the left analog stick like a button. And if you uh -huh. do it here, you will in fact just die. <laughs> <laughs> but it's but it's a possibility. It was during it was during the middle of the the, the Jean fight. They're like, you another can... one. Where? I'm just gonna shout at you constantly when you ever see something you miss. Yeah, I I, I am about as blind as a strategist. <laughs> The goofy thing to me is routinely, once you've done the wall walking phase, they're like, oh, the moon went away now. Like, it's a very shy moon, I don't want to tell you. It's like that, that, that werewolf that is just in half werewolf form because there's just one cloud over the moon. Right, hold on. We have a thing here, but we also it's a red bird. Have... Got him. I figure where I'm supposed to go with this one. Oh, I've, I've triggered this too early. Within Old Vigrid, many ancient stone structures have been preserved, being developed further as they are repaired, lending the town a peculiar sense of historic. Modern architecture is also taken hold in Vigrid, starting with the central station. However, it is all to give form to the sacred institutions of the ancient sages. The architecture gives us a glimpse into the people's deep sense of respect for their past. This town is old. This town of old and new still keeps within its bounds several strange things that the modern man struggles to make heads or tails of. For instance, dark green barriers made of an as yet unknown metal seem to block certain alleyways. Their shapes comprised of many complex bricks impedes one from proceeding down the ancient paths of the city as though they were a rejected visitor, even though it seems that these paths saw everyday use in their distant past. 
I may claim this material is as yet unknown, but in reality, I haven't a clue regarding its composition. It is harder and heavier than anything a human being is capable of moving, or so I've surmised from examining its chilly surface. Pushing one's ear against the wall, the sounds of the other side reverberate and echo within, resounding throughout the inner workings of the wall, as if a glockenspiel was playing scales. I've never seen a metal like this, but many of the walls in the city are made from this material, and from the cliffs, one can see an enormous monument constructed of the same mysterious matter. I wonder why these lost witches and sages scattered these walls around their city. That timer may have been to catch the bird. I may have, like, caught the bird the, the easy way. Oh, wait, no, I think... No, wait, hold on. It's not for the door. It is for the door. Okay, never mind. I figured it out. I figured out what that thing exists for. Also, is there anything up in the wall or anything up here? Smash the door. Send your guys in there. Cinder guys? What? Send the guys in oh, the door! Send your guys, the guys. In the broken arrows. Hold on, I'm gonna get ready for this. This is not an excuse to run around without most of her clothes. I'm a respectful Kamiya enjoyer. <laughs> Heal. Oh no! My city is blowing up for no reason! That is a nice touch, because they could have just been like, you're in a different dimension, who cares? And never made any people or anything. Yeah. I love that cats still exist here, though. Well, because remember... They're from... halfway between the worlds, we... yes. Yeah. I, I just love the stupid kitties. <laughs> They give no fucks. They don't give a shit about you either. They are the great immortals of the world. Hold on. Not yet. But soon. There you are. Bullet. I got bullet. bullet. Up here is a heart. Here's another one of these books on the topics of magic. What do we got? The word witch usually conjures up images in her head of an old woman using strange magic. Per peruse the history of the grid and you'll find a vastly different picture of an incredibly brave woman who once inhabited the area. They were known as the Umbra witches. While these witches are said to have manipulated magic, there remains very little recorded history to back these claims. Yet they shared many powers with their opposing counterparts, the Lumen Sages. And from their records, we can gather a better view of what magic entailed. As overseers of history, they possess the ability to literally see everything in an instant, also known as temporal control. The, this technique sharpened all of the five senses and pushed one's emotional energy to its very limits. It is a world where, falling, where a falling drop of water can become a crown and a hummingbird slowly and elegantly flaps its wings. Temporal control is not just simply being able to recognize the world, it also enables one to boost their physical abilities and move freely within that single moment. Temporal control requires a sound body and mind and complete grasp of spirit energy. While quite similar, the witches and sages each practice this art differently. Leading to their different names for their respective technology for respective techniques. The witches called it witch time, and the lumen sages called it light speed. <laughs> <laughs> They're just nerds. Witch time. It seems that the witches on this earth fell victim to our world's passage of time and vanished in the abyss of eternity. Absolutely just nerds. Koala it wasn't specifically a reference to Constantine. It's a reference to cats in necromantic media. Basically, anytime there's a reference to uh, a cat, uh, uh, the underworld cats are always a median halfway through. Like if you remember the Brendan Fraser uh, 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 mummy movie, yeah. they made reference to it there also. Oh no! Welcome to our other side character. Do you believe in fate? Fate brought us here together, and it will never tear us apart. Fuck! 
He's Venetian Batman or something? <laughs> Sayonara. It reminds me of Bruce Campbell's character from the Hercules show from the fucking nineties. Yep. Fleur de cire eau de parfum. Such a wonderful floral bouquet. With its subtle hints of rosemary. You know, in the language of flowers, rosemary equates to remembrance. Which doesn't quite equate to you, now does it? Bayonetta. <laughs> Shit! Will you stop that? That little bug on Enzo was a nice touch. Seeing you here, I suppose it wasn't the only one. <sighs> you certainly blew, haven't you, my little Cheshire puss? I'm not your pet. The name is Luca. It's Luca growing up, Radu. It's Luca. I don't like him. <laughs> A name you'd better remember. My note on Luca is Luca is bad and will always be bad. <laughs> Damn it! Wait! To be fair, you that Luca was a reference like to this Luca. I know what I'll I bet. Saw that I'll bet he was. Luca's great. He is. He's fantastic in this game. Father! I know all about your kind. Sure, my colleagues laugh at me for chasing fairy tales, amongst other things. <laughs> but I know they're real. I know the truth. You're about to die, Luca. <laughs> <laughs> this smell. the same smell that clung to the air the day my father was murdered. Which means I'm right on your doorstep, Bayonetta. I'll let you in on a little secret, Cheshire. The name is Luke. You need to hone your sense of smell, my dear. There's no rosemary in the perfume. After all, rosemary's a demon repellent. Yeah, idiot. <laughs> so Luca's a uh, reporter trying to... He's a tabloid reporter. Yep. But he has some knowledge. Like, he knows to look in the mirror so he can see what's going on, kind of. But it doesn't show the angels. It only shows her. I don't know. Like, he, he, he half knows what's going on. Something happened to his parent. They died. He's blaming the hero. <laughs> yeah, it's normal shit. <laughs> it's normal Luca shit. I can't wait for him to bring about the end of the world in this game. Hey, it's this guy again. No childs! Oh. Oh. 
I would be lying if I said I knew what I just did. Apparently he just left. Okay, cool. Not my fault, dude. It is giant red glowing weak spot enough and he left. You only run away so fast because you've got something to run from. He me. felt left out with all the spankings being handed out. Forever. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, he liked taking damage. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Look, I said when I did Rising Revengeance that that was the one I was best at because you could parry. If the game doesn't have that parry, or at least when it doesn't have that parry, I'm very bad. Ha! Fuck you. <laughs> did like something that could have been useful during that battle. Yeah, probably. I, no, I, I didn't throw it the first time specifically so I could use it in the battle, and then I forgot about it until after the battle. That's because there's like multiple, like a bunch of these would have been useful. Just throwing people's cars around. Running past all these destructibles. No, I'm not. You don't know what you're talking about. I I was trying to remember. I think there's something to do with that train car. Like I think there's a way to get back there. But I, I like that 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 that's what took my mind. I don't know how to trigger it though. Maybe it's telling you you wait for the train car to come back. I cannot remember. Or does something trigger down there that I come back for? Because I don't think it's timed. Welcome to the wheel! Enchant! Ouch, you son of a- So that was, I'm thinking, what I was thinking of. Yeah, okay. So like we had the Kaku Rigaz in Wonderful 101, we also have Alfheims. And some of them are wicked simple, but some of them have really absurd prerequisites. Limited kicks and punches. I only have so many kicks and punches I can use. And I'm already out, but this one's really hard. Yep. All right. I can't do that one. <laughs> At least not with what I have. Unless there's some cheese to this that I'm just not remembering. You are bereft and you must return at a later date. I remember now. Ish. Hey. 
So are you literally limited on how many times you can kick and punch? Yeah, I, I, I game over last time because I ran out, I think. Also time. Yeah, so I can get hit three times and I have four, seven kicks and or seven punches and six kicks. I'm going to leave this one. I do not remember how to do that one. Use gun foo. Well, so the, no, it wasn't working. I was thinking, I mean, I could go back real quick. I was thinking of doing that, but I don't think she was shooting. I, I was holding the button after the kick to be like, ah, the point of this is limited kicks, but use the kicks for the shotties for more damage and shit. Did not appear to be working well, especially because I was running out of uh, time. I believe in you. You can run around and shoot him. <laughs> Wait, this, this might count for extra. I think he counted as a hit. Yeah, because if I just hold regular gun right now, it's not working. Oh, gotcha. And you can see here, I'm not getting... And I'm definitely not doing it fast enough for the timer. This is one of those ones you're probably supposed to come back to do. Yeah, I think you probably just don't do enough damage. Yeah. So we will come back. Like Wonderful 101, the game was designed at any point you can go back to any level. So they, they don't necessarily scale in a sensible manner. What is up there that you really want to hit? I did not like that sign. I did not like that sign. Very bad sign. Do not eat it, Joe's. It's, it's bullshit. It's it one of those signs that try to do something fancy where you go across and then read the next line, but they, if you read it right, it makes the word sound stupid. Probably. Don't worry, folks. Nothing to see here. Literally, because you can't see it. Um, Did all those butterflies increase your magic or something? Yes, I think so. Like, little green ones, like, if it's not the... What are we doing? That's one way to open it. Um, those little green things are giving me a little bit of health. The other ones are giving me, like, it's only the, like, those major parts that do the upgrades. So those are all your little health and stuff. That's how you're supposed to heal without like using items and crap. Right. Cause this is like one of their earlier games. So they were a bit uh, rough with how they were doing um, balancing. <laughs> hey you. Fuck off. There you are. I think I interrupted him. So what if he had a friend? Oh, they're wearing masks. I see. Fuck you, that hit me. Thank you, Ridiculous, for following. Yeah, I think the math works out on that, Dravis. Two big guys. <laughs> right, we gotta climax this one. All right. 
Did it do the text to speech? It should have. I didn't hear it though. Now I'm paranoid. See, I can't hear the text to speech when it comes up. I didn't quiet. Hold on. I just gotta read it and hear it in an electronic voice. It did do it. Redu was just talking over. Okay. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll do it again. <laughs> and here it. comes Gabriel with the steel chair. With the steel chair. Rick Ridiculous0451. Thank you so much for following. One big guy. What about a second guy? Didn't hear. Dravis said he didn't hear it. Some people heard it. I don't know. In the rigorous pursuit that are the magical arts, one method is said to have caused countless deaths during training. Witch walk. To the Umbra witches, it seems witch walk was truly indispensable. Taking their power from the moon, this band of witches were able to draw on the power enriching qualities of moonlight to execute high level techniques. However, records state that witch walk was powered by a pact with a particularly powerful demon who would grant the power to break gravity's bonds and not by the more common moonlit source. As no further records remain to the nature of this technique, any more hard facts remain unknown. However, by looking at the traces left on the buildings around Vigrid, one can make some further assumptions. The traces are, in fact, footprints left on the surfaces of the wall. They blend into the city so well that you almost never catch a glimpse of them at first glance. In fact, those without knowledge of which wall could probably never notice the footprints' presence amongst the dirt and scars on the surface. There are many buildings in Vigrid where footprints sporadically continue along their sides. This must be none other than proof that these magic practitioners are able to Spending literally walk on walls. To prove it works. You owe me one moon and one really cool gun for this. Avidy, I got hair. No, I'm not. I'm not giving you a really cool gun, Mister. Maybe a moon. Maybe a moon, Redu. Not Redu. Uh, Mister Man. <laughs> I can keep track of names. Many of these buildings where the witches have let their mark are truly strange. There are doors in unbelievably high locations, or the building may lack a path to its entrance entirely, rejecting all intruders and living a life of solitude. Witch walk was not just a training technique for the Ember Witches; it was a shield that protected their way of life. I like how the whole premise says, there'd be footprints in weird locations. I mean, they're not wrong, but I like how that's that's the evidence. <laughs> they have weird footprints. Oh, look. Kazi Una Fantasia, a golden LP featuring the crystallized voices of angels. Some sort of silhouette is drawn on it. Ha! Fucking city. Oh no, the money went away. <laughs> no! How will I afford my new outfit? There's something up here? I don't think so. You got a fucking wall jump too? Oh yeah! That's the witch walk. You can tell that you can do it because there's footprints. <laughs> I can't really see the footprints. All I can see is the the game telling you that you have taken a shit ton of damage and I'm almost dead. No, no, I'll be fine. See, I'll go over here. Now I'm fine. <laughs> Another LP? <laughs> Working me to the bone. But no need to pity me. I was bored I was anyways. bored anyways. Let me go whip some things into shape for you. The grab hands of whoopsie. <laughs> This took a bit to pound into shape, but the workmanship's solid. Now, go put this thing. There in we go. Shuraba. Shuraba. That one I don't think has an alternate. Because they're like, how would you put blades on your feet? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> what does this look like? Rising Revenge? Right. Ooh, sword. So you could do sword top uh, uh, shoddy bottom. <laughs> oh shit! Sword all the time. So hold on. Do they have a? 
This tells you your techniques, which again, you can turn them on and off if you wish. Yeah, so you have to hold the attack button while hitting dodge and you're able to maintain where you are in the combo. Um, these are the Umbran Tears of Blood that I've been collecting. Some of these are done from older versions because even though I deleted the file, I still have things like, oh, you did it. Um, all right. I was hoping. Oh, I remember where this is under equipment. And then you hit it and there we go. Shotguns containing the souls of fairies known to collect the Fonsi roses that bloom only in Inferno. Each shell fired from the guns contains the curse of the fairies trapped souls. So that's what we do. We shoot fairies with the onyx roses. I love everything about that. <laughs> Proper use of fairies. Catch in bottle, put in gun. And that then, is the process. And Shuraba is a living katana pulsing with the heart of Ashura, the demon god of war. Always seeking blood, the blade will even suck the very souls out of its victims. It's the shinobi sword. So, so guess what sort of weapons in this game mostly about guns I'm mostly proficient with? <laughs> the fucking swords. <laughs> Witches were w ones of talent. That is my impression after years of exhaustive research into the Umbra. The word witches triggers within us all prejudices towards the paranormal or supernatural. However, in this ancient city of Vagrid, the magical arts were a systematic form of scholarship. Of course, what I've learned about witches will be labeled as fraud by the world at large or undoubtedly dismissed as nonsense. I will begin these notes with items I've confirmed to be absolute facts in regards to witches. Due to lack of contact with the outside world, we often feel that witches were a strictly hereditary order. However, this was not always the case. For one must become a witch. One must first and foremost possess incredible spirit energy. Those with the power could become witches despite being of low birth, and those without power would be forced into secular life, regardless of any blood ties to a witch clan. Naturally, children born within a clan were often quick to grasp the concept of magic due to the environment around them, allowing their innate abilities to bloom at a much earlier age. Coming to grips with this concept must have inspired one to further hone their spirit energy. These children were also able to participate in extensive drills with other witches, and only those who had shown great promise and achievement were able to take their witchly vows prior to passage into womanhood. The exact nature of spirit energy remains unclear, though recognizing its existence within oneself and refining this talent further was the one true path to produce a witch of great ability. So oh. to sum it up, Bayonetta is a lowborn witch, also the strongest. Well, to be fair, considering you're all dead right now, yeah. <laughs> Except for that one. <laughs> But um. But no, they did the the, the flashback where it was like, no, it is on un impure blood. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, you're regular European bullshit. Got you. Noble houses of witch times, and now you're all dead. See how that worked out for you? Don't they need men to make more witches though? No. <laughs> they need no, men. No, they burst forth fully formed from the head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, they do need men, but they don't need lumen sages. Like, you know, that you're like having magic, like you can be a girl, you're human. You can be a guy, you're human. The things they don't like are the other equivalent of their magic. Because what the game is basically like going with is the actual like, okay, there is an inferno, there is a purgatorio. They all hate each other for some reason, even though when you see behind the cracks, particularly of the heaven one, like, oh no, they're just horrible monsters too. So the 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 nice horrible monsters, nice, the, the ones we think of as nice went for the men and the ones we think of as evil went for the women. Um, it, but we can do things in exchange. So by the way, someone mentioned the grabby hands earlier. Uh, when a witch dies, whoever her patron is uh, takes her soul. So that's the grabby hands of Madam Butterfly being like, I guess I'm gonna come get you now. And I'm going to die when I do this. Oh, wait, no, I can't do this one yet. I forget how this one works. I gotta go down here. Kitty, kitty. Cat don't give a fuck. No fucks.
And now that one can work. So, uh, yeah, once you, you know, because the, 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 the handguns here, or hell, even the shotguns, kind of, but when you're doing this, you're essentially now just doing the riding controls. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> so, um, here you go. This is my proficiency. Yay, more magic. Ooh, Moon Pearl. And then we have this one, and we have that one, and we've charged up our magic more, and that happens. But wait, what if we look backwards? Oh, I thought there was a thing up here. This is not the place where there's a thing. There isn't something. There's a bench. Oh, no, there it is. I just had to jump higher. Big magic. Pick up the weapon. Fuck it. Oh, fuck, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot! Ah! Ah! They tried to kill me. <laughs> they want you to Gotta go over the here. witch time dodge. Yes. Oh my god, I just nearly game over. I mean, I'm gonna game over anyways, but still. Don't waste my time. I made it. Yay. Yay. I scared the birds. If they come back, I guess there's a red bird there. Yep, calm down. Nope, okay, I guess not. Let me in. Now let me go back. Is there? All right. Nope, I just figured. They had an opportunity to actually open the door. That's usually a time to go back because something's about to be triggered. All right, let's do this. How do you get the health back? No spines to drink? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a problem. I think there is an ability to just, like slowly get health back from hurting enemies, but I do not remember. It has been a minute. Who's there? <laughs> I yelled. I'm gonna shoot this child. The child doesn't give a fuck. And seek my scurrying little friend. My scurrying little friend. Just a child? What are you doing running around Vigrid? You're certainly not dressed in your Sunday best. Tall lady tall! <laughs> tall lady tall. Me. I'm not in purple circle land. Damn, those are some long legs. I got everyone just keeps coming in. Damn, those legs are long. Now I can game over. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> there we go. And you're gone. There it is. <laughs> There's the game over. 
Yes, I wish to continue. This is where we are now. Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck. They both do and don't fuck around at the same time. I am not prepared. Old, old strategist is, does not have the fucking reflexes of young strategist of only five years ago. I swear to God, they're beating my ass. <laughs> I do not remember having this much of a problem before. I think he just killed me. <laughs> Jesus. All right, hold on. Let me switch to guns, guns for this. This makes sense. Telegraph fireball is really hard to dodge. <laughs> I dodged the wrong way. I did dodge it. No shot. There we go. No, my floor. I didn't hit the button in time. He killed me again. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm good at games. <laughs> it's Cherub Ghidorah, Koka. There we go. What the fuck? <laughs> did, did I die? Oh, okay. I genuinely thought I died again. <laughs> yeah, their, their later games get easier and a bit nicer and not... Fuck, I missed three fights. Oh, I knew one. Uh-oh. Oh, what a day. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it's your participation trophy. Fantastic. Chat, he died in the QTE. No, shut up! <laughs> Hello? Hello. The forgotten beast Gurb Gurb has come. A twin headed divine beast. Its scales glisten white and adorns holy armor. Fuck you. Beware its fiery breath. Did you just forgotten beast me? Round forgotten round beast Gurb Gurb has come. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Gurb Gurb. <laughs> 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 
should probably buy Red Hot Shot, I guess. Fuck it. Red Hot Shot says when you die, you use the item just fully to, I don't know if it's fully healed, but to just not die. We made it. Yeah. I... 42,000, okay. I started hey, getting through my head. Check this out. What are you buying? <laughs> <laughs> Heard that in a game once. What? So in Resident Evil 4, there's a dude every time he talks to me he goes, What are you buying? What are you selling? And because Kamiya did Resident Evil 2, he had Rodan make a joke about Resident Evil 4. Yeah, also, right. Devil May Cry was originally going to be Resident Evil 4. But, oh, that's but they were like, what the fuck are you talking about? No. So then <laughs> Resident Evil 4 became Devil May Cry. So the replacement for it, he's making fun of with, ah, what are you buying? I heard that once. Okay, sure. And give me the stiletto. None of these have shown up yet. All right, and we should probably start saving up for like the actual other abilities and shit, not just some techniques. You know, I think what I'm learning with our tour through these video games and franchises is that Japanese game developers are kind of petty assholes. <laughs> Well, that one, that one was not supposed to be like an actual, like, fuck you to the game. That was supposed to be like a, a neat joke. Like they, they actually still work together and shit. That one was just a reference. That one, like, to be clear, that was not a Hideo Kojima pettiness thing. Cause they did Devil May Cry and they did fucking bank with it. Well, I say bank. They did very good with it. Maybe just... Kojima's just ruined my my I believe so. tolerance for shit like that. I believe so. That one was not so that one was in jest. If I was your child, I'd be an awfully ugly witch, wouldn't I? Yours is a face only a mother could love, and one I could never forget. If only I could remember where from. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my bad. It just didn't leave. No quarrel. You're in no position to decide that. See, my infernal partners love my ability to eliminate your kind. I figure your sacrifice would shut them up for a while. Doses. <laughs> oh no, the city's now covered in lava. No. Whoopsie. So is the city actually covered in lava or is the in-between covered in lava? I think right now we're in the, oh, am I in a fight? I think we're in the in-between. But I would not be surprised if the real city's covered in lava now. Oh, fuck, that's right. And they got that armor, you can only take them out in which time. It just dodge like a maniac until you get witch time. For the most part, yes. There's another way to trigger it, but I think the way I've done this, I can only do it in witch time. Oh, <laughs> 
Yes, Slay Queen. <laughs> yes, Slay Queen. <laughs> All right, hold on. So even though this is the area we were just in, now there's another set of these. Bullets. Is there a heart? No. All right. Uh, boo -doo -doo -doo. Am I going the way I was supposed to go before? Probably. That's the way I'm supposed to go. Then I will check up here. Just Sonic the Hedgehog rings. Gotta go fast! Gotta go fast! Oh god, I gotta go fast! Wait, what? I see you, little bitch. Gotcha. All right, I don't think there's anything else hiding in the rafters or anything. I think we got everything we can. So I guess I will go this way. Oh God. Like, I do not have time to deal with you. Vlarg. We did it! Yay! I missed out on getting some combo. I was supposed to hit them slightly. <laughs> I only got gold, not pure platinum. Fuck. All right, what do we got here? What am I looking at? That's a side area. Yep. Don't know what I got out of that, but okay. Fuck, just blew up. Fine, I'll pick you up. Go it that way. That'll teach him. Ah, now here's the hymn to teach. Land shark. I meant fairness. That's what fairness looks like. <laughs> Never anyone's always trying to tell you about fairness. That's what, this is what they mean. It's not fair. That's right. It is not fair. Fairness looks like a fucking land shark. Oh god. I gotta watch out for those telegraph spells, fireballs. <laughs> to be fair, they're a lot faster. Ah, oh, fuck! That stunned me. Don't hit the magma! The floor's lava and it hurts! You gotta put on those earplugs, man. Right. Nice oh, don't shoot the fucking fireball. <laughs> nice Why does it do that? Because if I hit the fireball with a melee attack, I can parry it back to him. So it is a targetable thing. wheel from it okay same place you got the guillotine and the Iron Maiden. <laughs> which space uh oh they only gave me half an lp this time you dicks lp inflation's taking us over oh no get out of the way the price of wax is going up fantasia impromptu oh uh... Anything I miss? Yep, down there. I don't know what those were, but I hope they were worth it. Ooh. 
Look at this peaceful town. Everything's at peace when it's dead. <laughs> Everything is peace. Hey, now it's open. Yay! Okay. I did it! Yay! Oh no, cutscene! Please stop looking at the lava. Please let me run. Yes! Yeah. Surf on a dude! So you said Go Go Baby is a reference to Beautiful Joe. And somehow this immediately went into a moonwalk where I'm now on the side of the town. Gun slap! Gun slap on you! Uh, I don't think I go that way. Where do you want me to go, game? Oh, I'm an idiot. I see you. Whoop! Whoop, 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 whoop. Backwards real quick. Break these. Nope, I don't see anything. Oh, hello. For sure. No. Stop blowing up. What is wrong with this town? <laughs> they built it out of explodium. Oh, goody. Sideways will not protect you from fucking lava wave. Get higher. Was I supposed to be able to go through this door? I guess not. I don't know. Oh, no. I'm falling. And I hit the button wrong. May and Edda was never seen or heard from again. I tried to wonder jump. I saw it coming and I spammed X to wonder jump, but it was square in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wonderful one had me two train. I'm like, ah, wonder jump. I got this X squared. No. Teacher's not allowed to change the test on me. That's bullshit. I pushed it. <laughs> Platinum. Because I died. All right. What do you want? About the witches. A lot of this dude's notes. Holy shit. Umbra witches, controllers of the dark power. The ways of their discipline were actually quite varied. Breathing, movement, medicine, and tactics were joined in the Middle Ages by training in the operation of heavy weapons, culminating in a curriculum. Who, yeah, that's what witches were known for, the heavy weapons. Curriculum whose total breadth and intensity are hard to ascertain. This training forged both the body and the soul, honing each witch into a vessel capable of withstanding the rigors of the magical arts and allowing one to begin to interact with other dwellers of the magical realm. This interaction with the world of spirits lies at the very core of magic. To put these dwellers of the magical realm into layman's terms, they most closely fit the common conception of demons. Developing demon-like powers, it seems that this is one of the reasons these women were burdened with a sad fate, always living in history's shadows. I have been able to gain no further solid information regarding the magical arts, as the witch clan has long since been annihilated and their memories forgotten. The residents of this town detest them with all their hearts. To allude to the existence is quite the taboo, yet the key to unlocking the witch's mystery still remains. In the grid, the man held up by many to be a paragon of the faith continues to seek out any remaining witches. Are the witches once thought to be wiped from the earth still among us? If they are, how have they survived this long? Where do they now know? And where on earth could they be hiding? 
Finally, I have obtained scraps of a document. It appears to lay out another elementary principle of the magical arts. I'm unable to decipher the writing on the document, but it seems to describe a martial art technique known as dodge offset. I pray I'll be able to use the sub one. <laughs> So I have included it within the Ah, yes, notes. the ancient art of dodge offset. Right up there was Shaolin-style kung fu and fucking <laughs> karate. <laughs> that dodge offset. Dodge offset jutsu. <laughs> uh, your chat's in rare form today, RNG. <laughs> She's literally got a target icon and said, Was she pimp slapping him with her guns? Must have been built by Starfleet engineers. Local streamer cannot tell the difference between Chibi, Power Rangers, and Mommy. Oh no! <laughs> Mama! The women! Wonder Green would love Bayonetta. Oh, cool. Now we got two of them. Mad puppy, no biscuit. Throw a car at him. Get card. That did less damage than I would have thought. <laughs> it was not a magically infused car. Fuck you. Are you foot slicing him? <laughs> Get out of the lava, you son of a bitch. If you would let me kill you, I wouldn't have to worry about two of you. Why do I get caught by this every time? I The glorified playing tug, tug of war with you. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I'm. Hold on. I'm going to test something. Are you I'm being. Son? I'm being serious. Give me a sec. I'll be right back. I'm grabbing another thing. Please hold while RNG is, is alone with his thoughts and questions his entire life path. Uh. This intermission brought to you by uh, Radu's inability. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Let me take a step back. This uh, uh, <laughs> this interruption is brought to you by RNG's inability to uh, uh, properly dodge the fireballs <laughs> and the bite times. Now, I, I genuinely fully anticipate that this will change nothing, and I'm just old man. But <laughs> I have switched to an Xbox 360 controller and I'm going to turn off the Steam controller settings. To, oh, maybe it's adding some lag. That's like, literally, I'm wondering if that's what it is because this is an old game because the other thing didn't have to deal with this. Oh, and now it's not taking the input. You son of a bitch. <laughs> what is happening here? Well, anyway, to pick up my story again, that's the secret to immortality. <laughs> oh, grab the controller. Is it because I turned off Steam? So it's like, well, now there's nothing plugged in. You know it's plugged in. We both know you know this is plugged in. This game was before Steam input. You should be able to read this. You can read this. Please read it. Don't fuck with me. All right, fuck it. We'll, we'll keep this on for now and see. Now it's just not taking any input. What the fuck? I made it very... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Well, dodge timing might just be different than Wonderful 101. This might also be it. The last time I did this was not like the way I've done the gaming order. Like anytime I try to play Devil May Cry again, I always get wrecked for like a solid half hour. Because I can't remember any of the fucking uh, uh, timings or anything. Nothing was standardized back then.
Just shot the shit out of giant doggo. Bad doggo. <laughs> Bad dog no biscuit. Oh no. The bosses. Public transport, no! Transport! Bus infrastructure! Shot. And the Lord said that ass is divine. <laughs> so clearly we have to drill fire our way through the end of the, the train. That's what you do. Oh, yeah. Like no other way could it have worked. And now we're in the volcano. Good luck figuring out how that makes sense. But we're in a volcano now. They faced me one way, so I go backwards. <laughs> Give me my moon pearl. I want a moon. moon. <laughs> That's how people get through a volcano. <laughs> get out of the get out of the lava. No. <laughs> Kick times! Look at him, please. Oh, don't. Fuck you. That was no damage? How? I mean, yeah, no, I did it perfectly. We all saw me do it perfectly. <laughs> I definitely stood in the lava at least three times. I don't. Maybe lava doesn't count as damage. I don't know. Definitely hurts. By the way, am I missing anything on the roof? No, okay. Hey, Rodan, how goes? Welcome to the catacombs below the grid, the area closest to Paradiso. You know, the volcanic Paradiso. Oh, yeah. Like, you only get to see, like, the, uh, uh, you bring me enough of these the model house, you know? Of course. <laughs> into space. So, Ogbuhi, the weird thing is, no. No, I am not new to Bayo. That's the problem. I, 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 I've just done every fucking Metal Gear game in a row and then did Wonderful 101, and now I'm trying to jump into Bayonetta. And apparently... Phantom Pain does not prepare you for Bayonetta. Go figure. <laughs> Phantom Pain is about endings. It is. It doesn't prepare you for anything. The magical arts of the Umbra, their true significance is best understood in the context of how the Umbra were able to use the magic via direct contact with demons in Inferno. It is thought that these witches underwent strict training in order to master the various techniques. However, the truth is colored by the fact that the witches left people awestruck and were greatly revered. The true root of their power was none other than their ability to take unbelievably strong demon energy and bend it to their will, using it freely. The witches direct contact saw them reaching into the heart of Inferno's darkness and summoning the beasts that dwell there, drawing out their incredible magic with destructive powers. The witches under contract with these demons were able to exercise powers far beyond any that could be obtained by mere mortals, to the extent that some may even term these powers as aggressive or brutal. It was thanks to these powers that the witches boasted such awesome force in battle. From the Vigridian religious perspective, those living in the human world find interaction with other realms to be incredibly difficult. Residents of Inferno also find it impossible to manifest themselves in the human world. This is why witches require some sort of catalyst to summon demons into the human world, channeling the spirit via this medium. The catalyst most often used by witches was their hair. It is well accepted that hair has many uses in magical arts, and the witches called this use of their own hair the Wicked Weave. It was said to have been used not just to summon demons, but also to summon magical items, as well as forming the witches' uniforms. I would also like to touch briefly on the despair these women must have felt. To gain the incredible power afforded to them, they were forced to trade their souls to the demons of Inferno. Within the trinity of realities, it is believed that the deceased find their souls sent to heaven in an endless cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. However, witches were met with only a single possible fate, death, followed by endless torment in Inferno. Once one had set foot upon the path of magical arts, there lay nothing but the harsh reality that there's no turning back. Despite this fact, it was a path desired by a never-ending stream of believers. How these women captured so many hearts, minds, and, unimag er, and imaginations remain unknown.
All right, so, you know, it's not Bay Nice of them to make a wooden bridge down here in hell. Right? It's, 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 it's not Bea's fault she's getting naked. It's just how witches work. <laughs> you, you, you will feel bad when you find out why she's naked. Hello, mysterious portal. More evidence of this ancient civilization created in... Okay, so we're just going to ignore that for now. All right. If you say so. No! My bridge! Now do I use the portal? Oh no, I gotta sneeze! They do like a wily e. coyote pose whenever they get their heads cut off in that thing. No, I don't want to die! Fuck you. I thought my attack was gonna come off first. It did not. I still got platinum though. I'll take platinum. Oh, fuck you. Well, this is pretty. The illusion. Paradiso, Garden of Light. All right, hold on. I'm going behind your portal. What do you got over here? You got something. I know you do. <sighs> yep, there it is. There's the other half of my LP. Always be looking <laughs> backwards. <laughs> You have made the full LP. All right, what are you doing? What do we got? I see a heart to the right, a path back down with a bullet, and probably maybe where I'm supposed to go over here. Give me the heart. Give me the bullet. What is this? Nothing right now? All right. That's fine. They uh, gotta yeah. have, they gotta have a choir of those vultures, uh, singing, uh, uh, hymns, like, just, ah! 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 Loses half health bar, still gets platinum. Ah, yes, the biblical Stargate system. You've been doing a good job finding the secrets when you're in the army. Uh, 2011? Hold on. I'd have to confirm the actual years. It's been about six years since I got out and six years before that. So 12 years ago. So yeah, 2011. What did that do? Be gone, time. That'll teach time to time. Out there. Strange hourglass is able to turn back the sands of time. Once, what once was broken is now whole again. I wonder if this stays true in other dimensions. Do you get it? I just tried a couple years. Nice. What was your MOS? I was 14 Echo. Hold on. What's back here? Screw you. There's nothing back here. I don't believe you. Ah, I found it. I found a lollipop. <laughs> they wanted to hide the lollipop from me, but I would not let them. No, tastiness must be possessed by you. Must be possessed. Also, did I see a portal down there somewhere? Yeah. Okay. It's one of those, those things. I guess this is just a way to go down. Hard. Hold on. This is technically a backward. 
Nothing here. All right. Bring me into your Kaku Riga. Let's do this. Please don't be as obnoxious as the first one I found. Good luck, have fun. Huh? <laughs> I said, good luck, have fun. Good luck, have fun with that. <laughs> I can't go into this while holding that. All right, I'll come back and pick you up in a second. I had a bunch because they kept changing. 31 uniform to 25 uniform to 52 Echo to 12 Papa to 12 Zoo. What the fuck? They had you all over the place. Fourteen Sierra. Oh, you poor bastard. You were Sierra? Uh, uh. They got rid of you when I joined. <laughs> I see you were ADA communication and fueler. No, I didn't. I didn't remember that you were Sierra. I remember it, but I didn't remember it was Sierra. Defeat all the aims for time expires. However, you can't witch time. All right, fuck you. I don't need it. I'm so good. Oh God, he already hit me. Where's my witch time? <laughs> Big sword. And that's how you put it <laughs> <into> a sword. <laughs> oh, I should use that on the big dude or something, probably. <laughs> it makes it makes oh no it makes pain to dog sounds no but we did it you monster no i'm not a monster i'm good <laughs> i got gold and i got a little Yo. uh moon pearl some more mana moon pearl more moon pearl moon pearl Needs of the army. I thought you would have stayed 25 Bravo. That's a good gig to get a job with. Evil price is right. Evil price is right wheel is best versus dogs. And no real yeah, it's for, for <laughs> Well, yeah, no, depending upon what the army is doing, yeah, they'll force reclasses at times. They're fucking goofy at that shit. How do I get back up this way? All right, let's do this. Everyone knows water cannot contain the power of a butterfly. All right, give me the same. Whippity flappy right over the top. They don't even know. Whippity flappy. Uh, do you see how she pulls that lever? Redo? Yeah. Did you see how she pulled she the straddles lever? straddles it. Yep. She does it in the exact way I expected her to do it. Mm-hmm. Is that just the feathers? Okay, I was about to say, I keep seeing something move down there. All right, let's go. The old Paradise's fucking clock. <laughs> to Paradise. reverse time. <laughs> I 
No, just go, just go. I don't know if this is timed or not. Oh god. Well, now we'll never know. Or actually, now we'll only know. Fight the boss! All the lava! All the lava! Does she gangster turn her gun when she does that? I think so. I would test this if I wasn't under her time. Hold on. Oh no! It's okay, it's something that can be tested later. No! What is happening? Ah! Use your helicopter feet! <laughs> Was I supposed to be going down there? There, there was another secret. Oh my God. It, was that in Paradiso there was another secret? Never mind, you missed it. Probably. Gone forever. Have I missed it now? You didn't look backwards enough. Yeah. There, 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 <laughs> there's a lot of backwards I don't do, even though you must always be looking backwards. Can you backtrack now? I mean, I can backtrack this far. It's kind of backtracking. Only to this point of demise. Yeah. Nope, the bridge is down. There you go. That's the thing about backtracking, apparently. <laughs> so you can't reach. Okay. That makes sense. I should have realized the instant I did something determined, like use the, the clock, that that was, in fact, another opportunity to go backwards. Oh, there's just a wall there. Okay, so where am I going? This way. I should have known. Silly me. Sit where I am supposed to go. Someone call that backwards. Health. Give health. Nice. More health. Yay, health. Who is screaming, by the way? Is it just the fire snakes in heaven? The yeah, they're just. They're, they're unhappy about being down here. Of course. He's like, no, I got this room just the way I wanted it. We blew up the walls. It's bullshit. Oh, look. Fuck you, lady. Oh, look, I see the moon through this volcano. Let's run up the volcano. Oh, no. That was nearly perfect. I landed on the, on the lava stuck in the side of the volcano while running up the volcano. The firewall was very painful. Very painful wall. Literally every time. Oh, they want me to go right. Just go left. Broken witch heart. Book of knowledge. Brain times the book. Tell me about the old Coliseum. Tell me about the round part. In Vigrid's long protracted history, there was once an enormous Coliseum built facing the sea. It remains today largely intact. According to Wrecker, the Coliseum was used not for martial contests or other games, but as an altar for the worship of one of the era's gods, a being known as Fortu Fortitudo. Even today, as the urban functions of the city move to Isla del Sol, the Coliseum holds a special place in the religious beliefs of those who worship the Laguna. Even through, even though the winds of time have long since destroyed the road leading to the structure, forcing a treacherous passage through the cliffs, the stream of those making a pilgrimage to the Coliseum is endless. Yeah, big circle important. 
As always, <laughs> circles are important. We hold honor for this sacred place. <clears throat> This looks like I could jump up here. The answer is no. Same reason you have to investigate every waterfall. We beat chapter three. I still missed three areas. I did use an <laughs> item. Oh, what a day. Shh. We're going to see a lot of that guy. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not saying I feel slightly better with this controller, but I am saying since I switched to this controller, I got pure plat, plat, golden, pure plat. <laughs> and then this guy. And then this guy is a total. Ladies and gentlemen. At what? There we go. <laughs> I hate the little circle. It's worth 10 points, but I never hit it. Fuck. All right. Any points isn't bad, though. Sure, blame the controller. I'm not blaming the controller. I said I was more than willing to accept the, the travesty of age as my excuse. What I am saying, since I've switched, my scores went up. The weird thing is, it's not like there's a problem with it. It works fine in most games. I swear to God, it's in like, so far it's been in two platinum games where using Steam input for a PlayStation controller seemed to make me not time shit well. But again, it could also just been that those final fights were just easier. <laughs> and I'm clinging on to any excuse to say that the age, age isn't taking me yet. <laughs> Working me to the bone, but no need to pity me. I was bored anyways. Let me go whip some things into shape for you. Like he's a blacksmith in the same way, like a bar bar barbarian kills a dragon and uses one of their teeth as a weapon, right? So like he just goes fight something and sticks him, sticks them inside of a, like I don't see him at an anvil ever. That's so what I'm saying. You are correct. But he fights. He goes and he just fucking takes a dude and puts him in some shit. You are correct. He's not technically... Though, to be fair, he does not claim to be a blacksmith. He claims to be a hellsmith. So, sure. that's your difference here. But yes. Um, and it's not the tooth. He's like, literally, this is now a possessed weapon. That demon is stuck in this whip now. But yeah, somehow he forces them into the shape of a weapon. I don't know how. But he does. Ah, we now know about this. We'll change you into a costume that's perfect match for the cool Shidra. So this is where you can start getting the other uniforms and stuff under these things that change the game and do other things. We need I have to keep reminding myself that this was before Wonderful 101. Right? And not ask if uh, uh, one of the costumes is Wonder Pink. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> Like that's what in the I'm second one though is one of the costumes Wonder Pink. Uh no, but Wonder Pink some of Wonder Pink stuff is from Bayonetta. Like the whip times? Yeah, kind of. Hold on, we have a cinematic. Someone get him a USB N64 controller? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is it literally talking out its ass? No, it's talking to someone else. Other lady, I guess. See, he's talking out his mouth. His upside down mouth. Yeah, his ass. Now we can see what he is. Oh, this is Fortitudo. 
Gotcha. I'm sure you'll be more than hospitable to me this time around. Can't wait to see this insanity's true form. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot to mention one of the reasons I hunt your kind. You're much too ugly not to put out of your misery. <laughs> <laughs> Thought she was gonna say the motherfucker never shuts up. Lock off, feather face. Oh fuck! <laughs> they really started off the rip. I was not prepared for that. The ravages of age! No, not the age! <laughs> Stop taking me age! Alright, this is not gonna be a good example of whether or not it's the controller, because I don't know what the hell's going on anymore. <laughs> what is happening? You are burning. Will this heal me? Heal me. I don't feel healed. Aha! Look, that quick it looks jab like does. they want you to dodge that and which time yeah. punch them in the face. I was looking at the wrong head. I thought they were switching back and forth. You surprised me. Oh my god, not the lava again. No, I already used my red hot shot. No! I, 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 need, I need a timer. Okay, good. The lava's gone. What is happening in this game right now? Where am I? <laughs> Where the fuck am I? Yeah, please, please step on me, Bowser. <laughs> there we go. Quick, we got to get over there. Always suplex the big thing. <laughs> Fuck you. I need more camera. Under red, do a Kimmy. <laughs> These again. <laughs> Bless you. What is that in the background? Was that health down there? Oh, I'm so fucking that was health I was supposed to grab. There's something shiny down there. What? Oh, what? I was outside the heads. I was outside. Fall damage. I was outside the heads. <laughs> Fuck! That quick jab every time! I'm like looking for like the big hit and he just gives me the quick jab. know where I'm going. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. Quick, dive into the lava. That'll be the where safe place. The They'll never expect it. Where am I going? Where's the I thingy? No fucking clue. Where's the thingy? Get out of my way. Is it in your crotch? Oh, there it is. I found it. 
<laughs> I've only lost over half my health looking for this thing. Let's go. I do think there are items down there, though. I see a couple yeah, shinies. I, I saw them. I just couldn't find them in the lava. It's dying. Do it. What? What are you doing? I was not ready for this. Whatever this is. Hey, you didn't do the thingy. Okay. Whoop. So I think sometimes when it grabs you with its head, it doesn't destroy the arch that you're standing on. But then you gotta wait for it to destroy the the, the arch or something. Yeah. And then the timer's there. Okay, I am not seeing the items that I think we both saw before. I'm literally just not seeing them anywhere. Maybe they're only there during the lava phase. Ah, that would be a thing. Jab, jab. Give me a stupid Why face. are you hitting me? I was trying to get over there, but she kept acting like she was getting hit. I probably did, uh, like, damage. Like, blocking stuff. Uh, like, where you flinch if you can't get through their armor or some makes, shit like that. Sense. No, don't do it. Don't sit on me. Whirly time reversal! Whirly time! Back you, fortitude Oh god, was oh, I not shit. supposed to be up here? Did I I don't I don't did I do the right thing? What's going on? Alright, now we're doing wonder jump. Okay. Yep, no, this makes sense. All this makes total sense. Oh shit! <laughs> My head! I guess I'll take a part of the head too. We're one third of the way there. We're not even. I gotta get rid of the blue part. Oh my god, stop it. No, I meant there's three faces, right? Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, yeah we're, we're yeah. past face one. Look, look, there is something in the background now. What is that? Oh, I was trying to look at the ground. Stop it. I'm trying <laughs> to enjoy your environment. Fuck. No! Whatever you're doing, stop it! Get the thingy! I've got eye frames when I touch the thingy! <laughs> there is something down there. All right, cool. We're, we're beyond the one phase. I can now say I've done half. Don't mind me. Oh, 
Hold one second, giant head with dragon heads. Right. I'm doing I things. must use my cauldron for mixing food. Wait, what are you do? Oh, fuck, I was not prepared for the dick grab. Fucking grabbed you. <laughs> I guess there's shit that either falls off him or... or Pops in, but never fucking see it while we're down there. Yeah, right? Definitely don't see it now, whatever it was. Oh yeah, no, this is normal. Very, very avoidable. Very normal. Magical fulcrums are shit, apparently. Fulcrums. It's all about the fulcrums. Bye, head. Hey, man, dragon skull, wreck you. What you're gonna do? Now you're just some fat thingy. Oh god, don't fly. I don't think he's happy. <laughs> that old chest. This got ancient it. relic. No. Gotta get my lollipop. My lollipop. It's gotta be the angelic equivalent of flipping the board. I'll just destroy the entire coliseum. I prepared one earlier. Fuck you. What are we doing? What are we doing? Get wrecked. Oh, uh, you have no health. Stop it. No attacking. Them's the rules. <laughs> verb. Get him, verb. Fuck you, little Asian bird. Hair crow, fuck you up. I'll fuck you up. He loves surfing. Of course. That's how awesome people do things. <laughs> and she winks. You know, you're not nearly so ugly when you're screaming. <laughs> he is straight up missing his entire brain. Foretold. Explain yourself. Ah, of course. Hi.
Foreshadowing. Of course. Okay. The cardinal virtue of fortitude. I did use two items. I took a lot of damage. <laughs> Angel attack! I don't think I did good this time. Twenty points. Woo! That is significantly worse than usual. <laughs> Some of it was on the ground was probably bullets. <laughs> probably. Now we're over here. The lost holy grounds. We gotta go to the gates of hell. Oh wait, no, we did make a new weapon. I just never equipped them. Whoopsie. You really want to make a deal with the devil? <laughs> Relax. I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, that's my parry. The problem is it's the parry that uh, I'm not good with. <laughs> <laughs> as weird as it sounds, it's easier to hit the button than it is in Rising Revengeance, which means I hit it worse. Because Rising Revengeance, you had to hit toward it and the attack at the same time. That one's just hit towards it. And I do not know why, but I'm not that good with this. Um, we will, however, grab this. We'll waste some of our money so that we can get the, the, the perfume. We'll change you Nakasuna's perfect match for uh, Kushala. Kushala Deora. Kushala Deora. Kushala Deora. Fucking wind flappy do bullshit dragon. Flappy do bullshit dragon. All right, here we are. We exist. Where the hell am I? I You're right here. Couldn't fly a miles for that you know the fight. You know the funny thing is I just made the realization we got a weapon then did a boss fight. I didn't use the weapon. I'm willing to bet that weapon would have been really useful during that boss fight. Maybe. Just normal gaming ideas. Um, because now we had the whip, a possessed whip, sealing away the soul of the ancient serpentine demon Kulshidra. Summon summoning the power of the demon from a portal on the weapon's hilt, it can be used in the same manner as a normal whip. So we had gotten the whip. This also right now can only be used on hands, which by the way, does it look familiar? Yes, absolutely. Uh-huh. Um, Did I put that on or no? Hold on. This is Kulshidra. Saying I said it. How do I... I'm not understanding something. I don't know how... Is there happen. an item button when you're whipping around? Anyone in chat who remembers this mechanic at all, can you tell me how to activate the damn perfume? I feel like I'm supposed to be able to assign it to one of those buttons, but it's not assigning. It just says set, and I don't know what that means. I do not remember how to use this. Your halo is mine. Ha! 
Oh wait, is it on, but it's that minor fucking, hold on. Yeah, because it gave you like some boot and changed your glasses a little yeah, bit. Yeah, okay. So that's not the one I thought it was, but yeah, okay, that is, so that is me setting this on. And it does something for Kulshidra. I don't remember right now. Oh yeah, it yeah, because you you have fucking thigh high boots. Okay, so that that is how it works, and I do not remember what it does to Cedra. Crescent and Sunrise Valleys. As overseers of history, the Lumen Sages and Umbra witches were both incredibly powerful, each fearing each other and strictly prohibiting interrelations as a way to maintain the balance of power. Upon the annual oh. occasion of a total solar eclipse, only the selected elders of each clan were allowed to meet with the elder group to conduct negotiations. I suppose that each clan, drawing their power from the sun and moon respectively, must have held the eclipse as the most special celestial phenomena. The two clans, inexorably linked but opposed like positive and negative, solidify this relationship in their interconnected mountain hideways, the Witch's Sanctuary of Crescent Valley and the Sage's Sacred Sunrise Valley. Located in an inaccessible and treacherous region, these areas were lined with countless rows of stone monuments dedicated to each clan's dead and large statues depicting a witch and sage at the center of the shared area, demarcating the border between each clan's territory. Each statue has its back turned to the other and their visages as though rejecting any human intrusion stir intense feelings of discomfort within your soul. Top these statues, the clans met for their yearly consort, giving this place a mysterious but interesting ambiance. These valleys were not just filled with memorial tombs, they were also home to training facilities in the light and dark arts held as sacred ground by both clans. Today, the statue of the Umbra Witch is a truly gruesome sight as a giant spear has pierced the woman's chest. If it if it was shoved through the statue during Witch's Age of Persecution, it would have required unspeakable power from the Lumen Sage who carried out the act. There you go. So, Bayonetta is the product of a Umbra Witch and a Lumen Sage. Got it. What? I ain't talking we about. just told you that's what happened. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. When a game tells you <laughs> that... When any story tells you that hey, these two people, they don't mix, and then your protagonist is of uh, impure parentage. That's basically what it means. And if that's, that's, a, that's a Chekhov's gun, that has already been fired. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to explain it to me in detail. I don't, I don't, write, it, I, write it down, chat. I don't get it. <laughs> Under random predictions. <laughs> obvious foreshadowing is obvious. I believe a fight triggers here at some point if you come back. But apparently I did not go far enough for that to be a thing. Whoa. That was a close one. Flippity flappity, I'm pretty happy. Flippity flappity, much slappity. really good for those dogs right we keep jumping backwards so when i hold the attack it doesn't have a full combo and it looks like we're not oh, hold on fuck you i said hold on i'm grabbing your friend let me hit you with your friend dick yeah get wrecked by your friend god they attack so fast fuck you bro Gonna get another participation trophy. No! I do more than participate! <laughs> Fine, I'll stop fucking around with his claws, because that claw just wrecked me. 
trying to use those stupid things. So I'll grab these ones. <laughs> <laughs> I learned. Oh no. Well, it's now, only quarter this time. We're down like it's a You only get a quarter of the, of the claws? That, that shrinkflation, it, it, it happens so fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's merely a piece, is it? It's a piece of music. Stop. You're gonna get me killed. <laughs> I'm gonna go all the way back. Yep, there it is. You bastard. I... Yeah, enter Alfheim. Cause the thing is these have like your magical upgrades and shit. Like these aren't just like extra points like in Wonderful 101. Right, Dominate? Holy shit. Come on, swing. Someone swing. Fuck, swing better. <laughs> Fuck, I thought you were gonna do a charge. Now they're they're swinging pretty good. I think the the phrase is dodge better. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Lies and slander. <laughs> Come on, who wants to do it? Do it! Fuck! There we go. Yeah, I did it. Oh no, there's more! Not the cats! <laughs> Not the claw the guys! Again. Fuck! <laughs> no! <laughs> Those damn cats! <laughs> Alright, I think I got this. We can do this. So little, someone hit me. Oh, not you. I was looking at the other guy. <laughs> Come on. I'm trying to hold on to my magic for the other dude. Thank you. Motherfucker. Stop going up, you fucking light bitch! Hit me! Oh my god, fuck you! I wanted to say that, but fuck you. You're wasting my time. I'm gonna have one more. I'm gonna have one more try on this, and otherwise we're just gonna leave this one. <laughs> Jesus! I get it. They're gonna beat my ass. Thanks. Now you want to stay on the ground. I see. I don't know what that attack is, but apparently I'm very bad at dodging it. Yeah, 
There you go. No more going up in the air for you. Fuck. Oh yeah, sure. That's what I wanted. Switch targets halfway through. Fuck. Fuck, pick it up. mana for these people. Fuck! I'm hitting dogs right now! Alright. <laughs> Apparently they get you in the air, you're fucked. Alright, we're just gonna leave. So that's what that fight's nice. like. <laughs> <laughs> that's what all of that fight's like. It, that, that's a fight. It happens. <laughs> Not what I wanted right now. Not what it, Stop it. Thank you. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Took a picture of a close-up of the claws. The claws. Who? Where? Please. Is the land I'm on falling? No, it's just tilted. Okay. No, doot doot. That must not do the horn. Doot. 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 Doctor Doom does as he pleases. Doot. <laughs> that a bullet? Oh. without lipstick but lipstick without a girl most curious isn't it cheshire what's also most curious is how a child like you has kept afloat in this town the name is luca and don't you think it's a little take me serious worried about my well-being sure the festival under goggles peak security the thing only happens once every 500 years can you blame them Besides, when you look as good as I do, security isn't a problem. But a killer like you, on the other hand, I'm sure you found. Like he's just not asking any questions about the floating islands and shit. I've seen her somewhere. <laughs> nah, that's just it's it's a, it's a normal everyday thing. After the Geth Jerk Armada destroyed part of the world, I mean everyone's just used to floating islands, right? Hey, don't go freaking out on me. All right, Panda. You, both know you, came you make your head not angry. But what you don't know is the closer you get, the harder it's going to be for you to get away from me and what you've done. Ah, for sure. You'll have to fess up to it all. <laughs> I can't wait for you to get your hands on whatever it is you're after. Let me guess. You want a cut? Well, if you're still alive by then... Perhaps you can appeal to my generosity. Still alive? You may be standing right in front of me, but you're definitely not living in reality. Which is a shame. Because the truth is always going to be the truth. All I see when I look at you, the real you, is the truth. The truth is, you killed my father. I don't care who believes me. They can't reject they the can't truth. reject the truth. The truth will set me free from your black stain on my life. The truth 
will allow me to expose you to the world. <laughs> then, She's just... You I'll can't take him seriously with the drawings on him. And I'll do it without stooping to your level. Also, I could be wrong, but I believe the drawings because on him match the markings from uh, Okami. Like you. Oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa. What are you going to do? Kill me in plain I got guns, man. I'm going to shoot your ass. Plain sight of who? In plain sight of who? I've said about you. Are we in hell? Well, that is <laughs> sad in the hearts of a number of young ladies. Claire and Trish and Sylvia and Amy. Oh. So the women... I made a thing so I could keep track of which one was which. The women that he's talking about, he's a womanizer of, that, that he has slept with. Claire is Claire from Resident Evil. <laughs> Trish is from Devil May Cry. Sylvia is from Beautiful Joe. And Amy is short for Amaratsu from Okami. Oh, God. So <laughs> I, I, I guess he just gets freaky. I don't know. Well, he's in uh, weird places all the time, so uh -huh. let me tell you, hell hath no fury. <laughs> he took his opportunity. What the You know how loud the impact of that thing would be? Everyone's eardrums just shattered. Yeah. Well, he's just a normal dude. So yeah, his he can't hear shit. He's <laughs> passed out and bleeding. Except for he's not because video game. Because video game. What if we had a stronger cat called Fearless? <laughs> Fuck you! I'm gonna get a snack you. while you play with these cats. Okay. I'm not on the right weapon for this. I need a practice room so I can fucking get the whip combo down correctly. Fuck you. How we doing? Did you get one? I got one. I'm about to die. <laughs> Go normal. All right. I'm just gonna shoot him. <laughs> I gotta take the safe answer. Yeah, I got some health back. Ooh. Yay! I'm healthy. You vulture guy. So I don't remember how exactly it works, but I do know like when you hold the attack button, right? You do like a light attack with the whip or just tap it and you do a hit, which, you know, it's a thing. If you hold it is where you whip onto them. So you like you grapple to them and fly over to them. But uh -huh. the whip, that's all the whip is doing. It has no combos. So you need to use your foot weapon. And I'm trying to remember how to pull off that particular like jump over to them, shotgun off of them combo. But um, whenever I practice it, I uh, I fuck it up. <laughs> Wait a second, was that guy a tuba guy? Uh, different one. There's different versions of these dudes. Oh. No one oh, saw no. that. Wait, did it just reset the whole fight? What just happened? Oh, fuck you. Yeah, they're tuba guys. Yeah, but they're different ones. As I'm saying, the guys that were next were was not a tuba guy. 
<laughs> right, but I was asking about these guys. Oh, oh okay, I see what you're saying. Fuck! It counts if he falls off, right? Give me some healing, thank you. I think I just fell for it again. No! No! <laughs> Damn it! Maybe the next time you just jump over and don't fight them. <laughs> Mucking rocket launcher guys again. Oh no! <laughs> so just jumping over is not slightly as easy as one would think. No, dude, dude. You. Nope, don't care. <laughs> hey, I still got bronze. It wasn't even fucking participation trophy. RNG is falling. No! <laughs> Hold on, I scared off a bird. Hey, more lore! The Heavenly Manipulators. The Umbra Witch's Sacred Crescent Valley is said to contain enormous relics hearkening back to the valley's place as a training ground in the witch's supernatural magic arts. The long bridge that snakes between the cavernous ravines of the valley's stone circles hinting at the celestial principles, training chambers where the death was wagered in hopes of polishing one's skills in life. All of these are depicted in the tattered records I have attained. I know not if they ever truly existed. However, the magnificent appearance of the witch statue in the distance seems to indicate that the legends passed down through history are, in fact, real. Amongst these numerous artifacts, the most mysterious of those known as the Heavenly Manipulators. I've already described how the Umbra Witches drew their power from the darkness and the Luminators from the light. However, I've not mentioned how these powers were at their greatest during the full moon or at the peak of the sun's ascent. The two groups created the heavenly manipulators to affect the movement of the moon and the sun. And these devices played a role in the clan's most important of ceremonial rites. If stories are to be believed, the clans could affect even the ways of the cosmos at will. The powers of the witch and sage were not common knowledge, although as overseers of history, one could imagine they must have had appropriately powerful abilities, making their ultimate destruction even more ironic ends. Manipulate! I'd like to talk to the person that designed her costume. Like, I know it's all hair, but it's it's designed correctly. Like, there are panels and stuff for uh, uh, how it would get sewn together. Yeah. Well, of course, because you know, they care. <laughs> I have zero health. Let's go. <laughs> Through the portal? Oh, cool. Uh, Shrub section, let's go. I'm definitely not gonna fuck this up. Please give me health. Nope, nope. Banned in that fight. <laughs> Give me health. Please. Oh, I see you, snake. Oh, no. There was supposed to be a snake, not kitties again. Fuck. Apparently, I had a red hot shot in there somewhere. Yay. Nice 
fuck, they get out of that fucking witch strike so fast. Oh, I forgot she could do that. She has a samurai quick draw attack. Nice. I mean, it's not doing me any good right now, but we have it. What? Stop. I didn't even get quick time from that one. Stop hitting me. I don't like dying. Please be dead. The fact that the timer has not stopped tells me that I'm not safe yet. Ah, the manta rays, of course. The holy Gotta manta, have the manta rays. The holy manta rays of harmony. One HP in a dream. I got this. <laughs> ah! They really come out of that animation every time just beating you in the face. Ah, of course. Blade. What the fuck? <laughs> That'll teach him. Now I just have Corner a fucking chain blade? Out. Where the fuck did I get this chain blade from now? Apparently they were not prepared for the chain blade. See, I do my best like work at one. Like the dog's tail in uh, <laughs> Rising. Well, see, I, I do my best work at one hit point. I don't know. <laughs> the Emperor provides. The Emperor provides. Please be four. No, that was not four. And we got another part. Now we got like a half, two thirds. I don't know. Now I get to die. Bring it. Bring it. So I think she has a different taunt for each weapon. Gone forever. <gasps> Holy fuck. I thought I could just dodge through it. I was wrong. All right, at least we're still back here. Those were not the iframes you were looking for. They were not. What's down here? Nothing. Fucking nothing. All right, let's go back to guns. Let's go back to our default setup for now. Just because this has the speedy attacks. What? Come on. Get out of my way. No, no, don't stop, lady. Don't stop. It's coming. It's coming. I see you. The Witch's Tears of Blood. Beginning in, the, foreshadowing. beginning in the 15th century, the whole of Europe has been swept by a madness, a tragic event unprecedented in the whole of human history, the witch hunts. As a result, the dark clan of Umbra witches were wiped from the pages of history forever, working at the behest of the powers that be and making use of their ancient magical arts. The witches watched over the passage of time within the human world. Or at least they did, until suddenly being swept up in the waves of persecution and finally crumbling away under the pressure of the people's harsh recriminations. Blood for the blood god. <laughs> Holy shit, yeah. I don't know if you can hear, but all of a sudden the text of speech went, Blood for the blood god. 
In a, in a very, I read it. In a very, I can't hear it. The women's sorrowful, blood-stained tears crystallize in the bright red gemstones, and according to Vigridian legend, are said to be scattered everywhere. These stones, filled with the feelings of regret, are known as Umbrian Tears of Blood. <laughs> to this day, the people of Vigrid believe that should 100 of these stones be brought together as one, enormous calamity shall befall the land. Yet no one has actually seen one of these gemstones, the ultimate of witchly souvenirs. They must be found for you by a crow, a beast whose heart lies in resonance with the departed witches. These crows act as the witch's loyal servant protecting their tears from falling into human hands. There you go. That explains the, the crows. Magic? No magic. Only preparations for magic. Nothing down there, I guess. I go down the other side and you walk around. Probably. We'll take a go look. Go under the stairs. Take care of my babies, will you? My babies. Some people may have a thing for the 45s, but to me, these are the real works of art. Sure. Um, we have 30,000. Nah, hold on to it. I'll just hold on to it. Actually, real quick, Umbran Elegance 1. I want to confirm if this does anything to the web. Elegance 1. Come on. Bring me to it. Thank you for fucking zooming. No, I guess they just change appearance. They don't have a mechanical effect, I guess. At least not in this game. Appearance, I'm bringing elegance ones. Gives Bayonetta long arm length gloves, thigh high boots, and turns her glasses into a bat like mask styled after a dominatrix motif. Okay. Skulls for the skull throne. <laughs> Skulls for the skull throne. <laughs> I wanted to hear it. <laughs> like I said, the, I probably have to change the male one. The male one sounds okay, but the female one sounds like really natural. <laughs> Skulls for the skull throne. So yeah, apparently it also changed her gloves. But they're not on right now. All because I died. Oh no, I, I, I get it now. I'm an idiot. When it says it makes something stronger, that means it only works if that's one of your weapons. See? No. Her actual yep. outfit changes to the weapon. Now we can actually see what it changes. All right, I see. Doesn't change the butterfly, though. This must have been used during the training of witches. Stepping on it gives hints of some sort of faint movement. I'm not getting a hint of faint movement. You gotta hop all the way up to that ledge in the middle and then jump down to it. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a Mario stomp. Yep. Your Mungander staff. All right, let's go. Are you just like a bat? <laughs> ah, we found the Cornate Berserker. <laughs> You almost beat me to it. I was about to shout out, No, it's Kane! This is our door. This All right, almost was, the turtle fight. That was a bad idea. Yeah, that, yeah, that's... 
Yes. That was half what I was thinking. Lost the shield. No, don't focus on the guy with the shield. Get the one without the shield. Fuck. I just got fucking holy smited. Smite evil. So I can't trust paladins. Fuck you. I'm gonna hit your drone sword. Oh god, there's a slow swinging sword. It does a shit ton of damage, though. Yeah, it does. Wait, is there a moon? <gasps> yes! Moon! Alright, before we go further, is there anything at the low level of this tower to grab now? I'm not seeing anything. Ooh. Oh, I see you. What the? Whoa. I fell out of the tower sideways to my death. She literally balanced, lost her balance and fell out sideways and died immediately. That is apparently not how you uh, go through that hole, I guess. Now I know. All right, let's go down and then see if we can. No, no. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Which way am I going? I think that's down. This so way, This right? way, yes. What the fuck? <laughs> There's like a little bat. Is that like an Umbran thing for me to grab? What is that? See it? Cause one of them looks red. I don't know. It, I think it went through you before, so. Well, I, I, I saw hit, it. I have to hit square to actually grab him. Oh, I didn't see a pop up though. Yeah. Pulls a chainsaw out from nowhere. But I guess if you can pull this off, you get to keep a chainsaw afterwards. Yeah. Because again, I just have a chainsaw. All right, cool. Good to know. At the bottom or the top? No, no, don't touch him. I feel like, I feel like, no, get up. Don't touch me. Stop dancing. You're dancing on air. <laughs> what? what? Oh, I see you. I see you. There's a lever. You gotta, you gotta crotch pull the lever. Wait, no. What? What just happened? Did I just do that right? No, here it is. I knew I saw something. What are you? This whole game is what if a stripper uh uh <laughs> saved the world <laughs> what are you talking about i don't i don't i don't understand very confused i think i found the power source chainsaw fuck all of you Oh! 
New one. Fuck! I couldn't get it to spin in time. There we go. Fuck you. Should have died to the thing. Yay. So now you're active. Platinum. Yay. Yay. Ha! All right. I don't know what I'm needing that for, but I suspect it's down here. Well, presumably I want to go up. So that means you got to go down. So I'm going down. Yeah. What? The secret level. By the way, just, just, just as a side thing for way down the road, Redu, whenever you get to uh, near Automata, because it's a Taro RPG, there's none of this, you know, you get graded bullshit. Just nice. so you don't have to worry. <laughs> oh, not one of these again. I barely understood it last time. I'm willing to bet using a fucking whip is not the way to do it either. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I can't do the limited ones. I don't know the trick to these. Not now. <laughs> Probably something like it's probably something to do with like the katana or something. How you can do like the drawing attack? Something. I don't know. It's beyond. It's beyond my mortal mind to understand. But we found it. That's all that matters. Now we can say we knew of that secret. We chose not to. You little shit. That guy reminds me of the ghost snake from the medieval game. Oh, stop! Go away, dick. The, the foliage, you're getting thwarted by foliage, too. Foliage. Can't see shit past it. Hold on, I've got lore, but more important than lore, I got a dead woman. Ooh, dead woman had a part of a LP. Apparently they were thirds. And we got this LP. Hooray! Now we gotta take the part of the dead woman to our, our, our dude friend so that we can wield her. Which graves in the city? The greed is littered with the legacies of an ancient age. Amongst these are the stone coffins used to bury departed witches. Along with their fellow overseers of history, the Lumen Sages, the Umbra Witches used their incredible powers to repel any intrusion upon the greed. Under these auspices, the witches abode by the terms of their netherworldly contracts. And upon parting with the physical world, the strongest of the witches were deified as guardians and buried in stone coffins throughout the town. These stone coffins were sealed tight, and it was said that only those with the knowledge of a witch's magic could open them. Even during the witch hunts, when the coffins were subjected to attempted demolition, not a single soul was able to peer within, into the contents within. According to one theory, the contract with our demon master stipulates that upon leaving this earth, a witch's soul nor body can remain. It is said Umbrin burial customs were developed for that very reason. The women would bury their loved ones in treasured stone coffins to lessen the pain of those destined for the inferno, even if the effect was slight. Today, unable to break the magic seal upon the coffins, the Lumen Sage Seal of the Sun has been placed upon the stone sarcophagi as a counterweight. If by chance the power of witches were to return to this world, they would be prevented from opening their coffins due to the seal. This is a clear indicator of the sort of persecution these women were subjected to during the witch hunts. While the whereabouts of the witches' tombs is outlined above, the location of the tombs for the Lumen Sages remains unknown. According to remaining records, they had taken up the final resting places with the Umbra in the secluded region known as the Crescent and Sunrise Valleys. It is said the Lumen Sages, who conducted their duties not in the darkness but in the light, rest peacefully in their valley after departing from this world. Finally, there are rumors that somewhere in Vagreed, research is underway to extract the spirit energy from the departed witches. It seems that the fate of the Umbra Witch and Lumen Sage has yet to be truly decided. I guess nobody ever told them about the parts of records that are inside those. Right? Like the medieval LPs? I mean, come on. Right. Made them go out. Oh, God, no, please. Not one of these again. I'm going to die. Three, four, jump. One, two, three, four. I don't want. No. No. 
No! Stop posing! Yeah. Inspired the first sphere. Normangander, the inspired. This is what it feels like to be inspired. Some say you can inspired get a grip. to kill Thor, I guess. Some say you can get a, a, a modicum of this feeling uh, by chewing five gum. <laughs> Do they still do those commercials? I haven't watched commercials in forever. I don't think so. I don't watch TV either, but I've not heard of it in a while. People still make references, and sometimes about, young people make references. I was about to say, it might just be that their, 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 their stint of commercials was so good that everyone fucking quotes it all the time anyways. What? You ever have a woman jump on your head and a bunch of other women start punching you? Not unless I pay for it. <laughs> well, see, here's the problem. That's how you get inspired. <laughs> I thought he was going to be dead, so I was just attacking him, and he said no, and I got hurt myself, and I, I, I made a calculated risk, and, and, I, and I paid for it, and I feel real bad about this. <laughs> None of these guys have any respect for architecture. Right? Oh, she said a different word this time. Burb! Burb beats worm! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So whenever she summons her demon, she says a weird word, and it is a different word for each demon. Yeah. I imagine it's the name of the demon. Actually, I don't think it is. It's almost like how, like, the uh, the angels have, like, their virtue or whatever they're from. You're saying oh. something that, like, is their domain or something, I believe. Got you. So Agramon or some shit yeah. is a domain. I, something like that? I would have to look it up, but I think it's like a thematic word, not their name. Because I, the big difference is, it, I, I can't remember which game it is, but it's either in this one or in uh, the next one. At some point, you get to play as Jean um, for parts of it. And when she does hers, she just says the name. From what I understand. Another LP? <laughs> Hell yeah. Working me to the bow. But no need to pity me. I was bored anyways. He was bored anyways. Whip some things into shape for you. Hang on a sec. I gotta punch a guy. I'll be right back with the thing I punched him into. I love the idea that these very simple songs somehow incense demons into attacking them or something. This took a bit to pound into shape, but the workmanship's solid. Now, go put this thing to good use. Dur I knew it! I knew it, Claws! Claws, <laughs> the Durga. Oh, I'm trying to remember what the next uh, wonderful one is. Hammer's next, all right. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and now we could get the the perfume for the claws. The claws. Probably wasting all my money on that, but I don't care. <laughs> Worth. You have to convince me. I want to see all the outfits. Right. All right. So. Claws can go in either slot, so we can have a whip and claws. <laughs> so the heavy attack on the claws is to leave a bomb wherever you were. Nice. At least for the feet it is. Um... Nice. 
And for the hand it is too, but it's like a little bat thing this time. It looks like a like a horned skull. Yeah. Like a cow skull. So go to item. Of course, the problem is right at an angle where I can't see what the fuck that's doing. No matter how many times I put it on or take it off. Any of you want to give me health? Fuck you. Oh no, there's more for the dude. Oh, this guy knew about Rodin? There is a place beloved by wanted men and rogues, where money and power rule all. It is where I have established my office. Those who call this place by its given name are instantly identified as newcomers. As the tired hands of this rat hole all call it by a single name only, The Dump. Bloody battles and dirty disputes over money are an everyday occurrence here, and the concept of concern for one's fellow man was long since lost on the dump's denizens. What the people here are after, what they love to see, is not of this world. They thirst for the uproar only the occult can inspire. The appearance of a specter, a man being devoured by a demon. These are the snacks they eat as they drink and cavort in the dump's numerous watering holes. It is this place that I've come on my pilgrimage in search of a grasp on reality. <laughs> <That's> what? <laughs> okay. The dump is a wretched high for all sorts of scum and villainy, home to everyone from black market businessmen to informants <laughs> and devil hunters in between. But amongst them all, one man is practically sh is particularly strange. His name is Rodan, proprietor of the Gates of Hell Bar. His front may be that of a bartender, but rumor has it he actually is an arms dealer. Of course, if a man such as myself were to visit his establishment, there is no way all of his secrets would be laid bare. However, I can tell just by the air around him that he is a dangerous man. Unlike the standard assortment of thugs in this place, his is a sort of danger on a truly different level. According to my colleagues, if one carries enough clout here, Rodan is known to provide a gun or blade should the fee prove satisfactory. That is all I've been able to wring out of people here. There are also rumors that if you enter the bar from some sort of hidden entrance, he'll provide you things that money cannot buy, or so say it the gossips in this occult-obsessed town. They even go so far as to say that these things are not made via normal means, but are material made from mater are weapons made from materials available only in the Inferno. In the dump, there are enough rumors to rot one's ears, and if I hadn't seen the fresco of the Trinity of Realities, a staple of the Vigridian religions on Rodan's wall, I would have dismissed talk of him as nothing more than these tall tales. In any case, if I am able to fully investigate this man's secrets, I will surely be able to obtain the truth I so desperately seek. However, aimless sniffing around in this town is a great way to wind up dead. I'll have to be prudent and not leave things to chance. Okay. So... Rodin runs the cantina in Maz Eisley. Uh-huh. So that implies that one of these records is going to be the cantina band song. <laughs> I don't think they got access to Star Wars. No, I don't think so either, but... Oh, what? No! <laughs> How? How did I find a way to fall on a third dimension in a two-dimensional part of the game? Ah, oh, fuck, I wanted to look for Even though you didn't die, I think that, uh... That still counts. That should get you special compensation. Trying to use a claw on this dude is probably not the good idea. <laughs> Alright. Here's how I will make it work. The whip seemed to work pretty good. The whip does work. And when I get him close, I will then do that. He hit me. <laughs> or... He hit me again. I am dead. <laughs> the, shadow the shadow remains cast. No! Fuck! <laughs> Fuck my life. <laughs> Alright, we already read this one last time. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, four. I'm trying to figure out how I did the combo I just did. I honestly don't know what I just did. 
Somehow it went into like an automatic combo with a hand at the end. And I don't know what I did. Yeah. All right, so that did not set. Oh, this whole level is the fucking broken Umbra statue. Yeah. Hey, stop it. Yeah, because a guy talked about the gigantic statue at the end of the, the alley or something. Yeah, but I, did, I just never put it together. Oh, I never gotcha. paid attention to the names of the level. Makes sense. Also, I'm going to switch off of that for now because it was just getting me killed. Every time I tried to use yeah. the, the foot, he just tailed me in the face. <laughs> Fuck you. Like that bomb, if you can get it to hit someone, seems to really hurt, though. I will say that. Fuck, get out of the air, loser. Just fuck it. Just gun, 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 gun. Is he down? Where is he? No, where is he? Fuck you. I got a silver medal. Yay. All right, so calm down. The tornado's blowing me around. Evil tornado. We're gonna unequip that one, but this one should be on. Oh wait, gotta do that backwards. Yeah, Durga, okay. There you go. It gives her a cat tail. Oh, so it does. And I would have to read the details to see if it does anything else. Which one was this? Gives her elemental cat ears and tail. The element corresponds to the current elemental state of the Durga equipment. When equipped to the hands, you'll have a pair of cat ears on top of your head. When equipped to legs, you will have a tail. So because I put the, the, the hands on her feet, they're electrical, so she has a tail. If I'm understanding this right, this would then mean that if I equip it to the hand, they'll be fire, so she'll fire cat ears? Yes. So also, interesting fact that I've just now learned, cat hands have different elements based upon where they are. No. I have no hit points. You want to just give me the victory? Game, what are you telling me to do? What are you telling me to do? What are you telling me to do? You can't just start a timer. <laughs> I'll pan it. <laughs> Where do you want me to go? I need a wonder jump prompt. What, what do you want from me? <laughs> Am I going forward? Am I go like seriously? Where am I going right now? I guess this way. Oh, I, I remember the other costume. The other costume is uh, Samus. Oh, cool. And the Nintendo ones. The only ones meddling are your hapless minions. This will be taken care of in the manner I see fit. Your assistance is not required. Not required. 
Are you sure it didn't have Star Wars IP? Because that was Emperor Giant Head all over it. How many are you talking about? And don't you dare say my long lost sister. Sister? You've quite the active imagination. You and I once fought for the jewel upon the crown of the Umbra throne. And now that you've returned, my sleeping beauty, it is time to finish that fight. Who are you kidding? The rival always loses. <laughs> Do not read anything. Shut up, Dario. <laughs> No time for daydreaming. Aggressive. You gotta have a foot fight. <laughs> Aggressive upside down split action. My splits are stronger than yours. They have each other's guns. I don't think so. Those damn cretins. This can be to my advantage. She did not fall for the skull trick. <laughs> hey! Your sword can't be longer than mine, you fucking Sephiroth wannabe. Oh no! Lies RNG strategist. I only talking about. He looked good in hair. He looked good in hair. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm back here? Oh, that's bullshit! Fuck off! God, that dude's rotator cuff must be fucked up. <laughs> Yes, skip the cinematic. <laughs> Gotta catch her when she's doing that overconfident walk. I'm trying to get ready to like to dodge or block like I'm doing a fucking forking fight. <laughs> oh, there we go. I actually pulled one of these off. Ow! Everyone else has got so much health. I want health. What does that yellow bird do? Magic flute. I don't know. Oh, it teleports you around Hyrule. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't 
remember which one of these does what. That was magic. Fuck. Moon. Okay, I definitely have no clue what the fuck I'm doing then. All right. I can at least look over here see what I just made. Okay, I don't have one of those right now. It just hurts people nearby. Okay. Purple is magic. Yellow is don't get fucking hurt. Red is attack power. Did I not make a green? Nope. <laughs> I came in here to make a green. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Defense, it sounds like. Grenade, if you can hit him with it, fucking hurts. Yeah, you fucked him up. Oh, did you get penalized for using the, the yellow yeah. lollipop? Yeah, because I used an item. You? Afraid? Me? Seems we might curse the instant I use an item to not die is the instant I don't need that item. Ready. Right. Like, you used it and didn't get hit again. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know why, the exact instant, like, ah, here's the mentality I need. Don't need it. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you've been noticing the, the things happening around Jean when I was fighting her. Like, you know, whenever I do shit, it's little butterflies. Whenever, uh -huh. she, whenever she does shit, it's like little rose petals and shit. Yeah. Even our patrons don't like each other. Ours is Madama Butterfly. Hers is like Lady Alrune, the, the rose lady. Oh, okay. So even our patrons don't fucking like each other. That's hilarious. <laughs> Rival patrons. So what's up with Mothra? Is that their, uh, the other person's bird? So... Oh, wait, what the fuck? So, oh, she turned into Mothra. Got yes. it. Yes. And I've now learned by seeing her do it, unleash the beast so I can now have a run, finally. So you got it like a panther or something? Yep, yeah, it's now a panther form. This is the the ball from Wonderful 101. Oh that was bloody. And amazing. also the game will now tattle on me because you activate run mode by double tapping the dodge button. So if I panic hit dodge, I will now be a cat in the middle of combat. <laughs> wow. Just like the the other game. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember what it was in Wonderful Wonder Woman. The thing is, is at some point, like using items can't penalize you anymore. Cause I think, I think they just add to your skulls, like half a skull each time or something. But like, uh -huh. I'm already at five skulls, so who cares? <laughs> I've already just completely been bodied this entire level. What, what, what can you possibly do to me? Fuck you. I thought he was going lower. Fuck off. Round over. Round over. 90 points, not too 90 bad. 90 points. Just give me the money. I need money. <laughs> I really, <laughs> really need money. That explains the little kitty paw prints. The little kitty paw prints. 
the gates of paradise. Let us begin. Oh, there is a thing behind me. Imagine that. Les Pantaneurs. I see you, Burb. Part one of the Hammer Sonata. No, Burb. That burb ran way too fast. I didn't have a chance to catch it. Cause I'm a kitty. Gotcha. Oh, there's people here. <laughs> Sucks to be you. <laughs> but yeah, so now at any time, if you just like, oh, dodge, dodge. If you dodge in the middle of a dodge, basically, now you're a kitty. Entering Vagreed. The ancient city of Vagreed is largely inaccessible, surrounded by mountains on one side and the sea to the other. While at first glance, this may seem incredibly inconvenient, it is said that Vagreed flourished primarily due to the presence of strong spirit energy within the land underfoot. That didn't even begin to make sense. Like, that didn't counter itself. While people would think <laughs> that the mountains are very inconvenient, did you know? Spirit energy. The Umbra Witches and Lumen Sages, each with respect and control over dark and light, must have needed a land replete with this spirit energy to enable them to oversee history. The waves of time have modernized the greed, spurring rapid development. However, its residents still avoid outside contact, preferring to maintain their own culture and religious outlook. Their only link with the outside world is a single long-distance rail line. Simply riding this train requires an application to be submitted to the greed authorities. And a rigorous background check is required prior to the issuance of an entrance visa, which must be carried at all times. Once, a, once disembarking from the train, there is a further police search after which one is granted admission to the city. It seems that what allows Vagreed the ability to be so strict regarding immigration is that seemingly close link between the Vagreedian authorities and the Ethavol group, a conglomerate based in Vagreed, yet proving this link will require further investigation. So now there's there's money involved. That damn Ethavol group, I always knew they were corrupt. Fuck you, I'm coming in. Oh, hello. Not the one I wanted, but okay. I need the whip. Fuck you. His Horton Duke countered my bomb Duke. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Get sorted. Boom, boom, boom. All right, hold on. This would be backwards. There it is. Give me health. Yeah, health. I feel healthy now. Do you feel healthy, Verdu? Oh yeah, I always eat the uh, the hearts of my ancestors <laughs> to gain health. <laughs> Good, as long as we're in agreement that that is how one becomes the healthiest. <laughs> so, by the way, I, I could be wrong, but I believe it is... Wait, no, it is just electricity now. I don't understand that system. I believe... 
Yeah, you can mix and match the perfumes too. So now we have a, yeah. a, a kitty dominatrix. Yeah, we do. This is a test. Do you understand cat? Yes, I understand cat. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Poor Grand Todd. No. Wait, what server? Unrelated, but Keck, the server has a background mimicking Final Fantasy fourteen. What? The fuck am I? All right, double statue check. I understand the concept. Before I trigger the fight, is there anything to grab? I do not see anything to grab. Fuck. I'm not good for the speed. All right, there we go. Oh no, something broke it. Two worms. I saw the big sword on. Can one of you, like, get hit by me, please? Well, this is one way. <laughs> God, that grenade just shreds. Get out of the water. Where are you, nerd? Get back. There you are. You're somewhere. There you are. Get down here. Get down here, nerd. not able to dodge during that. Maybe because you're mid-attack animation? Maybe. Well, no, it's, I, I think it's because I'm triggering a grapple. Because you, you can, you can, you can dodge out of attacks is what I kept trying to do. Oh. But I think I kept triggering a grapple and I don't think I can dodge out of a grapple. Come on, Burb. I got some bird feed for you. <laughs> Tasty wormy for the birdie. Tasty wormy for the birdie. So did we do the thing? All right, kiss it, make it matter. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> it is kiss, now it's better. I was just thinking there was like a thing back here now that I went through it, but I guess not. Wait, is something behind here? Fuck you. <laughs> oh, that's a big chunk too. Fuck off. I'm glad I got paranoid. All right, so now keep an eye out for semi-loose piles of stone. Ha. 
Now that's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> and I kicked the baby. Kick the baby. I kicked it so hard it bounced off all the walls and killed the rest of them. <laughs> that's a proper baby launch right there. That's a proper baby launch. Hey, look, there's there's a child. Yeah, little bandana no. Oh, good. What? <laughs> no booty doot from you. No more dooting. Only I can do. The counter doot. Am I dooting? I don't know what I've done anymore. My life. <laughs> oh. Oh. I was about to do thing. <laughs> oh, you need the hard. <laughs> All right. Now the buttons are ready. Now we can be a cat. Silver. Kitty mode. Now, please tell me some historical thing about cats. On the topic okay, of magic. So there was cat times, right? And it was before and it was in the past, right? And that was the before times cat times. Here we go. Everyone carries within them a record of their evolution as a being since time immemorial. It is this inner knowledge that the magical arts call upon when a practitioner uses the transformative technique known as the beast within. While there is very little documentation regarding this technique, it is comparatively easy to guess at its workings. It is even easier when one considers how many works of art depicting this condition fill museums this very day. These works captured a very moment when a witch transforms herself into an animal. Present day interpretations never seem to escape the realm of dismissing these works as an artist's daydreams. However, when viewed from a different perspective, they are an important reference point in researching magical arts. These pictures illustrate the unbelievable transformation of an umbra witch via the most special of means. Seeing her take the form of various animals, the witches were able to freely use this technique, transforming into beasts of incredible speed or birds to send themselves soaring into the sky. Huh? Who? If I told you I knew what was going on, would you believe me? No. Good, because I'm dead and I don't know what happened. <laughs> it would be lies. That you got me. You got me with that spinning backflip thing he did. All right, let's go. Shadow remains. I cannot let him get me in the air like that. That's where he fucks me. All right, so everything about that, but let's do it again. Is this certain? No, this is spin. Oh, I'm spinning it the wrong way. I see. <laughs> I'm like, wow, this is hard. Please. 
please die. The cats were annoying and wonderful 101 and they're still annoying now. <laughs> Wait, something did happen? Oh. I got a bullet. Okay. Yep, because I hit, you know, the thing. The thing that we all saw. Because it was there. And we all saw it. So. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Whatever it was. <laughs> Outside. Look at this little brat. The fuck back here. All right, don't fall in the purple goo. Got it. Still going, so we're not done. How do I get over there? Can the cat make it as a jump? Oh no! I did it. Why is there poisonous liquid though? What good could having poisonous liquid underneath the church be? What are you boys doing in here? Hiding something from me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I could not multitask anywhere close to well enough to be able to aim two guns and a third on my foot at the same time. <laughs> I would just shoot myself a lot and maybe, maybe one of them would get hit. You've been cheating on me, haven't you? Someone else caught your eye? <laughs> Accuracy through volume of fire. Ah, oh, that's what it is. Something tells me I'm going to regret this. Oh, myself! What'd you say, Rudu? I said, know thyself! <laughs> More killing! Bayonetta out here unlocking core memories and shit. I'm not normally one to play savior, but I suppose I can make an exception and kill all of you. Just this once, of course. Uh, of course, yeah. 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 Unlock Super Mega Witch Time! Yeah, I'm genuinely confused right now because we're transparent, they're transparent, everyone's transparent. Maybe the camera's stuck in purgator Purgatorio and everyone else is fighting in regular time. I'm not even applying a bug. I'm like, is that like the actual like story right now? Is that the camera's in Purgatorio? <laughs> The infinite unite morph right here. <laughs> no. 
Oh, I got hit. The witch hunts are over. The shadow remains calm. Fuck you. <laughs> you ruined me setting a mine, bitch. Sure, why not? Put him straight into a torture. <laughs> yeah. Well, you finish it with style. C -c -c Combo break. <laughs> <laughs> or, or are you going with Kumbo breaker? Could be both. Mother. Awaken! Awaken! Mommy! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, little one. I am not your mother. But, Mommy... Will you quit calling me Mommy? <laughs> oh. If there's two things I hate in this world, it's cockroaches and crying babies. Well, a crying baby cockroach would be truly terrible. So don't you dare cry. <laughs> I'll pips pistol whip the shit out of you, child. The pistol whipping will continue until morale improves. <laughs> You've got to be a strong. Dropped her from like six feet. Holy shit! Yeah, like like how genuinely how much taller is the giant? What's your name anyway? Teresa. Teresa? You're not from Figrid, are you, little one? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from my house. <laughs> Thanks. Well, now, I'll hazard a guess this isn't your home. So what an I'm from my house. My what a little child answer. Come here. And whereabouts is this daddy of yours? He was at work, but now I don't know where he's gone. I want to go home. I can't just drag you along wherever I go, little one. So you'd better not be getting attached to me. Yes, mummy. Oh. Come now, little one. I'll help you out of here. But that's all. And you have to promise there'll be no crying. A single tear, and you'll be crying alone. Got it? Okay, mommy. Oh. You see the little girl running over to me? I got a platinum. See, it doesn't matter if you die, because you can get a platinum. <laughs> platinum death. Um, is there only one way? There's no real game if it doesn't have an escort quest in it. <laughs> I just love watching her just hobble around behind me. All right, into the into the store we go, little one. 
Follow me and don't go this way. If you want to get out of here, you got to come with me, but I'm not carrying you, fucker. The Laguna Faith in Vigrid's Rise. In recent days, Vigrid has seen the rise of the Ethavol Group, a conglomerate whose rapid development has changed the face of the city. Their man-made island off the coast of Vigrid, Isla de Sol, is a clear example of their technological style. I wonder if the fucking wizard people and the Isle of Sun is related. It is a modern metropolis, home to many residents. However, their flight from the old city has led to the onshore historical district's rapid decline, a process that will likely end in the areas becoming ruins free of inhabitants. Those who live on Isla del Sol and those who have remained in the old city all worship the Laguna. Gods were the heart of their faith. In many ways, the sun worship, this faith has meant the people's core since ancient times and forms the very heart of their cultural development. It is said that the Ithavol group itself was developed in conjunction with the Laguna, and its CEO is held up as the paragon of Laguna worship, the living symbol of the people's faith. He is reported to be descended from the said-to-be-annihilated Lumen Sages, although I cannot confirm the veracity of this claim. At any rate, the devotion which people hold towards the Ethavol group is without question. Vigrid's appearance is not the only part of the city to have changed completely. The ancient faith in the Laguna is now inexorably linked to the Ethavol group as it pushes forward in its modernizations. Thus, the city has lost its pre previous visage to be replaced at alarming speed, and all with the apparent consent of the Laguna worshipping Vigridians. And this is why you can't trust Laguna in Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> All right, child, follow me. <laughs> oh, can I not hit these? I can't hit them because I'm not in the realm. Yeah, I just go through them. Okay, this makes sense. All right, child, follow me. Follow me, follow me better, child. Child, where are you? It, I, I'm genuinely confused what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Probably open that door. All right, fuck it, I guess. I don't know. Well, fucking, let's go. Child, stand up better. Apparently I can hit him with physical matter. health back there, but I don't think I can pick it up. Well, get up! Alright. We good? We good, child? Are we good to enter the realm of dreams and mystery? Why can't you pick up the kid? Um, because it's a kid and I don't pick up kids. Ew, gross. <laughs> Purgatorio, center of Trinity. One of the unique aspects of the religion of this town is the people's belief that the world is actually made up of three unique realms layered on top of each other. Human world, Inferno, and Paradiso, the Trinity of realities. However, the wavelengths of the spirit energy in each of these realities is different and inhabitants of each are unable to interfere with the other's affairs, despite the fact that their worlds are layered. It is said that Lumen Sages and Umber Witches had a unique ability to pass into a realm known as Purgatorio and travel amongst the Trinity. It is believed that the Witches and Sages each made contracts with the Masters of Light and Dark Worlds and can use special abilities granted them by their Masters. Underlying all of this, though, is the presence of the Trinity of Realities. Even during the Witch Hunts, it seems those suspected being witches were lured, lured into Purgatorio, an act of the people called being spirited away. And their presence in the No Man's Land was used as a justification for further acts of persecution. To further explain, Ghibli's behind it. I knew it. It's fucking Ghibli. 
To further explain Purgatorio, one must understand that those within the realm are unable to see or touch those in the human world, nor are humans in their own world able to intervene in the affairs of Purgatorio. Moreover, what we identify as material objects may have different appearances in the different realities. Yet, when these items are destroyed in one world, they will be destroyed in all the worlds. This may explain why many place religious interpretations upon the phenomenon of unexplained destruction that occurs in... It's me with a gun. Calm down. <laughs> Follow me, child. Come, child. The future awaits. The future. Behold the time travel plot. All right, child. Follow me into heaven. This is where the angels will least expect to find me. Oh, just a tornado in the distance. Hey, this is probably how you got lost to begin with. Uh oh, they they locked the door. More kitties, lots of everyone. Get off me, child. Don't worry, it's always scary the first time you see them. So, where was I? Oh yes. Your kind invitation? I do hope you've prepared dessert as well. This child's gonna have zero trauma growing up. Kid's <laughs> gonna have and the kid's gonna be like, all right, cool, whatever. Have you ever had a stripper? But she's not going to be able to hear shit with those fucking guns going off in her ears constantly. I was about to say, you ever had a stripper fire four guns by you? Cereza, my dear, watch and learn. Not four. Fuck, every time. <laughs> One come from? I didn't even see that one. Is it like three of them? Did it's that just one just two. like teleport or something? I don't know. I guess. Which one's the circle? Yeah. I hate that roar. Stop it, get off the child. Perhaps it's time to cast gun. Yeah, you're not wrong. I was trying to do it earlier, but I didn't have the setup for it. So then I decided, no, that's clearly not the right answer. But it absolutely <laughs> was the right answer the whole time. Um, hold on. Wait, now. That one is fine. This other setup is what's screwing me up right now. As much as I love it and the damage is not working with these people. Or that, that one might work. I just fucking need something at range. Anything behind here? For one snow. Hey, let us through. Hey, I've got no health. Let me through. So he is attacking. I'm just not seeing any health. Oh, there we go. What? What? Little one. 
What? What is she attached what to? What is happening? Well, they, they're, they're looking for her. Because what so we got from the dude earlier, they, they were like, oh, he's looking for someone. And Bayonetta kept being like, I'm right here. And he was like, ah, you're here. So I think the angels have been trying to get this little girl the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, they've been looking for Bayonetta the whole time. A man's cast. Just not old Bayonetta. So what do you this kid looks like the you the pro tag? Put the child down. What is holding on to her when she's on that mask? I'm so good. <laughs> yes, Vanguard. I am here for the best angel introduction in the game. You know that part in the Resident Evil movie? where the lasers killed everyone. I would die at that. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> That's not Bayonetta. Bayonetta doesn't have a hail. I like how there's a little fly fire behind her to do the juxtaposition. <laughs> she winked. You would never wink. We're gonna do a dance off. It's gonna Vogue. Vogue, which, Vogue, 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 Vogue. Which Vogue, Vogue, stripper Vogue. wins the stripper off? How <laughs> did you set up the glitter? <laughs> oh god, fuck, damn it! Always with the sneak attacks. It gave me so many melee weapons, I forgot what range was like. Ow, bitch! Bitch! No! Ow. Correct. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> what the fuck? It's an angel! That's the angel of, of joy! That's what Joy's like. Oh, yeah. Cooch power? Oh god, I got hit! Chat, you tricked me! And clearly that's what it was, dude. No nothing about my skills or anything. Chat tricked me. <laughs> ah. Is this another rival? So, yes and no. In... Hold on. Technically, 
the Jean fulfills the role of Wonder Red versus Wonder Blue. This is the actual mirror Borkin fight. However, combat right. is only like the one, I think. So this isn't a rival. This is just the actual mirror fight. This is this is the Shadow Link fight. Yeah. Where is she? I wasn't worried I would lose. What are you talking about? I need to go to the bathroom. No. <laughs> Anything higher than zero is good to go. Is a pass. I didn't even get participation. So I did real good. Now we've completed this one. Hooray! All the pieces fit together to form the angelic hymns. Now we can form Bonky Doo Hammer. Bonk a Doo. I hear a noise over here. Why do I hear a noise? Is that just the noise in this room? Am I crazy? Like it seems to fade in and out based upon where I'm putting my camera. But I can't get up there. Fuck it. More information. The Angel's Banquet Hall, Alfheim. The greed has long held the notion that the world is comprised of a trinity of realities, Paradiso, Inferno, and the human world. However, since the era of the witch hunts where the Umbra witches met total annihilation, Vagridians have held that Paradiso, the world of light, is the most perfect of these realms and have worshipped it as such. It is normal human beings are unable to experience this heaven. The Vagridians' feelings regarding Paradiso manifest themselves in various ways. Even the Porta del Paradiso, ruins of which remain to this day were born of this faith and placed around the city as an act of Paradiso worship. These structures, stone discs three meters in diameter, were said to represent portals in the Paradiso itself. It was believed that when the gods extended the people a helping hand, they would do so via these portals, guiding them to Paradiso. Thus, the Porta were placed in spiritually powerful locations. I have one more interesting aside. Within Paradiso, there are said to be secret rooms known as Alfheim, where angels gather and hold their banquets. The Porta del Paradiso, created by man, are said to mimic the entrances to these Alfheim. Legend has it that if someone were to stumble across one of these portals while in Purgatorio, they may enter an Alfheim, upon which the angels would entertain the lost visitor and bless them justly. Yeah, I've been so fucking blessed in all these Alfheims, let me tell you. So blessed. I have felt nothing but blessings. What do you say, Verdu? You think I've been blessed? Oh yeah, blessed by the big punch from your hair. The big punch. Also, kick times the the hair time. Super good. All right, where do we go? What happened to child? Yes, we're on an air force base now. Um, are Who's we the, air force? Base? Are we the baddies? Dot gift? Yes. Was that a serious question? We are not the baddies. It's the angels who are wrong. Oh, <laughs> er, er, everyone is now like arguing. Wait, <laughs> we're good. We're bad. We're good. We're fighting angels. We're, we're bad, but but the angels are bad, so we're good. <laughs> Children. <laughs> A pair of statues depicting the sun and the moon. Seems they've been made by the worship of the Lumen Sages and Umber Witches. Japanese game. Therefore, the church is evil. Simple as. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Prominence Bridge. Tell me about the Great Bridge of Prominence. As part of the Ethavol Group's plans for the further development of Vigreed, the man-made island of Isla del Sol, a new urban center was constructed and outfitted with a new highway stretching a total of 41.295 kilometers or 26.218 miles. As expected, traveling this highway, which links the major areas of Vigreed to the island, requires vigorous checks, and its usefulness is limited to Vigridian authorities. Ethavol Group materials, transports, and a select group of authorized personnel. The bridge connecting the island to the mainland is an enormous overseas suspension bridge. The structures supporting the bridge's wires are shaped like bright solar flares that shoot out from the sun's surface, giving the crossing its name, Prominence Bridge. It's really a symbol of modernity that has come to Vagreed. Does none of these nerds walking here give a fuck about the nearby tornado? Nope. Hello? Does anyone have fucks to give? Kill the pea kid statue. He's got a cute little halo. So yeah, so you got the Umbra, you got the the, 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 the church people, and then you got pea kids. That means humans, because humans are little pea kids. 
We are all little piss Perfect. babies. <laughs> What's up, Luca? Oh! Is it your child? Mommy! Mommy? You're a mom? You? <laughs> Come now, Cheshire. Look at me. Do I look like I have any interest in children? Now making them? Well, that's another story. Whoa, whoa! You're getting the wrong idea. I mean, it might be the right idea, but not right now, right? Wonder right. Red is blushing. <laughs> uh, speaking of right, I'm glad I've been standing around waiting for you, because I knew we'd cross paths. See, the only way to reach the upper crust in their gated island of champagne wishes and caviar dreams is over Prominence Bridge. Through the tornado. Oh, Through the tornado. Yes. The island. Lovely place, isn't it? The name means hurricane. Oh, now what? Don't play games with me. You've worked your magic on this poor defenseless child, haven't you? Yep, that's it. That's exactly You're a sad, it. Sad, sick woman. You know that? I was her age when you killed my father. <laughs> Wait. No. You couldn't. Oh my god, you did, didn't you? You killed her parents. Hmm. Come to think of it, she's better off with you. You two are more hassle than you're worth. What? Just keep a good eye on her, or you're going to catch hell for it. No good deed goes unpunished, and you never know when a monster may sneak up on you. Mummy, look out! Spider-Man, Spider-Man, kidnaps children whenever he can. <laughs> Gotta choose the bus or the child, I guess? <laughs> the bus In this scenario, is Bayonetta the Green Goblin? What's going on? <laughs> oh, come on! Look, I got a ton of silvers. I, I deserve a silver. It's just three deaths. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's what you've been waiting for. Angel attack! Angel attack! Fire! Actually, wait, question. Can I cheese this? I just realized something. Oh. I just switched back to mouse and keyboard for this. <laughs> Fuck you. God, I'm good. I actually got to spend like almost 60,000 right now because I've not been actually getting the health or mana upgrades that I just remembered were at the store. That might be helping. But no, I mean- Not by them, buying them makes you better at the game. I mean, it's it would be totally, you know, unlike me to forget to buy the critical shit in a game. No need to be. I was bored. <laughs> yeah, never happened before. Let me go whip some things into shape for you. Made me break a sweat 
I gotta give it to my tropical friends. They sure are fun to play around with. <laughs> so much fun. I brought back a special Ice skates? <laughs> <laughs> new product information and new technique is in stock. Try unleashing the bat within. You can also get the crow within. But yes, they were, uh, they were in fact ice skates. <laughs> um, hold on. Items. And to be clear, those aren't even parts of a heart. That just is a heart. So right. th Yeah, these are the things I was supposed to have been buying earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. You said there was new techniques. The bat within. Power of flight. So this replaces the cat. Wait, no. There you go. It gives me a secondary version of a dodge. Where I can hit R2 the instant I'm hit as like a version of a parry. But like, you have to get hit. It's weird. That's what this one is. Because if you actually time it correctly, you get witch time. And as we can see here, despite getting it right at the beginning, and I'm like waiting way too late for this to work. All right, you get the idea. Of it's that like one. your your kip up thing. Yep. Unleash the crow. And this one is, you know, you got the cat. But what if you did it while you're in the air first? I am the verb. None can beat verb power. So I am going to do some money on verb power so that now we have it. Which has unlocked Umbrin Spear. While in crow while in crow form, you can hit R1 twice to land on someone as an attack. So that would be neato. But if nothing else, I have an ability to slightly fly now. Very useful. Also, Umbra and Elegance this for the uh, the ice skates, the Odette. Itch. Where's my mouse? Oh, okay, gotcha. Wasn't taking any, uh, who's the baddies all matters at 45% of the time. And next time that's either all or none of the time. Oh no. All right. Nope. Fuck. Fuck. I clicked the wrong yeah. one. You bring me enough of these halos and maybe I can buy a ticket to space. Ah, yes. He wants to go to space. Always wanted to be a bald space marine. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do for you anyways? What? He wanted to be a bald space marine. Okay. <laughs> They're making a lot of references to stuff I don't understand. Yeah, they're, they're making a lot. I don't know what the fuck. Okay, so the space... I, I literally had to look this up. The Space Marine one is a reference to Time Splitters. Oh, I never played that. Expressing a desire to be a bald Space Marine is a reference to Sergeant Cortez from this Time Splitters game. Of course. For sure. But which flavor is Space Marine? Car. Car flavor. Because <laughs> no one seems to give a fuck about this tornado. <laughs> Blow my tongue. <laughs> They call him Uncle Bad Touch. Temperantia. He's an Audicio. The Audicio like of Temperance. A celebrity in this town. <laughs> See that? Everyone rushes at me like crazed fans. They still haven't figured out that I don't give autographs. Asp 
Said there before. Fucking double, uh, uh, upside down face, uh, Ghidorah. Said that he was getting, uh, sacrificed to bring the creator back. Ah, okay, I forgot. God is dead. God dead. And you gotta resurrect him by killing all these fuckers. I have a sneaking suspicion that this might at some point do something. By the way, these skates hold the soul of the demon witch Odette, who traded her soul for eternal youth, transforming into a swan. Residing in the frozen hell of Kokaitis, legend has it that Odette made a pact with the stubborn demon queen Odile, allowing her to fall to her preferred circle of hell. Odette, said to have prided herself on her ice magic abilities, lends the blade of these skates the terrifying ability to summon up the cold. Bicycle kick! Bicycle kick! Bicycle kick! Where do you want me to go? Where am I going? Where am I going? Kick. I didn't see a place to jump. Hey, I saw a weak point. I should have made the joke earlier when I thought of it about this guy being like an octopus gun guy. <laughs> Gatling, Gatling, Doc Ock. Yeah. Oh, when she moves, when you have the skates on, she actually skates around. Where am I going? Oh, found it. Stop hitting me, I'm attacking you. I got a climax on your hand, though. You don't need that arm. I told you, his rotator cuffs are fucked. <laughs> My one weakness! No, not I beams! Oh, he knocked me in the air! Was I supposed to dodge that somehow? That hurt! I literally fell into his fist. What did you want me to do there? Right hand. Ow! 
What the fuck? I didn't notice there was shit coming at me in the air. I'm waiting for a cow. A cow? Every fucking movie with a tornado always has a cow flying through. Cow somewhere. I gotta bring healing items or something. <laughs> but they're so expensive. Fuck! I thought there would have been a checkpoint somewhere in there. So I guess this is what happens if you succeed at the dodge. Implying that all those other ones I just fucking failed at. Good to know. Because <laughs> I thought I was doing good, but I guess not. I've now learned the error of my ways. What do you want? Stop. So yeah, that's me failing. Good to know. Now I know. Fuck, what is the window for that then? Fuck off. I didn't even see a prompt for that. No, I think I just have to regularly dodge it. Like, just dodge the window. It feels like you just have a limited amount of time to, uh, like, hurt his fingies, I guess? You gotta hurt them fingies. Oh, what? Ooh. Somehow I hurt the finger underneath the platform. Which I suppose is part of my goal. Fuck you, I'm a bird. Fuck, I couldn't forget how to get out of bird mode. <laughs> There's gotta be a damage threshold or something. I'm just not meeting it. Yeah. me with them weird thingies. Am I hitting this? No. All right, what am I hitting? What do you want? This one. You gotta attack the pelvis. Yes, fuck uh, your skirt. Where, where am I on this skirt? I'm going to find out afterwards that this was a waste. <laughs> <laughs> but if I don't do this and I die again, I will lose my mind. Um, <laughs> I'm 
I going? Where am I going? Hello! That looks, uh, you should get that looked at. He's got giant glowing weak spot itis. He should know better than to have a giant glowing weak spot itis. <laughs> that might have been the funniest boss attack I've ever seen. <laughs> You gotta get, keep your head on a swiv. <laughs> you gotta keep it on a swiv. Hold on. Oh God, his tongue. I am Burb! Oh, I, fuck, I got caught in him. That was a biting attack the whole time? <laughs> If you you put a lemon in like a sea bass's mouth and then <laughs> ran it over with a truck. A lemon in a sea bass's mouth. Because sure. it had a giant yellow fucking chunk. Order. <laughs> well let me give you back your toy then. Bus! Hey, uh, Piss Baby came back. Shot him in the tiny deck. <laughs> Shut oh. up! And I Shut didn't up, make any time for He shot him in the tiny dick. <laughs> Hi, cat! <laughs> Hi! Oh no, kitty! <laughs> oh no! Kitty! Yeah, I did. <laughs> Holy shit, chapter seven? How many chapters are in this game? That's a good question, hold on. How oh, many? You gonna make it through this whole game today? Maybe, like I said, no, no, God, no. Apparently Bayonetta has 18 chapters. Okay. <laughs> You're not wrong, I felt, I was like, man, I'm going kind of fast, aren't I? <laughs> 
Though to be fair, that's not 18, it's 17. Oh no, sorry, it's 16. They're saying 18 because they're including prologue, which is not listed in the number here, and epilogue. So that number will go to 16. We just got halfway through the game. Gotcha. Ladies and gentlemen, it's what you've been waiting for. Angel Attack! Angel Mouse! Fuck you, that was a headshot, you know it. Oh, I hate going for the small dudes. They're worth so many points, though. Round over. Round over. Uh, it's not a good heal, though, is the issue, and that one's so expensive. Wait, were we not on the bridge already? I thought that thing earlier was a bridge. Now I guess that we're heading to the bridge now. Route 666. <laughs> I wonder what they're referencing there. I, I, don't, I don't understand it. Fuck it. You here for business or pleasure? Either way, I'll hook you up. I'll hook you up. It's amazing how many of these I was probably supposed to be buying. <laughs> I completely <laughs> forgot. Like, I think I pointed it out to you, and then I immediately forgot. Ah, yeah. You genuinely just need to buy the health upgrades in this game. <laughs> <laughs> that might explain a few things. I'm just saying. in these heels? I don't suppose I can call a cab to get me to the island. Move along, people. We have an unidentified vehicle approaching. Close the gate. <laughs> <laughs> Just driving a car in. You run fast as a cat. We learned this. We learned this. Be a cat. Is that little child even buckled in? Nah, why would you need that? He's not buckled in. Why would he? <laughs> why would the child be buckled in? I mean, I suppose when you're like, you know, 12 foot, you know, 36 or whatever she is. There we go. You could just fucking truck this out. By the way, that these are the cars from uh, Wonderful 101. Yep. Yeah, I, I saw it. <laughs> you did it! I didn't just risk your life. Did you see that? I told you there was nothing to worry about. Mummy! Mummy saved us! What? Hello there, Cheshire. Yeah, shit! Yeah, going high speed down the highway is not the time to it be looking seems up your your driving is on par with your journalism. I figured I'd beat you to the island, but the guards had another idea, didn't they? Not really my best plan, huh? You think you've got me figured out, don't you? We journalists have to have some detective skills, you know? Yeah, he's got to have detective skills for you. Detective skills. And has to be in the Ithaval group building. I'm headed there too. Oh, yeah, like... How odd. She knows you exactly what the inside of his ass looks I like. <laughs> you don't seem to know how to Very drive detective. Car, Very car. detective. What am I? A chauffeur? You're still oh, going down the highway at speed. Idea. Look at the road. The prolonged walking in this salty air will do to my hair. Well, I tend to use some product when I go to the beach. Down, Cheshire. I'll take care of our pest problem. <sighs> Wonderful. I'm 
getting the distinct impression I'm not wanted on that island. But I love it when people play I hard love to it get. when people play hard to get. The consent problem, Bayonetta. What the fuck? Oh my god. Am I getting shot from off the fucking truck? Yeah, I think you're getting shot from off screen, too. Well, that guy's dead. There's probably some dude misters. Yeah, I hear him. Where are you? Can I jump to them? Oh, okay. Oh, Can I jump over there? Yes, okay. That, that makes things make way more sense. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Thank you, game. You're very nice, game. Fuck. No. <laughs> oh, no. You couldn't have given me a checkpoint. I touched the other truck. You could have given me a checkpoint on top of the truck. I'm just saying. Cool. I just watched all my money disappear. Oh, what the shit? <sighs> Fuck this. Switch to melee. I thought I was, I guess not. <laughs> no, no, not lasers again. Fuck! Now there's me's everywhere. It fucking. Oh god, watch out for the cars! Fuck! Wait, what side of the road are they? Everywhere is the same direction. There's a solid line in the middle. Fuck! <laughs> Why am I getting hit by every car? Fucking determined to get isekai and shit. <laughs> Where's Dracoon? What? And stand in the median. You gotta get to the shoulder! <laughs> Save me! Alright, I killed one. That means I won, right? Stop! No, look at the other one! Oh, fuck. No! Sort of got the cars did 90% of my damage. <laughs> the shadow remains cast! Right, here's what I wish to do. I like your hands, I really do, but not today. Oh, I still have the fucking, the, the other cannon. I forgot about that weapon. Nope, stop being a bird. They're just juggling my ass. Out of the road! Trying to avoid the lasers too.
So you can freeze them and then throw them at the other ones. Always nice when a game gives you an option to beat a dude with another dude. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta beat the other dude. Oh my god, get me out of the road again. Lift them up, fuck! Oh, the car! <laughs> I, there's health in the road. Ow! There's cars in the road. Gotta cast gun. Let her stay in the road. They don't seem to care about it, though. That's the thing. There's like, yeah, there's cars, whatever. But me, no, I'm physical. Oh God, no. Not Irenic, the principality. Was that a fucking car? So I, I hit, I didn't hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> I was processing that. Yes, it was in fact a car, I think. And then, and then the truck, it hit me in the face. Well, you, you know how it is. It's Christine is what it is. <laughs> there we go. I hit it that time. Oh, shit. No, no fucking way. <laughs> That's how you start a bike. Jesus. So welcome to this part. <laughs> oh, this was my favorite part of Final Fantasy VII. Okay, jump. That, oh, okay. What the fuck was that truck doing? Everyone's trying that to hit me That is how off. you die, is, is. <laughs> Everyone's trying to hit me off the road. If you drive motorcycles and you are uh, between the concrete wall and the fucking truck, you are fucked. Get out of my way! I have to ride away because I'm a witch! I, what? <laughs> I think I just phased through one of the trucks. All right, so yeah, uh, everyone understands everything going on right now, right? Cool. But yeah, motorcycle, fucking angels crushing cars. You're shooting the shit out of just pedestrians. <laughs> just look, I've got, I don't know if they're in front of me, so I gotta be careful. You just gotta shoot everybody. I get yeah. it. Yeah. And you're supposed to. Well, this place is set in like, like middle America, right? <laughs> And I think I'm supposed to be going like slow and careful and shit, but I just keep maxing out the accelerator and just fucking saying fuck it. This, this does not, to me, in any way imply slow and steady. Because there is, there, there is the option to slow down and steer and I just keep holding speed up and then evading. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think I would do it differently. You know, they said there's like 37 fucking kilometers of bridge, so clearly. We gotta do that as fast as possible. Get out of my way, loser. But yeah, you gotta catch up to the kid and the the fucking dude. Yeah. And there is a That's jump. That's a hell of a motorcycle if you're just ramming cars and just <laughs> they're exploding. <laughs> Well, it's because it's got, it, 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 it's got witch tanium. Did it just say I got a platinum? On the right yeah. side, the platinum coin just showed up. What the fuck? Okay. Apparently I'm doing something right. I guess, I guess this, this mission is split up into two or three parts. Get out of my way, loser. I, okay. Yep. I understand everything that just happened. Oh, what? 
<laughs> right. I was gonna laugh if it let you right on the ground and hop back up. Oh. Fuck. I'm just like a little too zoomed into her ass in this fucking section of the game. She's probably the first person to make that complaint, quite frankly. <laughs> I couldn't figure out a good way to phrase it. But I had the same thought. You wouldn't be on the bridge to Paradiso now, would you? Are you throwing bombs at me, loser? Why was that car gold? Because there is an angel. What the hell just happened? <laughs> <laughs> How far back did that just set me? Fucking not very far. It looks far like you're enough, far enough for me to make the same mistake twice. I'm guessing this is the jump. What the fuck? Come <laughs> on! <laughs> no, I'd still be steering. <laughs> what the ah. fuck is happening during this part? Can you stay zoomed out like that? If I can, they don't they don't show anything here to tell me how to do it. I would love to stay like it's not me going fast or slow that's doing that. And then yeah, you get over here and it zooms in again. I would absolutely love to be zoomed out. I would, I would be, I'd be fantastic if I was zoomed out right now. So I guess the next jump is to the right. Or it instantly a uh, success. I don't know. Oh God, the bridge is out. Wonder build. No, it, 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 is, is the moon out? How the fuck did that just happen? You got enough inertia. She knows this because of the medieval uh, uh, motorcycles. That's how she knows this. <laughs> Who the hell built these roads, bridges, lumen sages? You know, that's all we're doing it. Right, turn right. Get off the road. Get off the road, you bum. I know you don't want me here, but you really could have been more subtle about it. Could have been more subtle. <laughs> for it this time. You just booted me in the face. Where's all my health? I've probably gone from all the falls you took while oh, that's on your right. motorcycle. That's right, the damn don't you fucking put me back in the motorcycle part. <laughs> Alright, I can deal with this. Oh, my God. 
What the? Okay. What? Of course. They're Transformers. I did not realize that you were wonderful ones. My bad. Oh, God. Let go. Fuck me. I don't even think I'm hurting this dude. What the fuck? He's really fast. Right? Hold on. No! No! I want to live! Like, half my shots don't appear to be hurting them. There's got to be something I'm not understanding. Like, I just put a bunch of bullets straight through me. didn't get hurt. Like, we're going to find out I'm doing this very dumb... Shut up. Now, only focus on one. This is clearly the right answer. They really do not want me focusing on one. No! No! And then he's fully healed. What the fuck? Oh, is it literally hit his back? Am I just an idiot? Yeah, he's got a glowing uh, weak spot back there. Come on! No, don't go for his head! Why would you move? There we go, now his armor's gone. No! Come on! I was literally stuck! Yeah, but like, during that recovery, he seems to be immune. Very obnoxious. It could also be because you're in front of him. Yeah, but he doesn't he doesn't have armor anymore. I can I can hurt him from over here, I think. I can't. Why is he why is the armor go away? I did it! Yay! I solved the mechanic! <laughs> Uh-oh! I disappeared into the heaven portal. Yeah, that one in the middle, I got a platinum. Oh, what a day. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Struggle bus is, is real today. Fuck it. Get more health. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, I'll have purchased all the health upgrades that you can purchase. Now we're over here. We're on the Y cube. Oh, yeah, Y cube. A remembrance of time. You really want to make a deal with the devil? <laughs> I wonder if that map is a depiction of her going back in her memories and remembering shit. Possibly. I can't remember. But if you want claws on hands and feet at the same time, it'll be $130,000. That doesn't sound like super useful. Oh my god, my health is so big, I have two bars now. What do you think the over under uh, on that mattering, chat? <laughs> it means I could take one more punch to the face. <laughs> mm. Who 
do. The Graveyard of Remembrance. So this I is- I remember this graveyard, or does the graveyard remember me? I was gonna say, so this is where all of RNG strategist memories go. This is so <laughs> Fear not, for I am watching you. <laughs> Fuck you, creator. Get out of my head. Check. I've seen this clock face before. Have you, though? Oh, God, they actually let me do that. <laughs> well, there goes that extra health. See, I told you it was important. I got to the gate one me being a dumbass. Nope, stand on it. Fuck. Hey, look where I am. It's that it's that place. In the booth. Is another do the first level again? We're in that area, but it's not do the first level again. It's, it's different things. Oh my god, I'm trying to hit the other dude. Get away from me, armor man. Tuba motherfuckers aren't playing around. Right? Ah. Oh, fuck. Because. I portend to the future. Fucking Keyblade. Keyblade. No! No Keyblades. <laughs> Gotta unlock the end of carriage. And, and then that says, hey, look, there's, there's a planet up there. Or Ooh -wee. Hold on. I thought there was a cat or something over here, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh well, maybe I'm wrong. It's been known to happen occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, whatever that was. Got it. <laughs> Drink it. Drink it. Hold on. Who are you? Yeah, butterfly. Wait, woo. Woo, no. Ah. <laughs> uh, what was over here? Yeah, see, I knew it. There's stuff. Is this no, I believe you. Was this you? You were just bad at getting here. Was it was this over here in the original level too? <laughs> Maybe. Oh no. All right, let's climb up to the celestial body thing. Am I running away from the high point? Where am I going? You fucking with me, game? Thank you. Here we go. All right. Anything over there first? New question. Can I go over there? Thank you for very nicely announcing how I fucked up a jump. Thank you. <laughs> this is what we were missing. Hey, at least in this game, it lets you fuck up with style. Yeah, right. 
what if I didn't make the jump and I just started shooting shotgun feet everywhere? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I made it to the planet. Back here, nerd. I'm dealing with you. All right, where am I shoving this key? Gotta find the hall. The hall. I gotta have the key to my remembrance. Oh, God. Ah, yes, further up. Let's go. Pure platinum. So whenever you say I can't jump worth shit, just remember I got a pure platinum. <laughs> so I'm yeah, but how many pure platinums have you got? Oh no. We don't <laughs> talk about those sort of things. Not plight company. Yeah, nobody needs to know about the single digits. <laughs> oh no! It's that guy! The orb! No! Ow. What the fuck? <laughs> no, what I'm trying to do is like cat. Go. Might have been a bad idea, but I remember the other time I ran and I didn't get points for getting any combo. So I was like, yeah. maybe I need combo. <laughs> get out of here. I'll defeat you when I have Wonder Red. <laughs> yeah, I actually did bad on combo still. Fuck. <laughs> All right, before I start dancing on the stripper pole. Okay, that is cut off. Which means I must dance on the stripper pole before I do that. What does this do? Ah, it becomes the gear, so now the stripper pole can do it because we don't have Unite Hand. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Hold on. Spin the other way on the pole. Spin the other wiggle, way. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. I'm not gonna lie, if I had magic, I would do bullshit like that too. <laughs> because why wouldn't you? <laughs> right. Oh no, it destroyed the key in the five parts and hit him in five different chests all around the very similar area that I'm in. The crazy thing is nothing so far in this game has made me feel like that makes no fucking sense like I, uh, any of Kojima's fucking games. Right. Uh-oh. There's a secret fight in this one. Well, if the other one wasn't stunning me. Fuck you. I see the bird. No, bird! Bro, come up here. I want to fight you up here. I'm gonna need the whip back. I'm gonna deal with this idiot. Fuck me, dog. What am I lifting? Oh, him. Get out of here, nerd. That counts. All right. Now, before I go out there and the big ball lands on me, that bird's back. No! 
I'm being timed. Fuck. That looks like some health. Yep. Now he's got to make it. Health. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? Okay. Just cheese him early with a torture attack. Amos didn't get that to be done. There you go. I don't care. I have all five. No, I don't. You have it in you. I gotta kill him first. Fuck, I forgot about that part. of well, this very simple mechanic to understand. <laughs> Come over here, dude. Oh, you're no. one of these nerds? Oh, I'm so dead. So, for no reason. Um, fuck, I don't have greens anymore. Uh, red was attack. Yellow was... And vulnerability. Yellow is defense. Blocking this. What did two of them do? Can I, I can don't I, know. Probably less blocking this. About to say, can I, can I be cheap on my defense? Yeah. Okay. We're going to be a little cheap. It probably just doesn't last as long. Right. Yeah. Oh god, it already run, wore off. That was not equivalent of two-thirds the cost. Oh god. Oh god. Fuck you. Get out of being a bird. Thank you, bird form. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta buy that easy attack out of bird form so I can leave it early because I don't know how to leave bird form otherwise. All right, let's do this. I really, really appreciate that the angel this time is just a geometric fucking shape. <laughs> their claws. Get get off. How do I get rid of that? Get rid of you. I don't need you. Bad. Bad claws. Yep. I meant to do that. Whatever just happened. <laughs> I wanted to be over here and I got here. The methodology may have been insane and nonsensical, but you know what? Fuck it. Get out of here, Daddy Go Do, or whatever the fuck you were called. Oh god, I accidentally unlocked the other one while doing this. I keep losing, I just realized I'm losing magic and I don't know why. So I'm gonna know one of these weapons drains my magic. I gotta actually read what these do. Is it the fucking boots? Maybe. Oh, it might be the fucking bird form. Oh, that probably makes sense. I did it! I made Die. a key. Silver. No! I want you, bird. 
I want you in me. Join me, bird. Will it reset if I'm up here? How far away do I got to be from this bird? How far do you want, bird? Fuck! <laughs> you keep shooting it. <laughs> got you. It's because I'm so good. First time success, right? <laughs> yeah, first time. First time. First time is the last time. All right, anything in these items? Oh yeah, like I was talking about um, earlier to the references to Okami and shit, uh, the, the cat form brings up the plants behind it like Okami. Oh, nice. But they're like dead roses and shit. Yep. Slug. Do you remember how to walk? No. Okay. I'm already regretting my life choices. Where where the fuck am I? It's a game of Frogger. Frogger! Ugh. Why does this feel like a trap? Alright, I guess that one you don't have to go backwards for. Come on! All right. What do we got? Something new, something painful. Doom train. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> of course, this, this makes sense. Kinship. It's the ship of kins. Also has a rocket launcher. Oh fuck you! <laughs> every time, every fucking time. <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? You're just. Oh, I thought you jumped off. Now. Is this shooting fucking grabby hands at you? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we good. We good. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> fucking absolutely <laughs> just obliterates me these fucking out of nowhere. Alright, I'm on to your games. I'm on to you. Alright. So when they shoot the missiles at you. You shall not trick me with your kinship. <laughs> Am I just gonna do like regular pew pew the whole time? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> ah. And you have lasers! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck me! <laughs> rocket launchers will forever be your bane! I hate rocket launchers! What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do the spinny thing. I have barely done them any damage, by the way. All I've done is die. They're not even hurt. All right, so guns aren't doing much. Am I supposed to whip them? We'll put the shotties on the feet and we'll do a whip combo. Did blowing up the missiles by the friend kill the friend? You gotta use the sword to reflect the laser. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Stop! 
Stop all this bullshit. You should have started with at least one with just one ship. Ah! He grabbed me and yanked me off screen. <laughs> All right, so I got an idea. Whip seems to hit. It just Stop. seems like you're forgetting that there's two. <laughs> you're not wrong, but also he should go away. It's really rude. <laughs> All right, so let's set the up. The whip seems to be working, though. The whip seems to work, and we'll put pistols on feet. Because so I was doing shotgun, and shotgun probably has short range. That's gonna, that's never get, not gonna be funny. Oh, they funny. turn around real fast, too. <laughs> oh my god. No, let go of me, grabby hands. Fuck me. You're starting to do damage to them, though. I'm starting to do damage. There's some major fucking simple shit that I'm just not remembering. I don't know what it is. Is there a reflect projectiles mechanic? Fuck! You always forget that. I, I no, I, that one I'm not even forgetting. I'm honestly trying to avoid that. It's just I'm just not dodging right or something. I don't know. Fuck, I'll just do this. Well, let's go everywhere. That didn't work. I didn't see those missiles come out. I honestly think I just figured it out. It's super dumb. If I die again, I'm going to put it into practice. <laughs> Doesn't work if he didn't use that gun, though. Yep. I'm an idiot. Just hold square and do the regular pistol. All the missiles die in one shot. That's literally it. Just hold square because she auto targets them and then they die and then she just hits the next one. It's literally just hold square. It's a mechanic. It's just I thought square. you had tried that already and it didn't work. I kept trying to shoot with the gun. I forgot to just hold square. Yeah, see? Some of them got through because they were on both sides of me, but... Because when I do the dodge, I'm only dodging the first missile. All the other ones are now like, well, you didn't dodge us. So you don't have invulnerability versus us. So just do whatever the fuck we want. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's just put a little bit of distance between you and That's it. it. Very simple mechanic. 
You have to be an idiot not to realize it. <laughs> like, even if you can trigger the slow-mo, she just hits them all with a gun. Knowing what you're supposed to do here, this is really funny. Was it? Was that it? Was it just hold square? W was that literally it? <laughs> Use gun in the gun-based game. Yeah, please, pl pl please tell me it was just hold the dedicated gun button. You can stand on the boats. Every time I tried, they blew me off and hit their weak point. Every time I tried, they blew me off. It wouldn't let me stand on them. That was like one of the first things I tried. And they're like, nope, fuck you. No one just laser my ass. Can I stand on them now? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I got some health. Point 89, welcome in. If you're just tuning in, then uh, I uh, am, for a little while and then you'll understand. I am the greatest <laughs> player of platinum games. <laughs> That's why they call me the platinum boy. They're always like, look at platinum boy over here. I've never heard anyone call you that. <laughs> Platinum boy! Platinum! Fuck! <laughs> Try to not get hit by it. Fuck. Fuck you. I'll just avoid like a regular person. Diego. Get out of here, dragon. Should I land in this? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! Stop it! Well, at least cars aren't coming at you this time. This is true. This is a car-free zone. Also, uh, firing the gun just makes you lead the bird mode too. Good to know. Just literally hit one of the other buttons. There's four face buttons. Maybe hit the fourth one. Ah. I am not going to pass. Fuck you. Everyone stop bye pulling bye. out their fucking whips. <laughs> Fuck you, Wonder Pink. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> no. Okay. We. I thought I'd do the boats again. The broken moon pearl shall become more mana than you could ever hope to achieve. it out. Oh, fuck! I forgot!
All right, that'll help. Yes, please change the target because I don't want to kill one of them. I just want them both injured. The fact that we're not over leaves me very sad. Why are we still in verse eight? Okay, there, now we have left verse eight. Huh? What the fuck just happened? Oh, hello. <laughs> Geometric shape is kind of still coming after you. I just wanted to see if I went back and something would unlock. Rodan, what are you doing, buddy? I don't have money to do anything. I didn't get a full LP. Let's move on then. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> is this not a bridge? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> do I have to go into Rodan's? Fuck it, I'll go into Rodan. See if he tells me something. Take care of my babies, will you? No. Some people may have a thing for the 45s. I'm just going to die. To me, slowly. And painfully. The real works of art. Also, at some point, I should be buying those. Um, no, not you. I've been trying to get this one for... I keep trying to do that one in combat, but I've not been doing it. Because I don't have it. Fire tail. The fucking tail. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I oh, think it. Yep. Yeah. I think we just came to the same realization. How am I supposed to tell? Nope, that, that. What the fuck? No, we did not come to the same realization. My realization that, uh, was trigger which time I can walk on it. No, no, it 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 looks like you can walk on it, but it uh has gaps. Oh, like okay. that. I see now. Yeah, we had very different realizations. Mine was just to kill myself. Yes. <laughs> what is happening over there? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Coming back for you. Am I just jumping the wrong direction? I feel like I'm doing this. What the? F what happened? Oh, physics. I think. I imagine if you if you just stand on it, it'll make it way around. Yeah, that's what a smart person would have done. Did they get rid of the ball out of pity? Okay. Maybe. I think they're like, oh, no. <laughs> You've died 10 times. Here we go. Or is it all the ones I passed killed themselves? Oh, maybe the one just moves up. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I made it. Uh, 
Off to the left. Yep, I see them, but I, I was hearing a growling noise. I was trying to see if I could see where the bad guy was. Ah, inside the moon is a gate with a sphere. And now we can fight it. It's the occult device golem. Mother. This is straight up a Zelda boss. <laughs> this is Zelda boss, and I, per and I and I presume an inspiration for Wonderful One Up. They're like, hey, remember that one boss we did? What if that was just like a thing? Close on you. We've learned okay, this. Keep now. that in mind. We've learned this now. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many times I die now. I've already got five skulls. Can't be any worse. Aha! You tricked me once. Shame on you. <laughs> Fuck! Be the hands. I like those. Not the bird. Get out of here, bird of wisdom. Zelda's not here. The, oh, I just realized this just is that wall stuff. So I'm like, I can just overly damage it. At some point it's getting healed, but it looks like when it's not in this form, I am slowly working on breaking it down anyway. Yeah. Now get away from it. Oh no, we dropped it. Beat him up! <laughs> oh, fuck, we're still in the verse. There we go. No power in the verse can stop me. I got a bronze. Ooh boy. Yeah, more health. Yeah, that, yeah. that'll keep me alive. <laughs> Got ya. Tag. Yeah, 
and we've beaten chapter nine. Boy, did I miss a lot of missions. <laughs> oh, what a day. <laughs> By the way, have I ever told you, Radu, that I, Rising or Vengeance and Wonderful 101 are more my style? Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I got some money again. That'll save me. Yay. Yay. Now we've moved on from Y to Alpha. Ooh. Ooh. Paradiso. A sea of stars. Now, hold on real quick. For the sake of absurdity, this is 10... Yeah, okay, we'll do this. We'll do chapter 10, and then wherever that ends up, we uh, presuming it doesn't end within 50 minutes. Um, I was going to say we probably just end it there because I want to make sure there's actually enough gameplay so we don't have a uh, wonderful 101 where I beat the game with an hour and a half remaining. Or an right. hour and a half in. Do, 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 do. You may select opponents of your choice. She chose to fight me. Secret. I've been there before. I was there. Oh, wow. The place where all the witches were? I was at the place with the witches? Now I know. Rock. You rock with two people Sean? in it. Cereza? The little one? I wonder who else's name is Cereza. It's a mystery, really. We're gonna have to like delve into the depths of it to figure it out. Maybe we'll have oh, to. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to have uh, Luca solve it for us. Yeah. Actually happens. I'm gonna be mad. What? If Luca uh, tentacles Why fucking solves the tentacles? the mystery. I'm gonna tell you the truth. He's, I, he's, I, he's, I honestly can't remember. I play Rising Revengeance and Wonderful 101 way more often than I've done Bayonetta. So I honestly cannot remember. I don't want to say yes or no. I can't remember. Not that there's a mystery. It would mystery. just be a really irritating thing if the fucking side characters, the delivery mechanism. Like, if they don't have Jean fucking explain it. Right. If they're gonna have somebody explain it, it should be her. But fucking Luca's basically a tertiary character. I can see this. I do believe he has more of a role in two. Like, he's a tertiary, but he's almost like a Rodin, or a little more than a Rod Rod Rodon. But yeah. that might have been mostly in two. And I haven't even played three before. So when we get to three, that one's gonna be a trip, because I'm gonna literally have no fucking clue what I'm doing in that one. The fuck? Hello? Jesus Christ, you scared me. She just, she did one of those like samurai deaths. Gotcha. Where you, they get cut and then they just sit there for a while and then and, explode and, into and, blood and then realize they're dead. 
Yeah. Is there a way to get into these? I thought there was. Because didn't one of these have an item in it? Hmm. Perhaps not. Oh. Perhaps not. I think you could probably bust the items with your gun. No, I thought like there was like a chest there's... or something in one of these. Oh, yeah. I'm not seeing a yeah, chest. Yeah, I'm not seeing the chest. Just like pottery. It also doesn't help with how little I've actually done the Bayonetta ones that I cannot remember what happens in which one. <laughs> Is mine now. <clears throat> Dude. Now I will be the one who doots. All will fear me, the mighty dooter. <laughs> <laughs> Just one shot. Bop. <laughs> Is there a guy? Oh, hey. Problem solved. There's Dude another is no joke. up here see anything all right let's go spin on the stripper pole <laughs> need one more oh you're right this way probably up this thing isn't it that's what a smart person would have done <laughs> except staring at a closed door being like how do i get in there <laughs> All right, hold on. Where are we? Down there. Wh who's fighting me? Oh. Down here, kitty. Yeah, dead. The slow clap doesn't seem as damaging as this medium guy have lava armor. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. <laughs> She's gonna wait to spin it, so she just sits there doing wee. Spin it the other way. Where are we going? What are we doing here? Ah, yeah. No, this makes sense. This is what I was trying to. Clearly, this is what was happening. Wait, what was the other one? Hold on. That looks like the way to go. It's over here. Looks like that's one of those things. Well, you know, maybe this is the easy one. Also, there's a chest. <laughs> yeah, sure.
you know, it's like, hey, uh, hit this dude uh, 12 times. You but know. you only have one heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Defeat all the angels. Enemies can be defeated using wicked weave attacks. Okay, it's got to pull off wicked weaves. All right, how do I do that? Oh, I got a combo in the middle of air and then punch him. Is that what we're going with? I guess so. I mean, this is what we're doing. Okay. Ow, stop that. Oh my god, get the fuck away from me, nerd. Bro, stop! There we go. Oh, fuck my life. Is there an easier way to do a wicked weave? Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to do this one. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I was going to run out of time long before I got that hit to pull off. The funny thing is, I'm going to go back. I'm just going to make, oh, yeah, here's the cheese for this one. They're all going to have some fucking cheese. It's going to drive me batty. There you go. I think sword is best for these. That makes sense. I was thinking of that literally, but I was like, I don't remember the sword, or at least when my way of fighting the sword, pulling off wicked weaves. But the, like, the, the real issue is I wasn't allowed to hit them until the wicked weave. Like that was fucking me up. Like I'm fine if I don't do damage to it, but you know, stop interrupting me. That dude kept getting like slightly close and then shooting me with the ball if he wasn't. All right. I saw you. I saw you. Come on back. Fuck! I thought he was going to fly left, not right. That is an obnoxious flight pattern. Can I just jump at him? Yeah, just jump at him. Just stop running. left. What do you want, nerd? Where'd you go? I don't know what he was doing. I think what you I did is try and dodge away from the enemy's mid combo to keep distance and not hit him with normals. I got gold. Kind of the problem is, is the dodge offset, uh... I'm aware of the situation and I can do it. I think in the other games in this one, I can't because I'm bad. Um, if we go and look at the gather notes, I think no, we're, whichever one's the one where I can do abilities. Yeah, this top one, I, it, oh, uses. I thought I was saying uses like it would tell you how many you've done. I'd be like, I've gotten zero. <laughs> While holding triangle, dodge R2, then press circle triangle. Example two, triangle, then press and hold triangle, dodge at R2, press and hold circle, dodge at R2, press triangle. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing any dodge offsets in this one. Redeem, since you're, what redeem? Flip me a coin, heads for Dravis, tails for flex point. I don't have a coin. Redu, do you have a coin near you? Uh, I think I'll get one real quick. Redu will get the coin. Why are you back? 
Thought we already did this, old man. Flippy do. Flippy do. It's his head. All right. Heads is Dravis thirty twenty five. All right. Give me a sec. I will redeem the gifts up after I fight the boss rush we're suddenly doing. Oh fuck! That went up fast. I thought he was like gonna slowly burn through, not ow, wall of death. Can you get where I can hit you, please? Dick. He attacks while a bird can swim in. Okay. That was not the right answer to do that at that point in time. Yes, there we go. Oof. Get over here, dude. Your stun thing. We stun this time. There's the stun thing. Nope, that's not sky beams. I'm running into them. Money. Give. Oh no! Not that. <laughs> they told me to time the jump. Turns out no matter how long you stall for, if you're stuck on the bottom of it, you're still just stuck on the bottom of it. <laughs> okay. I almost had that one. Go, bud. Boss logic. I'm huge and floating out here. Let me present my face for you to hit. You need time to jump? Rip. <laughs> oh, I can do it. I, I'm good. I got this. I have got this. Me and platformers. We, we, we go together like uh, ham and cheese. Oh, 
There we go. See, I got it. Nothing to worry about. In the bank. Does it count as an ass shot if the camera's inside the ass looking out? Sweep the leg. Yeah, platinum, but not pure platinum. I didn't earn it. Oh, what? <laughs> Suddenly motion <laughs> sickness. <laughs> All right, where, what, what do you want from me? What am I doing? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, come on, I'm in the green, I'm in it. Uh. Oh no. There we go. Now we're in the green. That's to celebrate a landing. Oh god. No! Not this crap again! No! <laughs> Damn it! I right. think there's three from now. So, according to chat, the strat is to get on the damn boats and not just sit out here and die like an idiot. So I'm going to get on the damn boat. I'm going to attempt to get on the damn boat. Oh God. What? No, no, ah! Oh, they have a new attack. Okay, jump back, jump. Oh, no, no, I don't jump back. They actually stay around as platforms. Interesting. So the, the, the fight earlier was literally just designed to tutorialize you to this concept. Seems so that like. you would jump on them in the middle of this area. No, no, look. Stop it with those. What the? Surprise missiles! I hate rocket launchers. That ah! <laughs> Dodged you. <laughs> he straight dodged me. No! I'm getting 88 over here. No! <laughs> oh my god! Stop being in the... No! No, he took me out! <laughs> <laughs> and you failed that tutorial. Look, it's, it's <laughs> sometimes <laughs> tutorials are not meant to be passed. Words of wisdom. Some sometimes tutorials are not meant to be passed. What the fuck? There's still a missile. Now there's still more missiles. Wait, the laser can still hit you? But a platform, it doesn't make sense. Ah! Ah! Shoot! Shoot! Ah! I just sit back here then, I guess. No! 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 All right, we're doing this. No dodge. What are you gonna do? I'm on you. Oh fuck! I didn't see the things come out. Come on! I dodged and you know it. Fuck! 
Kill him now! Kill him now! Yeah, we did it! Look! God! I, by them. I, I did so good! <laughs> Oh, they God. just kept reaching up and punching you with I their chains. I kept trying to dodge through it, and it was just hitting me no matter what. Okay. Uh, I made it. See? Look, see, I can platform. Perfect, perfect job. Perfect job. <laughs> Space flat. More magic because of how good I am. Where am I going? Why do they come here? What? What do you want me to do? Want me to just jump off? All right, I came here for a reason. Well, am I supposed to be heading down? Was this all a side path? <laughs> oh my God, I think this whole thing was a side path. The real... <laughs> Fuck! The real angels were the... the deaths we had along the way. Uh-huh, for sure. Cool, it's saved. Yay. <laughs> Please, please don't not be a statue. <laughs> I have an idea. Fucking run. This is my idea. Give me health. Real angels are the boats we learned to stand on along the way. No! Yeah, there you go. No! Oh, I'm using the wrong one again. No, I didn't do it right. Yeah, whatever. You guys are spinny dudes. So that that was so good. I was I was so good at that fight. Let me tell you, <laughs> these dudes are fun. Oh, let me tell you. <laughs> ah, boy, am I good at fighting them. I don't know why they're not even activating this time. We're like, yeah, we're not gonna bother hitting. <laughs> this guy's been having a rough time. He's having a rough time. Hey, bullet. Yay, that's like three more chances for me to miss. Oh, God. Man, they keep you in like one combo into the air. You're just fucked. I'm like trying to get past him. He keeps just getting ahead of me on the stairs. Stop. What the fuck? Everything I do is pain. I feel like it's supposed to be using the ice boots or something to freeze one and just beat him at the other. Because I'm not getting a slowdown when I do a dodge. Like, it does the sound, but it's not slowing down. That whole fight. Oh, no, you can hear it, like, doing it. I'm doing the dodge. You can hear it doing the sound effect of one, but it's just not doing it. Yeah. Like, I don't think you can versus them. Like, I am, ti I am timing dodges. Yeah, they're just immune to it. The fuck was that? Damn it. What's <laughs> a bird? Got ya. Yeah, I don't know how to tell which ones or to like have you guys see it graphically, but some of these dudes are just genuinely immune in which time. If you hear the woo noise, but I'm not going to witch time, they're immune to witch time. Oh, 
Like there. Fuck! What the fuck is the prick to this fight? The votes were humorously annoying. This was just beating my ass and I'm not like learning a concept here. I don't like fighting on stairs. Can you lure, lure them into the bonk vines? I, maybe, but I don't think the bonk vines would hurt them. I don't think like they, they friendly fire. All right, so I'm doing something. There's got to be something here. Um, that's what I meant. Maybe if I just shoot in their general direction. I had to grab the bird again. I have an idea. It's not going to solve many things, but I made the item earlier where you blow the, the, the bird flute and it does damage. I'm literally hitting pause so many times. Please pause. When I hit the pause, I expect the pause. Thank you. Bird dude. Fuck me! Oh no, I can't even go past this because of that end. Please look at them. Please look at them when you do it. You're doing better with the shotties. I can't do anything in melee, so I was just like, fuck it, just shoot him with guns at range. Like, literally just get away from them and just keep shooting. Work with me. Oh, you got one. Andy gave you a heal. Please look at the bad guy. I, mean, I, I, if I were to redo this, I just figured it out. It's the move I already have. The guns work, so just do this. Because I got shotguns on, you know what I mean? I was hitting him yeah. at range while just avoiding things. It's obnoxious, but it'll work. Problem is I have to be down the stairs from him, otherwise all my shots are just going into the stairs. Hey, I'm talking here, dick. Fuck. <laughs> I shouldn't have started talking. I, I I should have just fucking finished the damn fight. Oh my god, you're so fucking obnoxious. Nah, Bowser will probably take one more session at least uh, to beat. Oh yeah, it. no no, we are not beating Bayonetta tonight. Um, that that is not happening. I think this is the setup we had. This should be good though. <laughs> Yeah, both of those statues should be smashable. So, by the way, old triangle, old kick, old triangle. Yeah, we'll do that combo. Fuck you. Get the bird. 
grabbed it by shooting him in the face. <laughs> this will probably be what you're supposed to do in that other fight too, since that's a quick way to get into the combo. Because that's the wicked weave. Oh my god, let me dodge! Fuck off! The fucking uppercut, man. Homie's yeah, no. like, I can spin too! Yeah, no. I should have just done the other thing where I just do it at range. Just extreme range, pepper them, fuck it. Even if that way would be faster, it requires me to get way too close to them. And you can't be close to these guys because fuck you. Oh, they teleport. That's fun. Cool. The fucking shotgun jump kick is hilarious. Because of the recoil and just keeps you floating? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh god. You didn't even fuck you. They both hit you on that one. Fuck. Alright. So. First of all, no. Second of all, fuck you. No, I do not care. Die. Oh, I'm invulnerable, but he can still flinch me. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck off of that nonsense. <laughs> what happened to mummy? Well, you see, she just went to look for something. That's all. I can't believe that witch placing a poor helpless child under her spell. If she did anything to this little girl's parents, I swear. <laughs> That's normal kid shit right there. No, no, no need to cry. We'll get you to your mom in no time. Just ate shit. Uh, here, I've got some candy if you want. It's yummy. It's yummy. I don't know. It's candy. After you beat the game, do the entire thing on hey, nonstop infinite you, climax. If, no. Would you like some? <laughs> I will not be doing is infinite climax. I can barely yes, do normal. I don't know why you think I can do infinite climax. <laughs> Cheshire. What a stupid name. Well, so much for taking the highway. It just means we're gonna have to find something else. <laughs> Why yeah. would you not want to play the entire to game without witch time? To do about it. <laughs> because I'm not a masochist. <laughs> so, Cerecita, that woman's really your mom? Uh-huh. My mommy is strong, and she protects me from scary monsters. Monsters? <laughs> I don't think you know who the real monsters are. The real monsters. <gasps> what landed near me? I heard a boom.
can't destroy those. Okay, good. Oh, okay, cool. Well, it shows you the pattern. Yeah. But if I just keep hitting R2... That seems to also work. <laughs> it was almost time to just keep hitting it the same interval. Oh my god! Rodan, save me! How much money do I have? Can I afford Rodan? Rodan, how much money do I have? Can I afford you? You just like to inflict us with your suffering as well. Remember Final Fantasy 10, 10, 2, 10, 2, 2? First of all, Final Fantasy 10 was good. Did you mean 13? Did you mean 13, 13, 2 in Lightning Returns? Final Fantasy 13, 3, the triad of pain and misery? Because 10 was good. 10, 2 was insane. Oh, I can't get any more of those ones. I mean, hell, at this rate, I might as well just hold on to my money. <laughs> at some point, there's not, there's, there's no more witch hearts from him. But we are getting, definitely getting to a point where I need to start actually buying accessories so I could have the fucking abilities. I don't have any of the accessories. Oh my god. These all do things, by the way. They're all very useful. This one uses magic gauge to call upon people to help you attack. This one divides you into multiple beings. Like Matroshka. Pull these butterfly. This one is, you're invulnerable for a while. This one's a very nice one. If I remember that happened, I probably wouldn't have gotten three hearts worth of health. I would have just saved up and gotten the invulnerability ability. <laughs> <laughs> What's replacing um, Rogue Trader on Tuesdays? So I have two games for the slot that I've got to figure out how to weave them both in. One, the original plan for after Rogue Trader was the Terraria thing. Two, we've done... Um, the fuck? Two, we are at the point where uh, we've done... Uh, Charity did Kingdom Hearts. That's what it was. I'm trying to figure out how to use that word. No, stop being a bird. You're using up my damn magic. Don't grab me. Oh, no wonder I'm not doing it because I got this stupid claw on. I forgot I had those. I'm like, why are my attacks not working? Oh. What? Is there another guy? What is happening here? Is this a puzzle or am I supposed to just keep fighting? Them? I'm going to keep fighting them. When in doubt, punch it out. You know what I'm saying? All right, now it's Golden Dargan time. Hold on, there's money out here. Hold on, dragon, I'm getting money. I like the underwater effect that happens. There he is. Come on up. Where are you? Come up where I can see you. Are you trying to raise the water level up so you can jump on the, the platform? And every time 
You kill one of these fuckers, you get more water. Makes sense. And that dude just. Oh, fuck you! You would have landed down there, wouldn't you? He's thinking about it. Oh yeah, I see the water going up now. Silver! All right, we got anything under here real quick? Any loose rocks like that one time? I believe no. Real quick though, is there anything on the edge over here? Nope, can't go over there. All right. It was a destructible statue. That's it. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Give me the thing. Let's do this. Made it. Mommy! Mommy! Don't worry, I'm coming. I don't know how the fuck Cheshire got through this, but okay. Golden Dragon best koi. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, what a day. I have got so many stone awards. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's what you've been waiting for. Angel attack! Angel attack! I got a lot of bullets. All right, who are we shooting at today? I always got to hit him on the rising side and then not fire early. How about that? Fuck you. I'll take it. 88. Found over. Found over. Hey, look, we're back on the map, but we're back there. Good. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. This is where turned out it actually ended at like exactly the right time. <laughs> we are going to call it here, chat. We are going to be finishing this off next time where we will do chapter 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 16, something in there. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Fuck, uh, the coin flip was, I believe, heads. Was the heads we're doing? Yeah, it was heads. Yep, I completely forgot about that. Um, hold on. Where heads was, was Dravis, I want to say. Dravis. Where is Dravis? Dravis. There you are. If you a sub, sub for Dravis. Putting it through, putting it in. Did it go through? There we go. There you go. They have been. It has been done. It hath been done. RN strategist gifted a tier one sub to Dravis three thousand and twenty five. It just told me something about Apple TV. What? I don't know what the hell that was. Literally, literally, uh, Twitch gave me some pop up for gifting a sub talking about Apple TV. 
Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that is. Can I redeem gift me a sub to hit the guy who lost the 50-50? Uh, sure, I guess. They're, they're about the same uh, price. I'm not in the middle of a thing, so I'm not having to think about it. So that's fine. So um, do it now. What, flex point 89? Where are you? No, only one is stream. Well, no, no. Did someone already gift themselves a sub? He's saying... Yeah, he's saying that he wants to redeem gift me a sub, but instead of giving it to him, to give it to uh, Flex.89? Yeah, Flex.89. That's fine. All right, here you go. I don't know if you're still here, Flex. Point. Gifting sub hey, gives you here. free Apple TV stuff. That is weird. Why? Why, why, why aren't they selling uh, Microsoft Copilot? Surely that would be the product of the future. <laughs> no goddamn clue. <laughs> That's so goof. <laughs> that is so absolute goof. All right. Set this up and then see who I know is on. Who do we got? We got... Uh, I'm showing Padinsky on Guild Wars. How y'all feeling Guild Wars? Separate for Padinsky. For those of you who are watching, thank you so much for tuning in and assisting the channel. For those of you watching this on the VOD when I upload it to YouTube Archive and you're screaming at it like, what a fucking moron. Do remember, um, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I had a, I've done a stream of this before years ago. It went much smoother. I don't know. I just, I just gotta, you know, I, I gotta get them fingies that work. Though I will say like, it, I genuinely, like I, I, I was still making absolute scripts. Don't get me wrong, but I'm genuinely serious. I feel like hitting R2 on my Sony controller is slower than hitting R2 on the Xbox controller. And I don't know what that is. That it just it's hard to describe if you're not hitting the button and then seeing when it happens. If that makes sense. Are they both corded? They are both corded. I believe what it is is PlayStation uses whatever, and then that's directly translated. And while I do have a Steam input on this right now, the Xbox One uses that direct API thing for control. I wonder if there huh. is a difference. Because this problem only seems to be on these older platinum games that require the input layer for the PlayStation one to work either that, or maybe oh. it's just somewhere different in the R2 button of where it triggers. And I'm just, like I said, it worked for all the other games. It wasn't an issue. It just somehow now that I have like a 0.5 second timing window to it, it seems to be catching me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. For those of you on the YouTube archive, thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys next. Wait, no, hold on. Shit. I'm, I'm not tired. Everyone, we are doing the Platinum Game series. We'll be continuing this next Wednesday. But thanking, <laughs> but being here to assist me go through this to make fun of me being a complete and total moron. Rick <laughs> Constantine. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Gun times on defeat. That's him. Gun times on defeat. Now, thank you everyone for tuning in. For those of you on the YouTube archive, catch you guys next time.